Chapter 76 is true intention. Su Xia is back. Not only did he get rid of the sniper, but he also took care of another level 3 creature that came over. He also got rid of several level 2 creatures, which was why it took so long. He waved his hand casually, and several heads pierced by metal immediately rolled down to the area where the two sides were fighting. The eyes of these heads were wide open, and the blood had not yet solidified. Tick tock tick. Blood dripped and merged into the smoke filled streets. In an instant, both warring parties ceased fire, and there was a brief and eerie silence on the battlefield. Is that the level 3 boss who made the move before? Has anyone seen the photo of that boss? It seems so. Is he dead now? Many soldiers were stunned. How dashing and handsome the sniper appeared was. And he defeated Su Xia with one shot. But such a handsome appearance only ended in the separation of corpses. He died too quickly. Outside Hongya Street, many support troops are arriving. In further areas, countless organizational forces are also paying attention here. This incident was so big that many resistance groups in the wilderness learned about it through their own channels. Coral City may be in chaos. Look at the opportunity. If those refugees flee into the wilderness, we can absorb some new blood. Since the arrival of players, peace has gradually faded away. Things are getting tense around the world. The turmoil in Coral City, if not handled properly, may be the beginning of a turbulent era. In the refugee camp in the southwest region, many people were still awake and looked up at the sky burning with fireworks not far away. In the Lingyan Tavern, Yemo gritted his teeth, walked around the room, and called Su Xia countless times. But no one answered. Answer the phone! She was so angry that she smashed her cell phone into the sofa. No one knows why the masked man did what he did. Even if he was saved by Commander Beifong in his early years, he shouldn't be so desperate. What are his true intentions? Does he think he can disrupt the entire Coral City on his own? As long as he abandons those refugees, with his ability, he can escape easily and find a place to hide for a while, and he will be fine. Yuan Hua sat on the sofa with his arm wrapped in a bandage and analyzed calmly. They were now afraid that Su Xia was overheated and had to flee with the refugees. That's why they called Su Xia again and again, hoping to remind him at critical moments. As a killer, you must have the consciousness to abandon your teammates and escape for your life. Although psychic creatures are strong, they are not perpetual motion machines and cannot last long in a fierce battle. Oh, it's not easy to get a good seedling. Shin Yu sighed softly. I quite likely defuse character. I hope he can survive tonight. Yang Liang said. Li Difu should not be his real name. Yeah. We don't even know his real name yet. In the Lingyan Tavern, everyone often uses code names to match their pseudonyms. Some people never reveal their real names from the time they appeared until their death and lived alone, as if they did not want to leave too many traces in this world. Hongya Street, in a residential building, the officer in charge was holding a weapon and was trying to urge his soldiers to continue fighting. But at this time, Su Xia suddenly turned her head in midair, looking at the residential building quietly with cold eyes. The officer's heart suddenly trembled. Call. The night wind carrying the smell of gunpowder smoke and blood blew by. And he felt a chill down his spine. The command to continue fighting was on my lips. But it seemed to be stuck. So stuck that I couldn't spit it out. After a while, he looked stiff. Swallowed his saliva. Swallowed the order to continue fighting. And said slowly, We will retreat while fighting. After the order was given, he seemed to see Su Xia nodding in midair, as if it was an illusion. The cold feeling of being enveloped by death disappeared immediately. The officer couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief and fell down on the chair. The clothes on his back were already wet with cold sweat. With this retreat, the blockade of this area has completely failed. The soldiers of Coral City kept retreating and did not even have time to take away many weapons. They only fired a few pretentious shots as they retreated. Some soldiers even fired directly into the sky to make noise. Pretending that the battle on Hongya Street was still fierce, Su Xia descended slowly and landed at the front of the refugee team. She waved her hand and said loudly, Let's go home! Let's go home! Go home! The refugees cheered in the smoke, raised their weapons, and their skinny faces were full of hope. Although the distance between the manor and the refugee camp is not far, one third of the refugees have already fallen. Freedom is hard one and the journey is paved with blood and corpses. Su Xia noticed that the mental outlook of these refugees had improved a lot, and many of them had become stronger. Upgraded? In Su Xia's eyes, as long as the refugees have killed, their level has been improved. The titanium particles on the dead soldiers were taken away by the refugees. 
Some of them even rose to several levels and were already quasi-boss level on the novice map. Although this evolutionary route is not comparable to psychic abilities, as long as the level is high enough, it cannot be underestimated in the future. Along the way, many of the prisoners tied up in the hands of the refugees died. Now only a dozen prisoners are left alive. So many prominent people died this time many of whom worked in office buildings in the city center, and the rest were also influential in various fields. This kind of thing cannot be suppressed, and people's curiosity will drive them to explore the truth of what happened this night. But Su Xia knows that although the truth will not disappear, it can be buried. All media channels in Coral City are in the hands of top managers. As long as these media outlets are allowed to repeatedly brainwash civilians, it won't be long before tonight's incident will be modified into. Resistance groups disguised as refugees to launch attacks. He must take these refugees home, cause greater ways in Coral City, and completely tear apart the city's pretense. Speed up and take cover. The refugee camp is not far away. Countless dim lights in the camp were connected together, like fireflies, guiding everyone on their way back under the cover of night. Along the way, Su Xiao led everyone to repel several more blockades, killing many soldiers, picking up a lot of equipment and even a few armored vehicles. He drives these armored vehicles on the road, while the others work together around the vehicles. The closer they get to the refugee camp, the weaker the resistance they encounter. Many people know that they can no longer stop these refugees from returning home. The city lord is probably going to be angry. I don't know what he will do next. Will you invite the mechanical city lord? Chapter 77 Game Insider This masked monster is really ridiculously strong. And it's too long-lasting. Right. I didn't even see him breathing during this whole fight. The soldiers who had participated in the battle before were confused. What a monster. Could he be a metal spirit? Since the advent of psychic energy, all living and non-living things have had the hope of evolution. Someone once saw a huge stone monster in the wilderness. Turning metal into spirit sounds absurd, but it is not impossible. The next thing should be left to those gentlemen to plan. If the sky falls, there will be tall people who can bear it. We should be able to rest for a while. Let's go! No one knows where the masked monster's limit is. And no one is willing to go up there to die for the time being. Su Xiao was also saving spiritual energy and medicine. And did not waste spiritual energy to chase down those soldiers. If he hadn't spent all his time during the day refining the second level potion regardless of the cost. Wasting countless materials. He might have collapsed by now. I made the right choice to become a pharmacist. Su Xiao was very happy with her choice. In the refugee camp ahead. Many people have already received the news. They are standing outside the camp, looking forward to it, with expectations in their hearts. But they are afraid that they will not be able to wait for the person they want to see. Although it was late at night, many players were also joining in the fun. For those players who experienced VR in Game Hive, they had just witnessed a fierce battle that was no less than any battlefield blockbuster. Players like the chaos tonight. Chaos means hardship and death to the natives of this world but players can seek various opportunities in the chaos. Several players have ventured into the battlefield before, hoping to gain wealth through danger and pick up some powerful weapons to use, but they were not strong enough and were killed repeatedly in the fighting area between the two sides. Su Xiao was not so kind and collected all the weapons that could be used along the way. These guys are actually here. Aren't they planning to level up? Su Xiao saw several roommates in the crowd. These guys, with funny nicknames, are running around among a group of players, seeming to be recruiting people to strengthen the team. Not long after, everyone arrived at the refugee camp. Many of the refugees who escaped met with their families. Each one burst into tears and hugged each other to talk about their sorrow and sadness during this period. Some people did not wait until their family members realized that those family members could not come back. Their eyes were red, and they stood silently wiping their tears. Su Xia did not disturb them for the time being. She stood outside the camp near the players, quietly planning her next move. A player whispered, It's strange. This masked weirdo is obviously a high-level NPC, but I can see his personal description. Someone echoed, Me too. I can't see other attributes, but my personal description is clear. Because he is so handsome, it is beyond the scope of what the world can bear. After seeing this strange personal description, the players were surprised and began to guess. How handsome is this NPC? The world can't bear it. Does his psychic talent have something to do with being handsome? They did not doubt that Su Xia was pretending to be a player. After all, how could any player be so strong at this stage? If a player is really that strong, he might not be able to transform into an ancestor and do whatever he wants. Boss, 
Are you accepting a disciple? A player came forward shamelessly. I can stay by your side 24 hours a day and be your strongest henchman. Su Xia turned her head to look at the player, frowned, and hesitated to speak. The guy who came up to me was none other than his roommate Li Difu, who was sleeping on the lower bunk. Su Xia said seriously, You haven't gained psychic power yet, so you can't learn my skills for the time being. Learn some ordinary skills first, and come to me when you are strong enough. Real? Li Difu was excited. Does this count as recognition from the boss? As long as he gets a psychic potion, he can come and become a disciple? Boss, can I know your real name? Where can I find you in the future? My real name. Su Xia felt complicated. In this world, he has always used the name Li Difu. The name is just a code name. Don't think too much. Su Xia said in a suppressed voice. The world is about to be turbulent again. There should be many opportunities for us to meet in the future. So there is no need to deliberately look for me. The world is going to be in turmoil. Li Difu's eyes lit up feeling that he might have inadvertently gotten some information about the development of the main line of the game from this NPC's mouth. Hearing this, other players also joined in, wanting to know the inside story. Su Xia nodded slightly and changed her tone to a deeper tone. Do you know why I want to openly resist Coral City? Boss, I heard that you were once rescued by the legendary Commander Bei Feng. Li Difu answered first. This was the news he saw in a post on the forum. Yes, but this is only one of the reasons. Do you know where these refugees escaped from? Where? Look at them all. Su Xia knew that many players at the scene were taking screenshots or recording videos. He took out a portable projector and showed many images of his previous experiences underground in the manor. There is no coding. And every frame is extremely bloody. Challenging the psychological endurance of many players. After seeing the cruel scenes, many players took a breath. And some of the timid ones even started to adjust the game's screen. You see? Do you think this kind of rule can last long? This is so crazy. These players are all born in a peaceful country. And most of them have been protected in the barrier since they were young. But as long as they read it, they will understand that there are many such things in the real world. Such as the drastic changes in the country, the death of a large number of civilians, and the countless missing women and children who were sold to the more western world. In the invisible black online world auctioned or massacred. Su Xia continued, the rule of the mechanical tribe will eventually fall. Choose your future path carefully. I suggest you go to the wilderness. As he was talking, his next round of mission requirements suddenly popped up. The second phase of the mission, Burning Weeds Tang Zhong's last wish, begins. Current task requirement, let the refugees have a full meal. Mission details, the food promised by the administrator to the refugees has not been distributed for a long time. However, in the granaries in various areas of the city, a large amount of food has accumulated to the point of becoming moldy. And there are even frequent thefts. Please capture those granaries and open them to release grain. The current mission has accumulated rewards, nanorobots, which can be collected after completing all mission links. Open a warehouse to release grain. This mission is for Su Xia to drive the managers of Coral City crazy. Su Xia noticed that some more soldiers were gathering outside the refugee camp. Do they want to storm refugee camps? Chapter 78 from the Starry Sky Things have come to this. All it takes is one more fire to ignite chaos in Coral City. There is no turning back for these refugees. Either death or total freedom. Of course, death may also be a forced freedom. Su Xia clicked on the nanorobot in the mission reward and briefly read the description. Name, nanorobot. Level, level 4 psionic equipment. Type, auxiliary equipment. Description, from the starry sky. Developed and manufactured by Warok Technology Company. It has a series of functions such as defense, offense, and reconnaissance, and can be combined into various forms. After reading the description, Su Xia was moved. These nanorobots are actually things in the starry sky. The current game background does not involve the starry sky field, but there are only hints in some materials that the psychic energy that descends on the blue star may be related to some alien civilization. In the memory of the original owner, the nanorobot technology on this planet was still very low level. It was mainly being researched by the mechanical tribe, but it could not be used in actual combat yet. If the mission reward nanobots can cover the whole body and turn into a suit of armor, Su Xia's combat effectiveness will be greatly improved. Su Xia took a deep breath and walked towards the many refugees. Time is running out. When the soldiers outside are assembled, the people here will become turtles in the jar. At this time, his phone suddenly started vibrating. Buzz buzz dash. He took out his cell phone, and it was Emo calling. 
The previous battle was too fierce. And Su Xia had ignored it more than 10 times. Resulting in a series of missed calls. This time he pressed the answer button. Missy. Is there anything you can do to make money? Li Difu. Aren't you afraid of death? Emo's voice came from the other side. Obviously annoyed. Su Xia said calmly. Everyone is destined to die. And death may be just a new beginning. Stop talking about this. Leave immediately. Yemo said on the other end of the phone. We have received news that Chi Lang is about to lose his temper and plans to attack the refugee camp where you are at any cost and destroy today. I'll put this matter to death completely. To be honest, everyone in the tavern was surprised when they received the news. They really didn't expect that Su Xia could lead the refugees who had never received training all the way from the manor to the refugee camp and even defeated several regular troops in Coral City. If it were an individual level 3 creature, his body would be somewhere else. With his head hanging in front of the office building, Yemo said, Did you know that in the tavern before, many registered killers were interested and planned to accept the million dollar reward mission about you? Okay, I know. Among the psychic creatures Su Xia had killed before, there was the killer from the tavern. Although Lingyan Tavern does not allow members to fight with each other inside the tavern. Outside, they can kill as they please. When the new news reached the tavern, all the killers calmed down. For Su Xia, who had killed two level 3 creatures in a row, the danger level had exceeded the excitement brought by the million dollar bounty. Now everyone just wants to know. What else does Su Xia want to do next? How far can he go? Li Difu. Stop it. EMO persuaded patiently. You have become famous this time. Everyone knows your name as the Masked Stranger. Those missions with heavy bounties will come to you. As long as you now stop it, you won't have to worry about food and clothing for the rest of your life. And you can make money that you can't spend all your money. Wearing a mask to kill and taking off the mask to enjoy life is what a normal killer should do. At least that's what most people in the tavern thought. And EMO really wanted to draw Su Xia into the Beifong Storytelling Club and didn't want to see him die on this chaotic night. But Su Xia shook her head and said, I'm sorry. Things must start and end. Li Difu. Listen to me. Do 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 do. Su Xia beeped a few times. Then hung up the phone and turned off the phone. He didn't have much time. And he didn't want to waste it chatting. This event exceeded most people's expectations. As for Lingyan Tavern. It is rare that they did not declare responsibility for what happened this time. This can be regarded as a silent statement. At this moment. Everyone in the refugee camp noticed the human soldiers gathering outside. What do those soldiers want? We are not wrong. Why do they keep targeting us? The atmosphere in the camp gradually became tense. The threat of death dissipated the joy of people's reunion. And those cold muzzles seemed to be aimed at this dilapidated area at any time. Su Xiao walked in front of them and was about to tell her next action plan. But just then, someone in the crowd fell. It was a skinny middle-aged man who had escaped from the underground world with many refugees. He followed Su Xia, fought all the way, and finally returned to the refugee camp. He was clearly not injured, but he suddenly fell to the ground, his breath of life as faint as a firefly. Beside him, a young man was in grief. His eyes were red, and tears were rolling out of his eyes, and he kept calling for this man. What happened? Everyone gathered around, all confused. This man was fine before. Why did he suddenly collapse? Su Xia walked over frowning slightly, and saw the specific situation. It's the Zerg. The power of the bugs is destroying his body. And he can't be saved. Sir, can't you even do anything? Someone asked next to me. No way. Su Xia shook her head and slowly squatted next to the man. This man was obviously an experimental subject who escaped from the laboratory. He looked normal on the outside. But inside, he had been completely eroded by the power of the Zerg. He could feel his weakness and pain but he just kept holding on, wanting only to come back and see his child one last time. Now that his wish was gone, he couldn't hold on anymore. He hugged the weapon that brought him freedom, closed his eyes, and lay on the dry land, his life disappearing with the evening wind. Su Xia said in a deep voice, There are many laboratories in Coral City. I think you all know that as long as the rulers of this city are still those people, things like this will continue to happen. Those damn rulers! The young man with red eyes suddenly raised his head with a bit of hatred on his sad face and took the weapon from his father's arms. He stood up, holding the weapon, his body trembling slightly, and walked step by step towards the dozen or so living prisoners. Everyone knew what this boy wanted to do, but most of them did nothing to stop him. However, an old man suddenly stood up 
He still had hope for the city's managers and persuaded him. Child, I believe the city lord will give us an answer. Calm down and don't let hatred swallow your heart. Old man, please get out of the way. No, kid, when you point your god at someone else, you're on your way to H. L. Coco, the other people in your mouth have created H. L. Chapter 79 It's time to end. Under night, more than a dozen gunshots rang out in the refugee camp. More than a dozen bodies fell to the ground. Under the dim light, people can clearly see that the blood of these rulers is also red. In the face of death, everyone seems to be no different. The smell of blood spread into the crowd with the wind, stimulating everyone's nerves. In the past, in this food-scarce area, every fresh corpse would be quietly eaten, allowing the living to barely survive. But tonight, everyone looked at Su Xiao with bright eyes. They need a strong leader, one who treats them as human beings and keeps them fed. Like the legendary commander North Wind. Everyone, if you are willing to follow me, please take up arms. Su Xiao waved her hand, and a river of countless weapons flowed through the night, like a star river, descending on the refugee camp, city center, office buildings. Secretary Chian stood at the door of the mayor's office, smiling and waving, and asked several workers to carry a new desk into the office. This is the third desk tonight. The first two were smashed into pieces by the angry Chi Lang. My lord, take a sip of tea first. Chian was very steady in his work and made Chi Lang a cup of tea in an orderly manner. Chi Lang looked gloomy and asked, Chao Chai, do those news media know what to say? I've already informed them. You did very well. Chi Lang planned to storm the refugee camp, wipe out all the refugees who escaped tonight, and forcibly nip all conflicts in the cradle. As for the other refugees in the camp, just kill some and capture some to scare the rest. This trick works very well and has been practiced in other cities. When daybreak comes, all news media in Coral City will report the evil resistance organization entered the city, took refugees as hostages, and fought fierce battles with the defense department in the refugee camp, resulting in the death of a large number of refugees. But Secretary Chian reminded, Sir, if you use high-pressure measures, it may be counterproductive. Are you still worried that they will rebel? Chi Lang sneered. Don't worry. Those untouchables won't dare to rebel as long as they have a glimmer of hope of living. They don't have the guts. As soon as he finished speaking, a phone call suddenly came to the office. This is an emergency call. Coming from the command center, Chi Lang's face darkened. He picked up the phone and asked coldly, What's the matter? The other end of the phone said anxiously, Sir, those refugees are rioting. What? Chi Lang's heart trembled, and he suddenly stood up from his seat. The other end of the phone continued. We haven't finished gathering yet. Countless refugees followed the masked weirdo, and went straight to the food warehouse in the southwest region. Now they have already... Already what? The granary in that direction may no longer be able to be defended. Damn it! The news was like a thunderbolt, hitting Chi Lang's head hard, making him almost crazy. Food and energy. These two things must not go wrong. Su Xia's move shocked many forces that were paying attention to tonight's events. Everyone thought that he would either retire and return to Zero Point Tavern with the reputation he gained tonight, or he would take the opportunity to escape to the wilderness area with the refugees. But Su Xia actually did the opposite. Instead of escaping, she secured a large grain storage area. The grains were piled up like mountains in each warehouse, which was extremely shocking at first glance. Outside the granary, a higher level refugee asked Su Xia, Sir! What should we do next? Distribute them all. Su Xia said calmly. Notify all refugee camps in this city that anyone who is short of food can come and get it. Yes. It was a sleepless night. The remaining refugee camps have long been paying attention to the situation in this direction. When the news of the opening of grain warehouses came out, all the refugees couldn't sit still and flock here. The whole city became lively. Under night, streams of people flowed through the streets and alleys finally converging in this grain storage area. Su Xia, on the other hand, did not stop and led a higher-level refugee detachment to quickly attack another location. When several Coral City garrison troops arrived, all the soldiers were shocked to the point of numbness. Countless emaciated refugees are receiving food here. There are thousands of people here, with no end in sight. The soldiers didn't know what to do for a while. How to deal with so many people? Kill them all? No. There is no end to the killing. More and more refugees are coming. Duh 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 duh. The officers of these troops stood on the roof of the armored vehicle with guns in hand and fired into the night sky, hoping to scare away the refugees. 
but a group of armed refugees stood up and confronted them, protecting the other refugees who were receiving food. This is not over yet. Amid the chaos, another piece of news came out that was enough to shock Coral City. What? The armory was attacked? Everyone in the headquarters was stunned when they heard the news. They have completely lost all traces of the masked stranger. But the masked stranger knows the location of every important facility in the city. The man seemed to be a ghost everywhere. Coming and going like the wind in the darkness. More refugees were armed. Just when everyone turned their attention to the armory that was attacked. Another area where food was stored was lost in the southwest area of the city. The whole city was on fire. Each piece of news hit every manager like a heavy hammer. Driving them almost crazy. Where is he? Su Xia alone cannot bring chaos to a city with normal order. The problem with Coral City is. The city has been on the verge of spiraling out of control. What Su Xia is doing is just detonating some of the contradictions buried in this city in advance. Along the way, he not only led people to open the granary and armory, but also opened up several manner like pleasure venues and rescued a large number of kidnapped refugees. These refugees come from various refugee camps in the city. And when they return, everyone will know what happened to them. There are also people who don't want to go back and want to follow Su Xia. Wherever Su Xia goes, they go. Sir, where are we going next? They looked at Su Xia as if they were looking at Shining Hope. Their face is full of trust. This city can't stay anymore. Su Xia is very aware of the current situation. He could raise his arms and attack the central area of the city with all the refugees. But this would not have good results. It's not time for the human race to counterattack. So now they can only go into the wilderness. Meet up with all the resistance organizations and wait for new changes to occur. Let's go. This night is over. Su Xia waved her hand and planned to take everyone away. But at this moment, a deadly cold light suddenly cut through the night sky. Sneak attack. Su Xia was shocked. He didn't have any warning and had no time to escape. At this critical moment, he only had time to turn sideways. Click. The cold light took away his left arm and blood spurted out instantly. Su Xia is disabled. Yes. It's time to end. Under the cover of night, a powerful and trembling spiritual energy wave came straight towards Su Xia, Mechanical City Lord Yutuo. The dignified fourth-level master unexpectedly attacked Su Xia, a third-level shrimp without any martial ethics. Chapter 80 Desperate Journey Cannot fight. Run away now. Facing such a level of existence, Su Xia has no idea of fighting now. Go to the wilderness and meet up with the resistance organizations. Don't wait for me. Su Xia left a message to everyone and then began her dangerous escape journey. Not far behind him, a weird-looking robot was chasing after him. The robot was at least three meters tall, with a silver-white body and a small metal head. There were no facial features on the front, only a flashing oval blue aperture. The mechanical limbs were longer and thicker than ordinary proportions. The power modules on the legs and back spit out with a penetrating light. The speed is astonishingly fast. Yutua a level 4.0 psychic creature, is the city's supreme combat power and is also the mastermind behind the city. He actually ended up in person. Anxious? Su Xia had no way of knowing what this mechanical city lord was thinking. He couldn't even see through this guy's faceplate. Although you can see that his level is 4.0. The descriptions of his active and passive skills are all, question mark, which is full of danger. If I could fully recover now, inject all the intermediate psychic potions, and add a set of armor. I would probably be able to confront him head on. It was very frustrating to be chased and beaten. But Su Xia had no other choice now. Even if he goes offline at the same place, the other party may still be waiting there. Now that the news about the undead has spread, most of the mechanical tribe also knows about it. Once Su Xia is caught or killed, the opponent can imprison his body, put a psychic suppressor on him, and then kill him repeatedly, and even broadcast his death to the whole city under the protection of countless metal layers. Su Xia was like a nighthawk, flying at high speed in the darkness, heading straight into the wilderness. Yu Tua chased after him, and the silver-white metal plate on his strong back slowly unfolded, revealing a honeycomb-shaped launch nest. More than a dozen roaring missiles were launched instantly, with beautiful tail flames, like scattered missiles. The shooting star went straight to Su Xia under the sky. Whoosh whoosh dash. The threat of death instantly enveloped Su Xia's body. A missile was intercepted by metal fragments and exploded, emitting a light blue shock wave, which had an effect similar to the psychic crush, skill. The spiritual energy in Su Xia's body was in chaos, and the countless metal fragments surrounding her were out of control for a moment, and she almost fell down. 
So close. Su Xia took a deep breath. Cold sweat broke out on her forehead. And this is just one. There are more than a dozen biting tightly behind it. In the city, countless people raised their heads and saw the scene of Su Xia being chased. Okay. That masked weirdo also had such a miserable day. Many soldiers, who had been overwhelmed before cheered and clapped their hands. Who is that big robot at the back? It looks awesome. Shuh. Sure. Keep your voice down. That's Lord Yutua. Ah? The city lord actually looks like this? This is the first time many people have seen the true form of the mechanical city lord. The terrifying spiritual energy fluctuations and the strong mechanical body all showed the power of this city lord. Outside several granaries, compared to the excitement of many managers and soldiers in Coral City, the refugees' hearts tightened. After all, this city still belongs to the machine tribe. As soon as that person takes action, the situation is instantly reversed. Can the masked stranger survive? Master Mask will definitely survive. We have to believe in him. Even if they didn't believe it themselves. Some refugees still said this loudly, cheering for the people around them. Yes, a good man like him will definitely live a long life. We have to walk the next journey on our own. We can't let him down. Let's go lurk in the wilderness first. Once Master Mask needs us in the future, we will answer his call. People brought food and weapons, encouraged each other, and started on the road to the wilderness. In the wilderness outside the city, in addition to the Oasis camp, there are also many temporary campsites for resistance organizations. However, the Oasis camp is more famous and has more organizations staying there. Many resistance organizations have come to the edge of the city, lurking quietly in the darkness waiting for these refugees to appear, and then absorb them to strengthen themselves. Because there were so many refugees leaving the city, the soldiers could no longer stop them. All news outlets in Coral City have been given new instructions. What happened tonight will be defined as a large-scale rebellion orchestrated by the Wilderness Resistance Forces. The core figure of this rebellion is the Masked Stranger. His head will be hung in the square in the center of the city to let everyone know the fate of the rebellion. Most people felt that Su Xia was bound to die. The truth is pretty much the same. In this almost extreme pursuit, the spiritual energy in Su Xia's body was consumed rapidly, and even drinking medicine could not keep up with the consumption rate. Boom! He smashes the glass of an abandoned factory and flies through the gloomy interior of the factory. However, several missiles did not avoid it and hit the wall outside the factory. They exploded with a roar and burst into flames. Yutua followed closely behind, like an emotionless killing machine. As a last resort, Su Xiao once again took out a level 4 auxiliary potion. This potion can temporarily increase his speed by at least 20% for 15 minutes. He didn't hesitate and drank it in one gulp. Gula Gula. After taking the potion, Su Xiao felt light all over, as if she had a pair of invisible wings, and her speed suddenly increased. Then he waved his hand, and all the discarded metal equipment in the factory was instantly thrown back. Su Xiao didn't look back, and didn't care whether it was hit or not. Keep running. At this moment, another cold light flashed through at an extremely fast speed, shattering layers of metal and instantly opening a bloody wound on Su Xia's back. This must be Yutuo's unique active psychic skill, and Su Xia now has almost no ability to avoid it. His. Su Xia broke into a cold sweat and turned pale. He immediately took out a bottle of precious fourth level healing potion and drank it. The level four potions in his hand were getting less and less. But now Yutuo didn't slow down and still followed closely. Su Xia secretly made up her mind to refine the medicine well and get the pharmacist level as soon as possible after this crisis was over. Boom, boom, boom. Two missiles exploded behind him in succession. Fortunately, they were far apart this time. So Su Xia was not greatly affected. With a thought in his mind, he suddenly tore apart the steel door of the factory in front of him, flew out of the factory, and continued to escape. At the back, Nei Tuo was very calm and did not have the characteristic of a villain who talks too much. Just as Su Xia was about to raise the altitude, several deadly missiles suddenly flew from the distance. Coral City's anti-aircraft missiles were actually used. Not only that, several anti-aircraft guns roared to the right, and a series of deadly warheads mixed with tracer bullets flew under the night, like God's whip. Su Xia immediately descended and flew close to the ground. Chapter 81 Fight to the Death Tracer bullets are very dazzling in the night, and beams of dark red deadly light dance in the night sky. The scene is extremely spectacular. Su Xia still has not escaped the threat of death. But the last link of the current mission jumped out in front of him. The second part of the mission, Burning Weed's Tang Zhong's last wish, has ended. 
Last link starts. Task requirement. Ensure that most of the refugees who escaped successfully meet up with the resistance organizations in the wilderness. Task reward. A set of nanorobots. Cards X3 with all attributes increased by 1%. Intermediate Psychic Potion X5. Advanced Psychic Potion X2. Which can be collected after completing all task links. These mission rewards make Su Xia jealous just by looking at them. But he himself was still in danger. And he could only pray that the refugees could escape smoothly. Before that, he had given the refugees enough food and weapons. So there shouldn't be much of a problem. While I was escaping, I did not see any exchange of fire between the refugees and Coral City soldiers. This shows that Coral City knew they could not stop them and did not want to waste energy. So they changed the direction of their actions. Now, Su Xian must find a way to escape Yutuo's pursuit. He gritted his teeth, and with a sudden heart, he took out a bunch of psychic bombs that he had collected from the Blood Red mercenaries. These precious bombs were supposed to be used to deal with the insect infestation in the Oasis camp. But now they can't control so much. It's important to save their lives. I can get this thing again in the future. Su Xia flew into a group of ruined buildings. While flying, she tied a psychic bomb with an ordinary bomb. And then threw it back as if it was free. Behind, there was constant roaring. Boom boom dash. Yutuo's mechanical arms changed. And the layers of cold silver white metal SH. LS faded away. The deadly muzzle inside rose and fired a series of bullets, exploding most of the psychic bombs thrown by Su Xia in advance. He turned on his psychic shield and rushed directly through the explosion area where psychic energy and metal fragments were entangled, without slowing down much at all. On the contrary, many abandoned buildings were damaged. They were already shaky, but they collapsed completely after being blown up like this. Smoke and dust filled the ruins, and buildings collapsed in thunderous explosions. The two of them moved forward and backward, like two streams of light, speeding over the ruins. Su Xia didn't dare to stop at all. He kept using the two active skills of Alloy Storm and Metal Explosion in an attempt to affect Yutua. A mechanical creature. Maybe the strength gap between the two sides was too big. Or maybe Yutua had special skills and was not affected at all. Gula Gula. Su Xia drank another tube of Psychic Supplement Potion. Once the potion and spiritual energy are exhausted, he will have no choice but to face this terrifying level 4 mechanical creature. In the entire Coral City, only Yi, the owner of Lingyan Tavern, was also at level 4. But will Yi save Su Xia? In the Lingyan Tavern at this moment, many killers were quietly looking at Yi in front of the wine cabinet, wondering whether the big boss would take action. But Yi just drank leisurely and didn't care about what happened in the city. As said before, the members' personal affairs have nothing to do with the pub. A killer whispered, the drunkard boss is not ready to take action. It seems that this guy's life is at stake. Is it possible that he escaped? I don't think there's much hope. If we can really escape, the words masked stranger will probably become one of the legends in the history of Coral City. In the area of Coral City and Waste Armor City, the only one who could be called a legend in the past was Commander Bayfong. But Commander Bayfong's reputation has been accumulated over many years. Everyone was not optimistic about this masked stranger, who suddenly appeared because his actions were too reckless. Even the players think so. On the forum, the post about civil unrest in Coral City has been pinned to the top, and a large number of screenshots have been released inside the post. These screenshots are the inside information of the underground manor that players had obtained from Su Xia. Others have released videos ranging from refugee camps to granaries, and there are even scenes of Su Xia and Yu Tuo flying into the night sky. A player replied under the post, the rich people in this game are so crazy that they directly use human lives for fun. Fortunately, this does not happen in reality. The resistance of these refugees is so passionate. I want to rush forward. It's just a pity that NPC. We may never know how handsome he is. Some people sighed, still wondering what the face under the mask looked like. But soon someone said, I heard that the robot likes to hang the head of the resistance leader in the center of the city. We should be able to see the NPC's head in the city center tomorrow morning. The mask will definitely be taken off by then. Actually, I hope this NPC can survive. Me too. As humans, many players' natural attitude is on the human side, and the weak are more likely to empathize. In addition, this kind of resistance amidst oppression aroused the emotions of some players, making them resonate with each other. Oh, the ability to control metal with that hand is really cool. If I were him, I would just grow for a while and then take action when I grow up. This is what the casual player thinks. If I had this ability, I wouldn't rebel. Another player said, 
It would be great to use this ability to drive screws in the factory. I can contract the screws for the entire factory and kill other workers for a month. You can definitely make a lot of money if you come down here. Su Xia didn't have time to visit the forum. And she didn't know that she had become the focus. For him. Now is not the time to give up. In his expectation, the worst result was to give up the account temporarily. And then go all out to operate the commander account. Upgrade to level 4 as soon as possible. And then take advantage of the general trend of human counterattack to fight back to Coral City and rescue the clone. There is still hope. Su Xiao was now covered in blood. With several wounds on her back. The bloody wounds were so deep that the bones were visible. He took a deep breath. Endured the pain. And counted all the items he owned. Potions. Cards. Bombs. Weapons. After three minutes of full status. There is only one card left. This is Su Xia's treasure at the bottom of the box. Among the remaining 4th level auxiliary potions, one can temporarily increase Su Xia's combat power by at least 15% for 15 minutes. At the cost of being in a weak state with a 50% reduction in combat power for the next 60 minutes. Fight! Su Xia made up her mind, used the last card, and then drank the potion in one gulp. It's actually apple flavored. Rave reviews. Under the influence of the full status card. All his injuries recovered instantly. And he climbed to the peak of level 3.6 psychic power. Under the influence of the potion. He broke through level 3.6 and quickly climbed to level 3.9. He took out the last two extremely corrosive level 4 poisons. Took a bunch of bombs with him. And instead of escaping. He turned around and headed straight for Yutuo. Hit all the power and finished the battle in one blow. The moment he exploded. Yutuo's body stagnated for an instant. Huh? From the beginning to the present, Yutuo felt a little surprised for the first time in this chase. Sushana's skill in controlling metal actually affected him. Chapter 82 Where is the head? Kaka dash. The two silver white alloy plates were slightly twisted, deformed, and collapsed inward. Yutuo was surprised. These two alloy plates were from the mechanical module of his arm. They were used to protect the internal structure and were enough to withstand the impact of ordinary level 4 psychic energy fluctuations. The Su Xia in front of him is not yet at the 4th level. Once he grows to the 4th level, he will probably become a nightmare for metal creatures of this level. Interesting. Yutua moved again. Extremely ferocious. Like a giant steel beast. The two of them approached at high speed under the cover of night. Like two missiles about to collide. And the terrifying psychic fluctuations were heart-stopping. Countless metal fragments in front of Su Xia were spinning wildly. Layer by layer. Like the drill bits of a drilling machine. Exploding instantly the moment they approached Yutuo's mechanical body. Boom! Yutuo's body was shaking violently. And there was even a tooth gripping sound of metal friction and rattling inside his body. After the psychic shield was broken, he actually withstood the blow. His whole body shone in the metal storm. Like a god from heaven. The metal on his chest was slightly red. And he suddenly shot out a psychic laser as thick as a human head. The dazzling light instantly illuminated half of the night sky and countless metal fragments melted in the beam. The distance was too close, and Su Xia couldn't hide at all, and she didn't even think about avoiding it. She gritted her teeth and rushed forward with a metal shield on her head. The two sides were getting closer and closer. Neither of them thought of retreating. Yu Tuo's skills were endless. Before the psychic laser was finished, his whole body was shaken, and a shock wave visible to the naked eye erupted. Su Xia was the first to bear the brunt, and was swept by this wave of waves, and she suddenly spurted out a mouthful of blood. Buzz! His brain felt dizzy for a while, and an illusory double image appeared in front of his eyes. The sounds from the outside world became blurred, and sharp tinnitus buzzed. On the ruins below, countless cement bricks swept by the shock wave began to collapse and disintegrate. Two mutated creatures hiding in the ruins died suddenly on the spot, and their flesh and bones were crushed into a ball of debris. Su Xia felt like her whole body was falling apart, and no part of her internal organs was uncomfortable. Yuto is really too strong. Like those super bosses in the game that cannot be defeated without a health bar. But Su Xia still gritted her teeth, tried her best to suppress all the discomfort, and walked straight towards Yuto. Yuto's speed also increased instantly, and he stopped using his skills and crashed straight into Su Xia. Boom! Su Xia spurted out another mouthful of blood. She felt severe pain all over her body. Her five internal organs seemed to be displaced and she didn't know how many bones in her body were broken. Yutuo bullied himself and threw a punch. The punch was like a meteor, containing terrifying energy, and hit Su Xia hard. He is extremely domineering. 
has great boxing skills, and is not afraid of close combat at all. How can a body of flesh and blood defeat a body of steel? A few explosive punches knocked Su Xia flying backwards, her whole body covered in wounds, like a blood-stained rag sack. However, Yu Tuo's momentum remained unabated. The wind of his fist roared. He was fierce and domineering. His fists were surrounded by light, and he went straight toward Su Xia, like a tiger attacking a sheep. At the moment when he pounced, Su Xia finally caught a flaw. Call out! A stick of poison flew out quickly under the metal, pulling out a faint shadow in the darkness and hitting Yutuo's lower abdomen. There was only a sound of impact. The poison shattered, and wisps of highly corrosive green poisonous mist filled the air. At this moment, Yutuo's fierce punch also hit Su Xia's chest. Boom! Su Xia flew out again and crashed into the ruins of the building below. Her broken body knocked open countless cement bricks and rolled for a long distance before stopping. A long blood trail was left on the ruins, which looked extremely oozing. Yutuo stood in the air, high above. Just when he was about to continue taking action, his mechanical system suddenly gave an alarm and the torso module was marked red. On the alloy SH, L of his lower abdomen, there were actually tiny corroded holes. These holes were of different sizes and depths and they were definitely a nightmare for patients with trypophobia. The one that can cause such a terrifying effect on him must be at least a level 4 potion. Yutuo's face flashed with blue light. Thoughtful. At this moment, Su Xia below suddenly jumped up and headed straight for Yutuo. He actually still has the strength to fight again. Huhu. <laughs> the wind roared under the night, and Yutuo was surrounded by a storm composed of countless metals. Thousands and thousands of them, including a large number of explosives prepared by Su Xia. Level 3.9 versus level 4.0. The gap between the two sides is not that big. Su Xia used all her strength and shouted loudly. All the metals exploded, and the destructive power instantly swept across the world. Majestic and devastating. The explosion caused a cloud of dust and bricks flying across the ruins. The metal SH. L on Yutuo's lower abdomen actually cracked with several clicks. He was shaken all over. The blue light on his face flashed crazily and every part seemed to be creaking. After the explosion, Su Xia didn't stop for a moment and slammed into Yutua, throwing out the last level 4 poison at the cost of almost breaking his shoulder blade. Boom! The potion still hit Yutuo's lower abdomen in the same position. After a few clicks, the alloy module at that location completely cracked, and the poisonous mist invaded the interior and began to corrode its internal structure. In an instant, Yutuo's mechanical system went viral and the blue light on his face turned into red light. As if he was in a state of madness, he punched Su Xia on the right arm. Su Xia flew forward and kicked Yutuo hard in the abdomen, leaving a scarlet bloody footprint. Then he jumped up suddenly, and flew straight into the sky like a cannonball, heading straight for the distant wilderness. Su Xia tried her best, but the whole world seemed to be retreating rapidly, and her blood-stained robes were blown by the night sky. Just as Yutuo was about to take action, he suddenly stopped and fell to the ground. Boom! Su Shana's power to control metal finally had a considerable impact on him, and his abdomen was corroded by the poisonous mist. The heavy mechanical body slammed into a ruined building, breaking two layers of fragile cement boards. When he stood up, smashed the wall, and prepared to pursue again, Su Xia was already far away. The masked stranger, Yu Tuo's face flashed red, and he read these four words in a deep voice. The result of this battle was beyond his expectation. It was a complete failure. He glanced at the knight in the distance, took off into the air, no longer pursued, but flew towards the center of the city. On this crazy night, countless people were waiting for the outcome of this battle. Some people are looking at the sky, while others are pacing back and forth in tall buildings. When Yutuo's rapidly flying steel body appeared over the city, countless soldiers and managers in Coral City cheered. This was the cheer they had agreed upon, and they would offer it immediately when Yutuo came back. The lord of the city is finally back. Eh? Why doesn't he have the masked monster's head in his hand? Chapter 83 The Last Link With the character of the machine race. After killing the leader of the resistance, he will definitely bring his head back. These bloody heads can serve as a deterrent to the rebellious people in the city. It's almost become a tradition. From the beginning of the war between the two tribes to now, it lasted for many years. But now, there is no head in Yutuo's hand. It is empty and there are some signs of damage on the outside. There are only two possible explanations. Or, the body of the masked weirdo was ground into mince meat, and not even a piece of intact tissue could be found. So Yutua couldn't bring it back. 
either. A bad premonition arose in the hearts of many people. Did you let that damn masked weirdo escape? Impossible? When a level 4 creature takes action, how many people in this city can stop it? No matter what, the probability of the masked stranger surviving is extremely slim. In the city, the cheers of everyone gradually died down. They looked at each other and saw the confusion in each other's eyes. And the atmosphere became strange. Everyone wanted to know the truth. But Utula said nothing and flew all the way back to the mechanical tribe steel base to recuperate. In the office building in the city center, the human city Lord Chi Lang was very agitated. He walked around the office and drank a cup of tea from time to time. But these mild teas could not calm him down at all. Damn it! Was there an accident? Chi Lang really wanted to make a call to the machine tribe base. But as soon as he stretched out his hand, he froze in midair again, unable to make a decision. There was such a big trouble this time. Countless refugees fled to the wilderness. The granaries and armories in the city were attacked and captured. The whole city was turned into a mess. Since the machine clan introduced the concept of ruling people with people, such a chaotic situation has only happened in the early stages. After the war, things gradually became calmer everywhere. What happened tonight will definitely be regarded as a typical failure case. How could this happen? Those damn untouchables and that damn masked weirdo. Who gave them the courage? Things shouldn't have developed like this. Chi Lang was irritated and felt uncomfortable all over. As if there were thousands of ants crawling on his body. Will the machine tribe think that he is doing something unfavorable? Will they think that he is not useful enough and then revoke his position as city lord? Questions that made him uneasy were circling around in his mind. Like a ball of thread that could not be untangled. Getting more and more complicated. Making him almost suffocated. It would be fine if the masked weirdo died. But I am afraid that city lord Yutua made a mistake. Will he be angry? Will he take his anger out on me? Chi Lang gasped and scratched his hair frantically, his heart beating violently in his chest. As if he was about to jump out, he didn't want to leave. Without this office, what was the difference between him and those ordinary third-level creatures? No, there is still a difference. Any normal third-level psychic creature would be respected in a small city like Coral City, and they could live comfortably by joining any organization. But once Chi Lang falls from the position of city lord, he will become the laughing stock of everyone. Xiao Chai, what should I do? Chi Lang suddenly grabbed the secretary's shoulders, his eyes filled with bloodshot eyes. Tell me, what should I do to keep this position? Secretary Chai and ignored the severe pain coming from his shoulder and kept smiling, saying, Sir, you need to let the machine ray see your role and let them know that you cannot be replaced for the time being. What does it do? The first step is to commend the soldiers who fought bravely tonight express condolences to the fallen soldiers, and provide compensation to the families of the fallen soldiers. This, Chi Lang shuddered, let go of his secretary Chian, and slowly sat on the office chair. Chian's words were like a sharp knife, cutting through the tangled threads in his mind, making these things instantly clear. He held the teacup tightly, as if grasping a life-saving straw, and asked quickly, What next? What should we do next? The second step is to go to the fighting area tonight. Comfort the civilians who were frightened by the fighting. And promise to repair the urban facilities damaged in the fighting. That's when plans started to be made over here at the office building. In the city. Gossip spread. It is said that someone was on the edge of the ruins where Su Xia and Yutua fought for the last time. And witnessed with their own eyes the scene in which the masked stranger exchanged his life for injuries. And used his seriously injured body to fight off Yutua. Some people also say that at the last moment. A mysterious master appeared and rescued the masked stranger. And that mysterious master. Everyone agreed that he was the drunkard owner of Lincoln Tavern. When this unreliable news reached Lincoln Tavern. Many killers were dumbfounded because he had been drinking in front of the liquor cabinet. And had not even been to the toilet during this period. Where did that mysterious master come from? In Coral City. Apart from the drunkard boss and that Utua city lord. Is there anyone else who is a fourth level creature? It's gone. It's definitely gone. Everyone was convinced that the fourth-level creatures were all-powerful and could not be hidden in a small place like Coral City. In this way, Su Xia's life and death became a mystery for the time being. Su Xia escaped all the way, using the night as cover to fly high in the night sky. His physical condition was quite bad, and lines of negative text kept popping up. You are currently in a disabled state, with your left arm missing. The left arm still needs 2 hours and 23 minutes to recover and it has recovered to 20.5% now. You are currently in a state of side effects of the Extreme Explosion Potion, and your combat power is reduced by 
after making sure that she was safe. Su Xia slowly descended and found a hidden jungle corner. Call. He was lying under a big tree, covered in blood, with his eyes closed and his chest heaving. Waves of exhaustion came over him like a tide, almost swallowing him up. But the tearing pain forced him to wake up. There were countless broken bones in his body, and there was almost no intact skin on his body. This time it was so miserable. After you have completely recovered and your combat power has improved, you must fight back to Coral City and get your place back. Su Xia really wanted to rest like this for one night and lie here until dawn. But the mission did not allow him to lie down for so long. After resting for half an hour, Su Xia set off again. He flew extremely fast and arrived at the area bordering the wilderness on the outskirts of Coral City in 40 minutes. These refugees are moving very quickly. Su Xia soon saw a small refugee team of more than 70 people. In addition to this group of refugees, there are others in the wilderness ahead. It seemed to be a resistance organization, hiding quietly in the dark grass of the wilderness, with all its members motionless. Sure enough, these resistance organizations are well informed and want to absorb new blood. As the refugee team advances, the refugees are getting closer and closer to the latent resistance organization. The last step of the mission is to ensure that most of the refugees can successfully rendezvous with the resistance organization. Su Xia slowly descended and took a look at the personal panel of this resistance organization member. But as soon as he read the panel description of one of the members, his expression darkened. Wrong. This is a group of wandering mercenaries. Chapter 84 The First Lesson in the Wilderness Wandering Mercenaries Worms in the Wilderness It should be said that they are the worms of the entire human race. After the war, social order collapsed. Countless criminals escaped from prison. And those with dark minds began to walk in the sunshine. These people had similar odors. And when they came together, they formed teams of wandering mercenaries in the wilderness. They burned, killed, looted, and committed all kinds of evil. They were typical representatives of all evil people. Su Xia understood the purpose of the last part of the mission. For the countless refugees who have escaped, the threat from the mechanical race has diminished. But the threat from within the human race is still there. What do these wandering mercenaries want from the refugees? Su Xia thought for a moment and came up with several answers. The food and weapons carried by the refugees may be targets of wandering mercenaries. But the most important thing is, refugee heads. These heads can be used as certificates of submission and submitted to Coral City officials. You must know that not every wandering mercenary can obtain a looting license. Without a license, they cannot legitimately rob villages and towns on the outskirts of the city. In today's world, being a dog is not that easy. You need to show your sincerity and gain the owner's approval before you can obediently receive dog food. Below, the refugee team is almost approaching the wandering mercenary organization. Su Xiao was also planning to take action. But at this moment, the mercenary organization seemed to feel that the refugees had too many weapons. So all the members stood up and emerged from the grass. The leader shouted, Friends in front of you, are you refugees who escaped from Coral City? This small refugee team was obviously not cautious enough and had not suffered any losses in the wilderness. They immediately responded. Yes. Who are you? Great. We are here to help you. Don't be afraid. The machine race is our common enemy. You are a resistance organization in the wilderness? Yes. We are all a family. The boss of the wandering mercenary team had a smile on his face and a gentle voice and led his men towards the refugee group. And the refugee team was unprepared, not even turning on the weapon's safety. Seeing this scene, Su Xia couldn't help but frown. Why are you so careless? The cruel rule of Coral City, coupled with countless disappearances, failed to make these refugees understand the rules of survival in troubled times. Although the war is over, the world is still in chaos. You can't trust anything else except the gun in your hand. The wandering mercenary organization below does not have many people. Only more than 60 people. But as long as they think about it, they have countless ways to kill the 70-person refugee team and ensure that there are no casualties. For example, the simplest one is poisoning food. Just when the two sides were about to come into contact, Su Xia descended and landed in front of the refugee team. Master Mask? Seeing Su Xia's figure, many refugees cried out in surprise. But they soon noticed the blood all over Su Xia's body, and saw Su Xia's mutilated left arm and slightly sunken chest, and couldn't help but become worried. Someone asked, Master Mask, are you okay? Su Xia, does this look like it's okay? He still waved his hand and said calmly, It's just a minor injury. It's not a big problem. I'm used to it. 
Your hand. It's just a broken arm. Who hasn't broken it yet? Don't make a fuss. Oh. The refugees scratched their heads and stopped asking. On the other side, after seeing Su Xia, the wandering mercenaries were all shocked. This ruthless man who turned Coral City upside down is still alive? Didn't it mean that the Lord of Utua City had already taken action? A few mercenaries were afraid and wanted to retreat. But the leader suddenly turned his head and stopped everyone with a stern look. You can't retreat at this time. Otherwise your secret will be revealed. Just looking at their appearance, they are no different from those resistance organizations. So they should be able to deceive them. Even if you can't cheat, looking at the masked monster like this, it seems like he doesn't have much fighting power left. The boss's eyes moved slightly, and a bold idea suddenly came into his mind. But he was a cautious person and suppressed the idea for the time being. He stepped forward, looked excited and asked, Sir, are you the legendary masked stranger? It's me. Su Xia replied calmly, I didn't expect to see you in person. Which organization are you from? Su Xia asked indifferently, I am familiar with Commander Beifong. I basically know all the famous resistance organizations in the wilderness. We are the Iron Hammer Organization, which was established recently. My name is Wu Di. Wu Di reacted quickly, with a smile on his face and no problem. He added, We heard the news about the unrest in Coral City on the radio and knew that many refugees were going into the wilderness. So we wanted to come and help some. Everyone who has the courage to resist is my family. No normal person would doubt that sincere smile. The refugees were quite excited. They didn't expect to find the organization as soon as they entered the wilderness. They stepped forward and said happily, Great! Let's fight against the rule of the mechanical tribe together in the future. Yes! We are all family from now on! Wu Di had a smile on his face and opened his hands. This guy always talks about being a family member. But I don't know why I thought he was a family man. Just when both parties were enjoying themselves, Su Xia suddenly turned around and said to the refugees with a serious face, Everyone! The wilderness is a cruel place. Today I will teach you the first lesson. Don't believe anyone. What? The happy refugees were suddenly startled. Before they could react, Su Xia suddenly struck out, turned around and punched Wu Di on the chin. Wu Di screamed and flew backwards, hitting a younger brother behind him heavily. The severe pain of his broken jaw made him wail incessantly, and most of the teeth in his mouth were broken. His entire face was deformed, and he kept spitting out broken teeth and bloody foam. This punch directly shattered the bold idea in his heart. Yu Yu. Anger and panic filled his chest at the same time. He pointed at Su Xia tremblingly and slurred in his mouth. He also had level 2.3 psychic power, but was knocked over by Su Xia's punch. Could it be that Su Xia's serious injury was just an act? Behind Su Xia, some refugees didn't understand and asked, Why does Master Mask want to beat this gentleman? You have to understand that there are more than just resistance groups in this wilderness. Su Xia didn't turn around and answer calmly. There is no need to say too much. The reactions of those wandering mercenaries have already helped him supplement it. Seeing Wu's enemy vomiting blood and falling to the ground. A higher level mercenary yelled angrily. Hack! You dare to hit our boss! Boss! We will avenge you later! Rest in peace! Brothers! Copy the guy! Run away! Chapter 85 Fatal Visit These wandering mercenaries are all of the same virtue. Bully the weak and fear the strong. When encountering a weak person, all kinds of torture methods can be used. But once they meet a strong person, these guys just hate their parents for not having more legs. Naturally, Su Xia would not let these guys escape. He would kill every one of these cancers in the wilderness. With a wave of his hand, all the mercenaries took off their firearms and weapons, flew into the air, turned their guns, and pointed them at their former master. All escape directions were blocked and the faces of these mercenaries turned pale instantly. Snapped. Someone knelt down on the spot, cowed out repeatedly, squeezed out a few tears and cried, Grandpa Mask, please let me go. I am also helpless. My family members were all killed by the machine clan. I can only walk on the road. In the wilderness, looking for a bite to eat. Seeing this scene, the refugees behind looked at each other. There were still people who didn't understand before. But now everyone understands that what they encountered was not a resistance organization, but a notorious wandering mercenary. If Su Xia didn't show up, what would be their current outcome? His. Thinking of this, they only felt chills running down their spines. Men may be killed on the spot. Women may be insulted and then killed. Someone patted their chest. Fortunately, Master Mask is here. Someone else whispered to the people next to him. 
Master Mask said that no one can be trusted. So can we believe him? Could he also be a fake? Su Xia. Very good. I dare to doubt him. This class is very effective. He took a few steps forward, stepped on Woody's head, looked down from a high position, and began to interrogate the organization about where the supplies were hidden. These wandering mercenaries are extremely rich, and Su Xia will not let them go. After the torture was over, Su Xia killed them all without sparing anyone. Dozens of bodies lay among the swaying weeds. The flowers in this area will definitely be brighter next year. Let's go. Su Xiao waved and led everyone to move forward. Not long after walking, they encountered a real resistance group. This resistance organization is called the Scimitar and is not small in scale. There are more than 200 people who come out to support them. And there are hundreds of people responsible for various tasks in their temporary garrison. Master Mask, your injuries are not serious. The leader of the Scimitar wanted Su Xia to leave a legacy and borrow some of Su Xia's fame. But Su Xia refused. He still had unfinished tasks. After the two parties said goodbye, Su Xia began to search along the large border area between the suburbs and the wilderness, and found more than 10 refugee teams that had escaped. These teams range from dozens of people to thousands of people, and there are also a large number of refugees arriving behind them. Come with me. Don't get separated. In the process of leading these refugee teams, Su Xia met many leaders of resistance organizations and easily destroyed three mercenary organizations. Naturally, he found out where the resources of the three mercenary organizations were hidden. During this period, the Scimitar organization accepted the most refugees. They have accepted several batches of refugees, and the number of refugees is more than the members of the original organization. Master Mask, you can go and rest first. It's okay if we are here. We will always guard this border area. The leader of the Scimitar suggested. He felt that Su Xia's injuries were reaching their limit. And something might happen if she didn't rest. The leader of another organization also said. We have united with other organizations. And will not leave tonight. Don't worry. This time. Due to the thousands of refugees who escaped. Coral City did not send a large army to encircle and suppress them. These resistance groups came with great courage. Last time when Su Xia led a group of people to escape from the laboratory. The army from the Waste Armor City followed. So no one dared to come to rescue her. Everyone could only pray for Su Xia silently. At this time, the task prompt in front of Su Xia also popped up. The mission, Burning Weeds, has been completed. Task rewards have been distributed and can be withdrawn at any time. This is the most generous mission reward. It was getting late. So Su Xia said goodbye to everyone and returned directly to Coral City instead of picking up the supplies for the wandering mercenaries. On the way back to the city, his left arm completely recovered and grew back. The new skin is delicate and white, with no trace of having participated in the battle at all. Su Xia randomly found a lake on the way, washed away the blood and put on new clothes, looking no different from before. When he avoided countless patrolling soldiers and returned to the pharmacy, it was already past five in the morning. The chaos in Coral City has gradually subsided. Dad got up earlier than usual today. Before half past six, he got up, washed up, and then went out to buy breakfast. Dad didn't seem to be interested in the major events happening in the city. He quickly came back with breakfast and knocked on the counter. A few slackers. Come down for breakfast. Come on! Hong Bafu suddenly jumped up from the bed. And his fat body once again made the entire second floor tremble. Lan Bafu's speed was not slow either. And he drifted down along with the scent. It's strange to say that these two brothers didn't know anything about the big commotion last night. They slept like pigs but their father's voice calling them to eat could wake them up instantly. During the meal, the two of them watched the TV news and realized what happened last night. After seeing the scene of the refugees taking over the granary, Hongbafu clapped his hands and said, Okay, it's time to rebel. That masked weirdo is my half-brother. I must follow him when I see him in the future. A Taoyuan sworn brotherhood. Shuh. Brother Hong, please keep your voice down. Lan Bafu lowered his head and said, there are patrols everywhere outside now. What are you afraid of? Just talk about it. They can't do anything to me. Hong Bafu didn't care and continued to eat tofu. But at this moment, a dull voice suddenly came from outside the store. Kid, trouble comes from your mouth. You should listen to Junior Brother Yu. As soon as he finished speaking, the store door was pushed open. The four masters and disciples all looked towards the door. A nearly two meter tall robot stood at the door. His body was blue and white with blue light flashing in his eyes. He stepped into the store and said calmly, 
The delicious breakfast reminds me of the days when I was a child and lived with my mother. Hong Bafu couldn't help but complain. Is the robot still a child? Kids. Some of the mechanical tribesmen were not born as machines. The robot walked a few steps in the store and looked around, as if it wanted to record the scenes on the first floor. Then he sat at the counter and said, I'm Yuta, and I'm here to ask something. Hong Bafu smiled. What a strange name this is. Yu Yu. He was holding the rice bowl, and the smile on his face suddenly froze. Yu Tua? Mechanical City Lord. The moment this name appeared, the air in the entire store seemed to freeze. Chapter 86 is a good seedling. This Yu Tua is different from the Yu Tua Su Xia I saw last night. His mechanical body is similar to the ordinary mechanical soldiers patrolling outside. It looks like a product coming off the assembly line without such powerful psychic fluctuations. This is probably an ordinary clone. But even so, just sitting here, he felt an invisible sense of oppression that made the whole store almost breathless. He is the master of the entire city. There is no need for a luxurious appearance. This name is enough to represent everything. In the shop, the aroma of breakfast was still strong, and the steam of fried dough sticks and soy milk was wafting. But the master and apprentice all put down their bowls and chopsticks. The atmosphere became tense and oppressive, and no one spoke. Only the sound of the news anchor reporting last night's events on the old color TV was left. I don't know how long it took, but you two have finally spoke. His voice still very calm. A few hours ago, I was slightly injured. Hearing this, the ears of Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu trembled. In this coral city, who can let you two get hurt? It can't be a masked weirdo, right? It is generally believed that among creatures of the same level, the machine race is stronger than the Zerg race and the Zerg race is stronger than the human race. Even if the owner of Lingyan Tavern takes action, if it is not a life-and-death battle, Yu Tua is unlikely to be injured when both sides are fighting. The body of steel is simply too powerful. The opponent used a potion that is very corrosive. Yu Tua looked calm. It was a fourth-level potion, and there are not many pharmacists in Coral City who can refine fourth-level potions. Hearing this, the two brothers were startled, and they couldn't help but feel worried in their hearts. Yutuo suddenly came to the pharmacy, obviously suspicious of his father. Once he attacks his father, the consequences will be disastrous. Dad's old bones are so weak that he probably doesn't have much fighting power. The fighting ability of these disciples is too weak. Even if Yutuo stands and lets them fight, they may not be able to fight. But the father was very calm at the moment, without changing his expression, and said to Yutuo, Lord City Lord, could you please tell me about the properties of that potion? Is it only corrosive? The poisonous mist of the potion is green and lasts for one to two minutes. It is extremely corrosive and can corrode the special alloy on my body. If used on flesh and blood creatures, it should be able to melt it into blood and water in a short time. Listening to the description is a bone-eroding poison. Dad didn't keep it. He took out a small medicine box and took out a green poison from the box. He handed it to Yutua and said, Lord City Lord, take a look. You can't be wrong. Only you can refine this poison? You two asked. How about the other fourth-level pharmacists in the city? The standard bone-eroding poison formula is available in many fourth-level pharmacists. Dad replied calmly and closed the small medicine box. But he also added, Mine has modified two materials, which are more toxic. Um. Yutua took the potion and looked through it carefully, blue light flashing in his eyes. Through the tone of his father's explanation, he was sure that his father was not lying. This potion was unique to this pharmacy. Who did you sell this medicine to? Pharmacist Luo from Stone Town. Dad answered truthfully. After I improved the formula, Pharmacist Luo should have been the first user. At that time, I sent three apprentices to deliver the medicine. But when they arrived, Stone Town had been destroyed. Oh! Yu Tua moved his eyes and looked at Su Xiao and the others. He naturally knew how Stone Town was destroyed and also knew what happened to the wandering mercenaries. Under Yu Tua's gaze, Lan Bafu was obviously uncomfortable. He lowered his head slightly and kept staring at the fried dough sticks in the bowl. He crossed his fingers and rubbed them in front of his stomach. But Hong Bafu did not lower his head, forced himself to be calm, and looked at the corner of the shop. Su Xia behaved similarly to Lan Bafu, looking very uncomfortable. Yu Tua pointed at Lan Bafu and said, Little guy, raise your head and tell me what happened at night. My night. Lan Bafu's body trembled and he stuttered a little but he still tried to restrain himself. And after organizing his thoughts, he told what happened that night. 
from departure to departure, especially how the medicine box fell into the hands of the blood-red mercenary. But he skipped the part after the three left the town, such as Su Xia's stomach discomfort. Very good. Yu Tua nodded slightly, put away the poison, and then stood up. He seemed to be about to leave, turned around and walked to the door, but suddenly stopped and asked, Your three apprentices are not bad. What are they good at? The eldest is good at healing potions. The second is good at psychic potions. And the third is good at poisons. Oh, are there people who are good at poisons? Yu Tua turned around again, and his eyes fell on Su Xia. He stepped forward, patted Su Xia's left arm, and said calmly, It's a good seedling. Cultivate it well. After saying that, he turned around and walked out of the pharmacy, without stopping this time, and drifted away. After he left, the atmosphere in the entire store finally relaxed. Call. Lan Bafu patted his chest, and let out a long sigh of relief. If Yutua didn't leave, he was worried that he would get sick. Hong Bafu reacted quickly, and thought of it in an instant. The box of medicine fell into the hands of the blood-red mercenaries. But the blood-red mercenaries were later killed by the masked strangers. So early this morning, the masked strangers used poison to injure them. Arrived at Yutua? Indirectly speaking, It was my father who hurt Yutua. Thinking of this, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu looked at their father with a lot more admiration. You know, Dad was able to refine the fourth level potion many years ago. He has certainly not stopped making progress in these years. Maybe one day, he will be able to refine the super potion that can directly kill you two all. Of course, the masked weirdo is also strong enough. If it were an ordinary third level creature, it might not be able to get close to you two all. Don't be in a daze. Keep eating. The food is getting cold. Dad looked calm. As if what just happened never happened. Yes. After dinner, the pharmacy opened for business. On both sides of the street, many shops were discussing in low voices what happened last night. Everyone understands that the news only wants to let them know what they should know. And the complete truth of the matter must rely on their own grapevine channels. It is said that news came from the wilderness that the masked stranger was not dead. But soon someone else said that the masked stranger in the wilderness was fake and not worthy of belief. There is no way to say anything about that man's life or death for the time being. Unless he appears again. On TV, the Lord of Chilong City gave a public speech. He looked very haggard, as if he had put on some haggard makeup on purpose. He was not even wearing a suit, only an ordinary green short sleeve shirt, and said to the camera, My compatriots, we have experienced a sad night. Chapter 87 bugs are not that scary. Dad sat behind the counter and made a cup of coffee. He picked up the remote control and muted the TV. Unpleasant sound. Judging from the current situation, Coral City has almost survived. That Gai Chi Lang gave speeches everywhere and went to various streets in the war zone to express condolences. He even went to the refugee camp, personally moved boxes of supplies from large trucks, and handed the supplies to the untouchables he looked down upon. Countless media cameras captured his showmanship and spread it throughout the city. Hong Bafu frowned and said, this disgusting guy can actually still sit in the position of city lord. Hasn't the machine clan ever thought of replacing him? A lot of people from the management team died last night. And the machinery clan now needs him to maintain stability. Su Xia said, As long as he doesn't act too useless, the machinery clan will continue to use him. Brother Su, do you have any research on this kind of thing? No a little bit. Most of those people in the management were killed by Su Xia himself. Of course he knew that. At least half of the administrative staff across Coral City is vacant. Those employees, who have been at the bottom and unable to be promoted for a long time will probably secretly thank Su Xia for helping them kill their immediate boss. At the same time, Su Xia also learned that many of the people he killed last night were big customers of their pharmacy. This also resulted in that from the time it opened in the morning until now. The two brothers had not been sent out to deliver medicine, and they were sitting leisurely behind the operating table refining medicine. The business of many surrounding shops seems to have deteriorated. Boss Zhao from the restaurant across the street was bored and came to the pharmacy to chat with his father. Master, I just drove to the ruins to have a look. Boss Zhao was quite talkative. The scene was really spectacular. Many buildings were collapsed. There were many big holes on the ground. And there were a lot of blood stains. It is said that you two are the city lord beat the masked man to pieces there. But not even a piece of intact flesh and blood could be found from the masked man. Humph. Dad took a sip of coffee and had no intention of communicating. Hong Bafu turned around and retorted, Boss Zhao, the masked weirdo is definitely still alive. 
Don't spread rumors here. Hey, you young man. City Lord Yutua has already taken action. How can that masked man still be alive? How is it impossible? Hong Bafu stood up immediately and wanted to go to the counter to argue with the restaurant owner. He already regarded the masked stranger as his half-brother. But he couldn't bear to hear such nonsense from others. But the old man behind the counter raised his eyelids and pushed Hong Bafu back with one look. Hong Bafu said angrily, Forget it. Refining the medicine is important. When the masked stranger appears again in the future, all the rumors in the city will naturally be disproven. Meanwhile, in a downtown office building, Chi Lang, who had been busy for half the morning, could finally rest. He sat comfortably on the office chair, picked up a cup of warm tea, blew lightly, and said with a smile, The machine clan asked me to continue working. This position is stable for the time being. Congratulations. Sir! Secretary Chai and expressed his congratulations. You have contributed a lot. So I've written it down. Chi Lang felt comfortable. Those untouchables are really mean. Just giving them a little favor can make them grateful. Why didn't I notice it in the past? Xiao Chai. You have to it is you. Sir. I also came from among the common people. Yes. From now on. I will leave it to you to figure out a solution for this kind of thing. Yes. Chayan hesitated for a moment and asked. Sir. Will all the supplies you promised to the refugees be delivered to the refugee camps in the next few days? Why send it there? Chi Lang looked surprised and put away his smile. He put down the teacup and said seriously. Xiao Chai. Do you know how difficult Coral City's finances are now? Sir. Follow our plan. The plan is a plan. Chi Lang interrupted the secretary. The whole city was in chaos before. So we had to do this. But now it has stabilized. But, Xiao Chai, that's not how money is used. As long as those untouchables can survive. That's fine. Chi Lang's face darkened. Obviously dissatisfied. The supplies provided to various refugee camps during this live broadcast are enough for the refugees to be quiet for a period of time. And there is no need to give too much. In the chaos of this night, many rich people's estates were affected and repairing those estates was the top priority. My lord is right. Chayan bowed his head and exited the office, leaning on the corridor, outside the door and sighing. Real world. Su Xiao went offline and had breakfast. In the dormitory, several roommates were still sleeping. In the trash can in the corner of the dormitory, Su Xiao saw a lot of bags of pickled cabbage noodles, which meant that these guys had woken up halfway. After breakfast, Su Xiao took her textbooks and hurried to the teaching building to attend class. He once again accomplished a feat that one person could do for the entire dormitory. At noon, he went to the canteen, as usual to pack a few lunch boxes. Hey, it's time to get up and eat. He slammed the dormitory door hard, and woke up several roommates. After doing all this, Su Xia returned to bed, and activated the bracelet. When he returned to the game world again, he received a piece of information that shocked him. Your true psychic level has been restored to level 3.6. Finally, complete recovery. As expected, repairman Xu Cheng's level 4 armor is also ready. Su Xia returned to the commander account, clenched her fists hard, and felt the powerful spiritual energy in her body. Comfortable. In this world, strength is confidence. He pushed open the wooden door of the hot spring room. The sun was shining. His eyes were slightly squinted, and his whole body was warm. In the past few days, there have been many changes in the oasis camp. Layers of defenses were built from inside the camp to the forest. Many heavy artillery was pulled out. And heavy machine guns were set up at various key points. Everyone was fully prepared. And the players were not idle. Looking for zerg nests throughout the forest. Just now, I actually made a discovery. Bug! A bug appeared in that direction. A player shouted. What? The zerg launched a massive attack? No. Only one has been solved by that awesome NPC. The very awesome NPC in the player's mouth refers to Zhang Fong from Dragon City. In the past few days, Zhang Fong has been constantly moving, showing off his powerful combat power in the jungle and killing various monsters, while communicating with the management of the Oasis camp. Many senior officials in the camp seem to be vaguely moving closer to Zhang Fong. After all, Zhang Fong has a background in Dragon City and is the number one combat force in the camp. If this continues, control of the entire camp may really fall into Zhang Fong's hands. Snapped. Zhang Fong walked out of the forest and threw the corpse of a bug in front of everyone. The bug was very small, no more than half a person tall, and was different from the previous fear parasites. 
a player immediately took a screenshot of the insect corpse and posted it on the forum with the label. This is the big cockroach in our south. Su Xia recognized it at a glance. These are swift bugs, a low-level unit of the Zerg race, with low intelligence and low combat effectiveness. Speaking of which, Su Xia clearly took the lead in issuing the task of exploring the forest. But now Zhang Fang has become the vague leader. He stood in front of everyone and said confidently, Dear friends, bugs are not that scary. Chapter 88 Fong's Methods The intelligence of most bugs is about the same as that of a 7 or 8 year old child. Zhang Fang seemed to be giving a personal speech. He stood in front of the insect's body and spoke non-stop for more than 10 minutes, giving a general overview of the knowledge about the division of the insect race in Dragon City. People from big organizations are different. In terms of knowledge level, Zhang Fang is crushing on this small place. Mr. Zhang said it well. He is worthy of being from Dragon City. As for the Oasis camp, managers from many departments applauded. Xiong Wei was also applauding. But he seemed to be in a bad mood. And the smile on his face seemed very forced. After seeing Su Xia, Xiong Wei left the crowd. Walked to Su Xia inside. Oh, Commander, I will definitely not be able to retain the management rights of the Oasis camp. It's too early to tell. Su Xia withdrew her gaze, turned and walked towards the machine repair shop in Xucheng. That Zhang Fang is too confident, which is not a good thing. The insects have waited for so long without launching an attack, and even allowed the Oasis camp to build defenses. It is obvious that a big war is brewing. Su Xia is not as optimistic as Zhang Fang, and he needs to be fully prepared. Xiong Wei walked beside Su Xia with a complicated expression. He opened his mouth and wanted to say something. But after thinking about it, he suppressed the words temporarily. Well, in this situation, he couldn't compete with Zhang Fang. He wanted to voluntarily give up the management rights of the camp and earn a good reputation for himself. Then, ask Su Xia to come to the front desk and compete with Zhang Fang. At least Zhang Fang cannot be allowed to control all the power alone. But Su Xia's calm look clearly showed no intention of competing for fame and fortune. At the entrance of the mechanical training shop, the two met Ba Xu Cheng. There are more white hairs on Xu Cheng's head. And he seems to have suddenly aged 20 years. And his energy is not as good as those of 60 or 70 year old men. Losing a child in middle age is the greatest pain in the world. Commander, this set of armor has just been completed. Please come with me. Xu Cheng understood Su Xia's intention. Mr. Xiong, please come in too. Okay, here's Boss Lao Xu. The two of them followed Xu Cheng into the repair shop and came to the studio behind the shop. On the workbench at the deepest part of the studio, the two saw a complete set of black armor, compared with the black wolf armor that Su Xia previously owned. This armor is a bit larger overall, but it does not appear bloated. The special alloy used in the outer SH. L is completely in line with the mechanical race. It has good psychic conductivity and is resistant to strikes. Extremely capable. The firepower system has been comprehensively upgraded. The most obvious one is that the shoulder modules on both sides protrude. The area connecting the back modules is slightly raised, and a self-destruction system unique to the mechanical family is added, which can throw the entire armor as a bomb when necessary. The surface is covered with a special structure of absorbing material, which greatly improves the stealth ability. The internal life support system, shield system, and other systems have also been improved. This time, radiation protection and underwater protection functions have been added, and the heat insulation layer has been added. New materials are used in the cooling network allowing Su Xia to fight in more complex areas. Xu Cheng asked Su Xia, Commander, have you fully recovered? Ba Xu, you can rest assured. Su Xia understands Xu Cheng's concerns. This kind of humanoid armor has had many problems during its development. According to records, in the early stages of development, all types of humanoid armor face complex problems such as poor heat dissipation, exposed pipelines, insufficient battery life, fragile joints, an easy disorder of the master control system. Once the system is disordered, the armor's instantaneous burst of power may directly cause the driver to faint. Some pilots even had their limbs torn apart by armor that suddenly broke away. After the armor level system was improved, the corresponding driver level also came out. To drive level 4 armor, the driver must be a psychic creature of level 3.5 or above. Su Xia has met the conditions. He began to wear this brand new armor. With the help of the skill, armor affinity. This armor felt no stranger to him, as if he had been fighting together for many years. Good. After putting it on, various data were presented in front of Su Xia's eyes. 
making Su Xia feel like he had become Iron Man. If he had had this set of equipment before, he wouldn't have been so embarrassed when facing you two Commander, with this set of equipment, can you deal with level 4 creatures? Xiong Wei was obviously worried about the appearance of level 4 creatures in the insect nest and couldn't help but ask. I should be able to deal with Arii, but I can't defeat him, so I'm still a little short of it. Su Xia has a clear understanding of her own power. Now he is not in the strongest state he can achieve. He still has more than a dozen saved intermediate psychic potions that he has yet to inject. Time is running out, and the progress of the task in front of him, building the Oasis camp defenses, has reached 90.5%. With only the last step left, once this mission is over, the next mission must be to resist the Zerg attack. Boss Yu, Mr. Xiong, you guys talk first. I have to go back to the station and get ready. Su Xia said goodbye to Xu Cheng and Xiong Wei, left the repair shop, and returned to the Beifong Organization station with a complete set of armor in a large trailer. After meeting Su Xia in person, many new members of the Beifong Organization were very excited. They all ran up to say H, low to Su Xia. Cheng Pinan lived up to Su Xia's trust and grew the new Beifong Organization to more than 200 people in just a few days. Su Xia briefly looked at each person's panel description to make sure there were no bugs or people with evil intentions. Well done. Keep up the good work. Su Xia threw a few low-level psychic potions to Chung Pendon and asked him to inject them himself. As the deputy of the Beifong organization, Chung Pingan's psychic level cannot be too shabby. Song Zhong was also on the side and said to Su Xia, Commander, you have been resting for the past two days. That Zhang Fang went too far. How? He is deliberately weakening your influence and showing his own strength everywhere. Song Zhong cited several examples to show that Zhang Fan was not only wooing people in the camp, but also cultivating subordinates among the undead. Chung Pinon also nodded and said, Brother Song is right. Commander, that Zhang Fan is targeting you. Commander, you may have made that guy too arrogant. As the last remaining member of the old Beifeng organization, Lu and couldn't stand Zhang Fang's behavior. In his heart, Su Xia is the absolute leader of the entire Oasis camp. It wouldn't work if it were anyone else. Oh, don't worry about him. Just let nature take its course. Su Xia smiled. After all, these young people saw less of each other, and they couldn't bear this level of internal strife. Fortunately, the human race is now united in facing the outside world and has a common enemy, the machine race. In peacetime, the internal struggle would be ten times more terrifying than it is now. Zhang Fang's method is not very clever, but he is very skilled in using it. He probably learned it inside Dragon City. This Zhang Fang's performance illustrates the current situation of Dragon City to a certain extent. Chapter 89 The Starry Sky on a Summer Night The degree of decay within Dragon City may be more serious than Su Xia had previously imagined. Wherever there are people, there is struggle. The great cause of the human race's counterattack has not yet succeeded. But the internal situation has become like this which is really sad. In the past few days, Zhang Fang's prestige among the player community is quite high. He is actually willing to injure boss-level monsters for some players for free and beat those bosses until they have only the last bit of health left before letting the players attack. As Song Zone said, many players have become Zhang Fang's nominal subordinates. In the leveling area around the camp, some players actually started to form a team to follow Zhang Fang's command. Although the skill of Titanium Ankin is good, Su Xia has never seen anyone, and the benefits on Zhang Fang's side are real. But there are also players who have been waiting for Su Xia, such as Lin Shan. Hey, the commander hasn't shown up these days. Lin Shan was worried and would look in the direction of the hot spring room from time to time, expecting the man to walk out of the room. When Su Xia came out of the hot spring room just now, Lin Shan was killing monsters and missed it. Xiao Shan, don't wait any longer. Come join the team of that Dragon City NPC with us first. Lin Shan's friend advised. That Dragon City NPC is obviously going to compete with Commander Beifong for control of this novice map. Now he as he completely has the upper hand. And only by following him can you get meat. Zhang Fang's intentions are clear to passers-by. The rest of Lin Shan's team had already joined Zhang Fang's team. Only Lin Shan himself is still waiting. He has always wanted to join Su Xia's Beifong organization. I'll wait a little longer. Maybe the commander will come out tomorrow. At this time, at the door of the warehouse, Su Xia gave some instructions to everyone. Be well prepared. We can't count on anyone in the future. We must hold hope in our own hands. After finishing speaking, 
Su Xiao walked alone into the large warehouse, where he stored supplies. The warehouse was a bit dark, with only a few beams of light coming from the skylight at the top. He sat on an old sofa and began to look at all the rewards given in the last mission. Nanabots. Su Xiao clicked to take it out, and a square black box suddenly appeared in front of her. In his perception, the entire box was composed of nanorobots. Su Xia stretched out her finger and tapped it lightly on the box. The entire box instantly became soft, and the black liquid composed of countless nanorobots crawled along the fingers at night, like the venom in a Marvel movie, covering Su Xia's body in an instant. These robots have various functions such as offense, defense, reconnaissance, and camouflage. Su Xia thought slightly and used the disguise function. The next moment, the inner nanorobots covering his body passed the color, texture, touch, and other characteristics of his clothes, skin, hair, etc. to the outer nanorobots. And the outer nanorobots immediately showed an almost consistent response. Characteristic. If anyone stood aside, they would be surprised to see that the nanorobots covering Su Xia's body seemed to disappear instantly. But it didn't actually disappear. It just disguised itself as Su Xia's original appearance. Great stuff! It's indeed starry sky technology! Su Xia stood in front of the mirror. And even, he couldn't tell that his body was covered with something. With this thing, you no longer have to worry about sneak attacks in the future. And you can even use nanorobots to sneak attack others. Su Xia sat back on the sofa and continued to take out other mission reward items. This mission rewarded three cards with 1% increase in all attributes. And he used them directly. Then, there are five intermediate psychic potions. Plus the seven saved before. For a total of 12. Elementary psychic potions correspond to levels below 3.0. And intermediate ones correspond to levels 3.1 to 6.0. Judging from Su Xia's current level, an intermediate potion should give him a big improvement. He was half lying on the sofa. Remove the nanorobot covering his right arm. Took out a psychic potion. And injected it directly into his right arm. His. A huge amount of psychic power instantly poured into the body. This is pure energy that contains absolutely no impurities and can be absorbed directly by the human body. In an instant, two feelings of pain and comfort intertwined in Su Xia's body, giving him the illusion of almost ascending. After several minutes, the feeling slowly subsided. Su Xia's psychic level is still 3.6. Not enough. One more. Su Xia did not hesitate and continued the injection. Another one. Veins of different thicknesses appeared on the surface of the entire right arm emitting a faint light blue light, which looked strange and a bit scary. This evolutionary path requires humans and psychics to coexist, and no one knows what it will look like in the end. There is no need to think about anything at the moment. Just become stronger and that's it. After another illusion of almost ascension, Su Xia's level finally rose to level 3.7, but he didn't stop, took out another potion, and injected the whole thing again. His. This time, he actually had hallucinations. He was half lying on the sofa. His whole body felt light and airy. As if he was constantly falling. The world in front of him began to distort into form. And colorful and changing lines appeared on the surfaces of all objects. Su Xia simply closed her eyes. She didn't know how long she had been falling before she finally recovered. After resting for a few minutes, Su Xia continued to inject the next psychic potion. This time, the hallucinations got worse. Su Xia felt light all over. As if her soul had left her body floating higher and higher. He didn't know what he had become. Incorporeal and unable to move. Floating near a star in the universe. Quietly accompanying the star throughout his life. He saw the star slowly expand into a huge red giant. And eventually completely disintegrate. Throwing countless materials outward. Turning into the beautiful butterfly nebula. Lonely showing the world traces of its past existence. These hallucinations are so long and so real. So after Su Xiao woke up again. It took half a minute to come back to her senses. Take it easy first. Su Xia did not continue to inject psychic potions, but instead began to study the characteristics of nanorobots and try various combinations. It took more than 10 minutes before he injected again. But this time, the hallucinations still got worse. Those blue spiritual energies seemed to be devouring his flesh and blood bit by bit, eroding his bones and making him melt bit by bit. Eventually, he turned into a patch of blue dye. A skinny hand held the brush, disturbing the dye painting on the blank canvas, and using countless blue flowing lines to draw a beautiful starry sky. Under the starry sky is a quiet town. The chirping of insects in the summer night floats in the wind, and the wind carries the fragrance of earth. 
the painter was sitting in front of an old oak door. A small orange lamp was hung on the door. The warm yellow light reflected his thin face and sunken eye sockets. He drank a glass of absinthe and became drunk and dizzy. In this quiet place, he looked up at night and saw the vast starry sky. So he decided to leave this starry sky behind. Skipping Chapter 90 Does Not Affect Viewing Chapter 91 Oasis Camp Danger? Su Xia didn't know how many years she had spent in the hallucination. He left the starry sky of the painter and walked in the old era where decadence and radicality intertwined. He witnessed the steam spurting in the brass machinery. He also saw the electric light jumping around Tesla. The romantic roses and the sword of war pushing civilization forward. Moving forward until skyscrapers rise one after another. People can no longer see the stars when they look up. When he woke up again, the world outside the warehouse had turned dark. The time came to six o'clock in the afternoon. The whole afternoon was gone like this. Su Xiao was lying on the sofa, with more than a dozen used intermediate psychic potions scattered around her. What's going on? I injected all these psychic potions into my body during my hallucination? Su Xia stood up in confusion, waved her fist, and her whole body was instantly enveloped by an unprecedented powerful feeling. He has actually been promoted to level 3.9. Before this, Zhang Fang, the strongest player in the entire camp, was only level 3.8. At this time, the second round of mission, say the Oasis camp, also ended, and the construction level of the fortifications reached 100%. The mission rewarded Su Xia with seven primary psionic potions, two intermediate psionic potions, and 6,000 titanium particles. At the same time, a skill book, Psychic Thrust, was also awarded. Su Xia immediately clicked to view. Name, Psychic Thrust. Grade, no grade. Type, active skill. Description, focus on one point and reach the top. Single target skills gather a large amount of spiritual energy to instantly break through the enemy's defense. It has at least 20% additional damage bonus to Zerg creatures. The specific power depends on one's own strength. Whatever is missing comes. Su Xia needed this type of skill and learned it immediately. He used his skills to focus his spiritual energy on his right hand, clenched his fist, and a light blue light film appeared on the entire fist. Like the inferior fighting special effects in early Xianxia TV series, this punch represents decades of skill, and no one in the camp can stop it. Su Xia withdrew her skills, laid down on the sofa again, and injected the two rewarded intermediate psychic potions into her body. Call. This time, the hallucinations were actually lessened, perhaps due to some resistance. This hallucination only lasted a few minutes. When Su Xiao woke up, she didn't feel any discomfort. The level still stayed at level 3.9, but it was just a little stronger. How many psychic potions are needed to go from level 3.9 to level 4.0? The road to spiritual evolution becomes more difficult the higher you go. There seems to be a huge gap between 3.9 and 4.0. After Su Xiao experienced it personally, she had a new understanding of the battle on the ruins in the early morning. At that time, if it were an individual level 3.9 creature, it might really be destroyed by Yutua. Just when Su Xia was about to leave the warehouse, a new task suddenly appeared in front of him. Save Oasis Camp Mission 3 Task Description In the dark and bloody insect nest, a terrifying leader creature has completed its evolution. Under his call, a large number of insect creatures have gathered, and they are eager for fresh human flesh and blood. The Zerg will launch an attack on the Oasis camp in the early morning. Please note that night is a tired period for humans. And most Zerg creatures have night vision capabilities. Task requirement 1. Resist the initial attack of the Zerg. Task requirement 2. Ensure the survival of the manager of the Oasis camp. Xion Wei. Task requirement 3. Find the insect nest. Destroy the entire insect nest. And personally kill the insect mother and leader creature of the insect nest. A series of task requirements appeared in front of Su Xia. The bugs will attack in the early morning. But the mission does not specify what time in the morning. Moreover, in the mission description, there was an information point that Su Xiao at least wanted to see evolution. The bugs have indeed been waiting these days for the leader of the hive to evolve successfully. It's most likely to evolve to level 4. Otherwise it wouldn't take so long. Oasis camp is in danger. The cruelty of this battle is unimaginable. Even level 3 psychic creatures like Xiong Wei may not survive. The results for the others can be imagined. Su Xia took a deep breath, made a prompt decision, put on a suit of armor, and opened the door of the warehouse. The war is about to begin, so you don't have to worry about alerting the enemy. These lurking bugs in the camp must be eliminated. Outside the warehouse, a member of the Beifong organization exclaimed, 
Wow! The commander is so handsome! He is indeed handsome! But why do I feel that the commander has murderous intent? What are you doing in the armor now? Commander? Song Zhong and Chung Pingin were very keen. They looked at each other and realized something was going to happen. They were smart enough to ask no questions and immediately began preparing members of their respective organizations. This evening, the setting sun is like blood. Su Yun Song was sitting on a lounge chair on the lawn outside the pharmacy with a relaxed expression and looked very leisurely. Around him, children walked by from time to time and greeted him in a childish voice. Good evening. Grandpa Su. Well, good evening. Su Yun Song gently stroked his beard and a strange smile appeared at the corner of his chapped lips. The lurking life in the Oasis camp is finally coming to an end and tomorrow morning will be the time to start a killing spree. In his eyes, these cute children have become pieces of walking fresh flesh and blood, with tiny and fragile bones that must be crunchy when bitten. Thinking of the scenes of those children screaming, Su Yun Song couldn't help but lick the corners of his mouth. A little impatient. When he reveals his true form, the expressions of the other people in the camp will definitely be very exciting. At this moment, Zhang Fang arrived in front of the pharmacy. Mr. Su, are you in a good mood? With a smile on his face. Zhang Fang sat down on the low stool next to the rocking chair. At my age, as long as you are still alive and have a clear mind, your mood will not be much different. A smile appeared on Su Yun Song's wrinkled face. He knew Zhang Fang's purpose. Su Yun Song's identity is a fourth level alchemist. He has a high prestige in the Oasis camp and has saved many people's lives. As long as he can be won over, Zhang Fang's control over the camp will be greatly enhanced. Thinking of this, Su Yun Song couldn't help but laugh. The human race was still fighting among themselves under such circumstances. No wonder they were beaten back by the mechanical race. After a few simple greetings, Zhang Fang got down to the topic. He asked sincerely, Mr. Su, you are highly respected. What do you think is the future of the camp? The future of Camp Oasis? Naturally, it becomes nourishment for the Zerg. Su Yun Song sneered in his heart, but said, No one can predict the future. Mr. Zhang, I am old and don't like to take sides. I don't want to get involved in your fight for power. Please go back. Mr. Su, that's not what I meant. Zhang Fang waved his hand and hurriedly explained for himself. He wanted to say something, but suddenly frowned and saw Su Xia in black armor. What is Commander Beifong doing here? Chapter 92 Violent Insecticide Su Xia, who was wearing black armor, was very tall and attracted the attention of many people in the camp. Is that Commander Beifong? Why has his armor changed? It looks so new. Has it been repainted? Looks a lot bigger. Everyone is curious. Su Xia didn't appear much in the past few days and was very low-key. Everyone knew that he was recovering from his injuries. Now that he suddenly appears in a high profile, is it because he is recovering from his injury? When they saw Su Xia walking towards the pharmacy and Zhang Fang was also in the pharmacy, some interested people stopped what they were doing and looked at the pharmacy. They all had a hunch that the meeting between Su Xia and Zhang Fang might not be too peaceful. Outside the pharmacy, Zhang Fang was wary, worried that Su Xia was also here to win over Su Yinsong. He stood up from the low stool, without changing his expression, and asked Su Xia, Commander, how is your injury? Su Xia replied, Mr. Lao Zhang is worried about me. He is recovering well. That's good. Commander, you are an important member of the camp. You can't make any mistakes. Zhang Fang's words were interesting. As soon as he opened his mouth, he placed Su Xia in the position of an important member and subtly guided the rest of the camp to think this way. Important enough, but not enough to have full command. Su Xia understood Zhang Fang's little thoughts. But he was not here to fight for power and gain. So he was too lazy to manage all the big and small troubles in the camp. He came just to kill insects. Zhang Fang has level 3.8 psychic power. If he can cooperate, it will be much easier to get rid of Su Yun Song. Mr. Zhang, your previous description of the classification of insect types was very good. Su Xia deliberately hinted. Can you talk about the characteristics of fear parasites? Fear of parasites? Zhang Fang stood between Su Xia and Su Yun Song, feeling confused. What does this mean? Walking all the way to the pharmacy in full gear just to discuss bug types with him? Commander, if you want to know the types of bugs, I have a book here. Zhang Fang tentatively said. Dragon City has systematic teaching. Anyone who has come out of Dragon City will basically understand this knowledge. This guy was exaggerating his Dragon City identity both inside and outside his words. 
implying that Su Xia came from a small place. Su Xia was slightly speechless. Su Yunsong stood up shakily from the rocking chair. His back was stooped, old and weak, as if a gust of wind could blow it. A smile appeared on his wrinkled face. He raised his head with difficulty and asked, Commander, why do you want to see me? A small passing. Su Xia stood in front of the pharmacy, her body as tall as a wall. Mr. Zhang, could you please stand over there? Su Xia pointed to the grass behind Su Yunsong. I have some private matters that I want to talk to Mr. Su. Private matter? Zhang Fang is no longer calm. Does Su Xia really want to win over Su Yunsong? This trip to Oasis Camp was very important to him. As long as he can make some achievements in the Oasis Camp. When he returns to Dragon City in the future, his qualifications will surpass those of his peers. And his promotion path will be much smoother. With this doubt, Zhang Fang slowly walked to the grass behind Su Yun Song. He was about to speak. But suddenly, he was startled. Wrong. Stand in this position. If there was an enemy between him and Su Xia, then Su Xia would have blocked the enemy's way to advance forward. And he himself would have blocked the enemy's way to escape backward. Zhang Fang thought of Su Xia's previous inquiry about fear parasites. And a flash of lightning seemed to flash through his mind. Could it be? The respected old pharmacist in front of me is actually a bug? When he thought of this, Zhang Fang's face instantly became solemn. At this time, Su Yun Song sniffed Su Xia's breath greedily, suppressed the appetite in his heart, and asked, Commander, what is the specific matter? Boom! Su Xia suddenly took action. Blue light circulated in the right arm of the armor, and she used the skill to stab with psionic power, and punched Su Yun Song's head fiercely. Not much nonsense. Let's talk about it later. This explosive punch stunned everyone around him. Is this still the Commander Beifong they are familiar with? Why did he suddenly start punching Nanshan nursing home? What are you doing? Commander? Why do you want to attack Mr. Su? Is the commander infected by insects? Then, what shocked them even more was yet to come. After Su Yun Song received a punch, his head was split open. But he was not dead yet. He even climbed up tenaciously, letting out a shrill howl like a wild beast. Ah! Uh, his head, split in two, shook violently, spraying out streams of green, sticky blood. Then, his withered and thin body began to twitch violently, and the skin on his back split bloodily, giving birth to sharp limbs. The skin on the rest of his body gradually hardened and turned into pieces of brown carapace. His terrifying appearance looked like a devil crawling out of H. L. This bug is hiding too deep. It was only now that Su Xia finally saw his true level level 3.6. It turned out to be exactly the same level as before his promotion. If it weren't for Su Xia and Zhang Fang, this bug could kill randomly in this camp. And no one could stop him. Fortunately, he was too cautious and had been observing the specific strength of the entire camp after sneaking into the camp. He was not as impulsive as those young bugs. That's right. Su Xia shook her fist. That punch just now, if it had been a normal level 3.6 human, would have killed him instantly. And Su Yun Song was still vomiting blood and wailing at the same time. No. I won't die here. I won't die in the hands of food. Old guy. You want to eat me on the first day we meet. Right. Su Xia was not polite and punched Su Yun Song in the abdomen again. Then grabbed his hard and sharp limbs and pulled hard. There was only a stabbing sound. Blood surged. And one of Su Yun Song's upper limbs was torn off. It's a pity that the game setting monsters can't explode things. This old thing is destined to be unable to produce gold coins. Su Xia's face was expressionless. And she threw away the limb. Then grabbed the other struggling limb and tore it off again. Tear dash. Blood was scattered all over the floor. And the broken limbs were still covered with fresh flesh and blood that was constantly squirming. His. This scene made the three young bugs in the distance tremble with fear. In their eyes, Su Xia, who was tearing Su Yun Song apart bit by bit, was simply more cruel than the Zerg. They even felt a hint of phantom pain. As if what Su Xia was tearing apart was not Su Yun Song, but themselves. Su Yun Song was not dead yet. After hearing Su Xia's words, he wailed unwillingly. How could you know this on the first day? I'm clearly pretending to be very good. Boom! Su Xia punched him to the ground and looked at him condescendingly. A vicious wolf. Even if it is dressed in sheep's clothing, the smell of blood cannot be washed away. Chapter 93 Clearing Out Internal Troubles Su Yun Song almost went crazy. He wanted to eat Su Xia so much. He was so cautious and cautious. And he endured it for so long just to wait for the Zerg's massive attack. But now the success falls short. Darkness was coming. 
But he fell. Pain. Anger. Unwillingness. He fell on the grass. His broken body covered with green blood and occasionally twitching. His. His pair of deformed compound eyes stared at Su Xia. Unable to even speak normal human language. What makes him most unwilling is that. Su Xia actually launched a sneak attack without any warning. If the sneak punch hadn't been so hard that it directly cracked his head. There might have been hope for him to escape. At this moment. There was already silence all around. The onlookers seemed to be petrified. And they were all stunned. Staring at the monster like Su Yun-san on the grass. Their eyes almost dull. How come? No one would have thought that the highly respected Su Yun Song was also a bug. He is not just any passerby. He runs a pharmacy, has lived here for many years, and interacts with countless people in the camp every day. People around him are already familiar with Su Yun Song's living habits, and even know how many tea leaves he likes to put in when drinking tea. But during this time, no one saw the problem. The two families living in the house to Su Yun Song's left and right turned pale, and sweat broke out from their backs. They all have children at home. And if the bug cannot be restrained, their children will become the first target. Fortunately, the commander took action. They all patted their chests and cast grateful glances at Su Xia. At the same time, the others couldn't help but think. If even the neighbors on the left and right couldn't see anything unusual about Su Yun Song, how could the commander spot it? Insects like weak prey. Su Xia seemed to have read through everyone's thoughts. On the day I came to the camp, this insect asked me to go to the pharmacy to heal my wounds. I wanted to agree. But at that moment, I suddenly I saw the greed in his eyes. So I refused. I see. People suddenly realized that Commander Beifong was indeed capable of such detailed observation. If it were anyone else, who would doubt this respected old pharmacist? But since we knew it on the first day, why did we take action now? Is it because the strength has not been restored yet? Su Xia seemed to have read through their thoughts again and added, I was seriously injured at the time. And if I act rashly, I will alert the snake. I know that there must be more than one bug in this camp. So I have been looking for traces of the bug these days. Commander, I thought you had been recuperating in the hot spring room. A soldier said loudly. Yes, but that's just an illusion created by me. Su Xia still had to find a few other bugs in the camp. He only needed to simply scan everyone's dashboard and... That's it. But he needed a perfect excuse. He said loudly. Actually, I often dress up in disguise these days and walk around the camp in order to find the remaining bugs that communicate with Su Yun Song. After hearing this, people all understood. So that's it, Commander. You've worked really hard. The Commander's own injuries haven't healed yet. But he doesn't care about rest. He's always thinking about the safety of the camp. In comparison, Zhang Fang's behavior in the past few days is a bit out of place. He had clearly received systematic study in Longcheng and was rich in knowledge. He knew the habits of bugs well. And he also knew that there were bugs hidden in the Oasis camp. But instead of looking for bugs, he worked hard to get control of the camp. Even the players know Zhang Fang's thoughts. So how could the aborigines in the camp not know about it? Thinking of this, people looked at Zhang Fang with a somewhat subtle look. Ahem. Zhang Fang coughed twice. Slightly embarrassed. He claimed to know a lot about bugs. But after having close interactions with Su Yun Song, he didn't see any problems and still wanted to win over Su Yun Song. This is really a bit of a slap in the face. Fortunately, this is still a world that depends on strength. As long as he is stronger than Su Xia, he will have a chance to gain control of the Oasis camp. Commander, is this level 4 mecha you're wearing? He asked. Right. No wonder it's so strong, Zhang Fang said with a smile. But don't rely too much on the power of mechas. In Dragon City, there are many mecha pilots who are too addicted to the power of machines which leads to slow progress in their own strength. Okay, this guy brought Dragon City out to make trouble again. Opening your mouth and shutting up is Dragon City. It seems that without Dragon City, he is nothing. When things here come to an end, Su Xia must go to Dragon City to find the city lord who is suspected to be his old father and take a look at what kind of place it is. Xiong Wei walked out of the crowd and glanced at Su Yun Song, who was still twitching on the ground. He had doubts in his heart and asked Su Xia in a low voice. Commander, have you really found the remaining bugs in the camp? Do you want everyone to let them know? Cut your fingers to test blood? It shouldn't be necessary. Su Xia had already seen the three bugs in the corner of a small wooden house in the distance. The three bugs are all young and their levels are not high. The weakest one is only level 2.9. He walked to Zhang Fang and whispered, Mr. Zhang, 
Are you interested in killing insects? Yes. Of course. Zhang Fangzhen wanted to show off and earn back the face he had lost. Su Xia nodded and said, Well, the opportunity has come. In the corner of the wooden house in the distance, three young bugs looked at each other. Are they considering whether they should continue to lurk or find an excuse to run away? Can Beifong really find them? Before the consideration was over, their expressions all changed. Su Xia and Zhang Fang came straight towards them. Run! The three bugs instantly deformed changing into their original appearance, and quickly rushed towards the forest area. Their speed is staggering. Just behind them, Su Xia and Zhang Fang were chasing after them, and their speed was not slow either. The three insects entered the forest one after another. Boom! The sound of fighting started quickly and ended quickly. After a while, Su Xia walked out of the forest carrying the bodies of the two insects. Zhang Fang also came out, but he only had one in his hand. He forced a smile and said, as expected of a level 4 mecha. It's very fast. Well, it's really fast. Su Xia ignored the implicit meaning of this guy's words, took the two corpses directly back to the pharmacy, and threw them next to Su Yin Song. This old guy is not dead yet. He kept twitching, making strange noises from his throat from time to time, and his vitality was terrifyingly tenacious. Su Xia swung a sword and cut off his neck. This time he finally stopped. Su Xia stood next to his head turned around and said to everyone, Everyone, don't sleep tonight. Big one. Chapter 94 Armed to the Teeth The bugs will attack early tomorrow morning. So be prepared. In front of everyone, Su Xia gave the approximate time. Just at Su Xia's feet, Su Yun Song's head still had the last trace of consciousness. Hearing this, Su Yun Song trembled slightly. He didn't understand why Su Xia knew the Zerg's attack time. The members in the Oasis camp naturally wanted to know. So they all looked at Su Xia. Su Xia explained, Last night, Su Yun Song met with three other bugs and told them that they would attack in the early morning. I heard part of their conversation. Hearing this, everyone was suddenly stunned. As expected of Commander Bei Fong, he was able to evade the insect's keen sense. But Su Yun Song shuddered. Wrong. He didn't even meet those three bugs last night. Something is wrong with this north wind. He is lying. How on earth did he know this information? Could it be? Does he have the ability to predict things? Thinking of Su Xia's performance in the Oasis camp during this period, Su Yun Song suddenly felt an unprecedented fear. But he can no longer remind the insect nest. His life has reached the end of the insect life. With this unknown fear, Su Yun Song's pair of deformed compound eyes slowly dissipated their light. You killed the Zerg level 3.6 psychic creature, Armangan. You obtained titanium particles X3250. Your current titanium particles have been upgraded to level 7, 1750-13005. After receiving the prompt, Su Xiao was sure that the old guy was really dead. The vitality of insects is so tenacious, and their reproduction rate is astonishingly fast. Once they start to move on a large scale, both the human race and the mechanical race will probably be unable to bear it. The level 7 titanium particles did not bring much strength bonus to Su Xiao. It feels similar to level 0.2 to 0.3 psychic powers. After all, this evolutionary route is not as good as the psychic route. But it can be enjoyed by everyone. Xiongwei stood up. He was still the nominal manager of the Oasis camp. He popped up his chest and said seriously to everyone. Everyone, please go back and prepare. This battle tonight will determine the life and death of the camp and our children. The future, if we can't see the dawn of tomorrow again then it's an honor to fight side by side with you. Darkness was approaching, and the sun was already starting to sink into the horizon. The last ray of crimson light floats in the sky, like a broken flag dyed red with blood. For many, this may be the last time they see such a beautiful evening. Someone waved his hat and shouted loudly, Mr. Xiong and Commander, it is my honor to fight alongside you. Yes, this is my honor too, for the sake of children and the future of humanity. The oasis camp was boiling. The will to fight has never gone away. And this is where the rebels gather. Adults at every household have picked up fighting tools. And even teenage children have received spare weapons. In this cruel era, death is not terrible. What is terrible is just dying without knowing why. Die for humanity. Die for glory. It's worth it. Even the players were infected by the fighting atmosphere and began to gather together to allocate defensive areas as a team. Although they can't defeat the high-level Zerg units, they can rely on their immortality to miss the low-level Zerg units that were seriously injured by NPC weapons. 
such as the previous southern giant cockroach. All Zerg creatures have psychic powers and are regarded as elite monsters in the eyes of players. Killing one will give you much more titanium particles than ordinary monsters. Su Xia returned to the station and began to arrange tasks for the members of the new Beifong organization. Peace. Our people are stationed in the southeast corner. Guard the outermost circle first, and then retreat when the situation is not right. This is a good opportunity for members to upgrade. Su Xia thought of the scene in Coral City, where the refugees killed soldiers to level up. After tonight's brutal battle, the strength of the organization members, who can still survive, will definitely be greatly improved. Ah, you. Are the medical supplies at the station enough? Su Xia asked Zheng Yu again. Enough. Zheng Yu gave an affirmative answer. During this period, Mr. Xiong Wei sent people to send a lot of medical supplies. And I also urgently trained a group of assistants. Okay. Thank you for your hard work. Everyone in the organization stays on top of things and performs their duties. Wang Xiaochui, who has a talent for mechanics, actually recognized Xu, the owner of the repair shop, as his adoptive father, and began to learn mechanical repair from Boss Xu, and at the same time comforted Boss Xu's grief after losing his child. Yu Shan Chan, who is proficient in sniping, established a hunting team to train assassination talents. As for the young man named Yu Yofu, he liked to collect various torture tools, so Chung Pinon asked him to form a department dedicated to interrogating enemies. Looking around, everyone in the new Beifong organization is talented and speaks well. But after Su Xia thought for a moment, she always felt that something was missing. Suddenly, he saw the player Lin Shan crossing the sea of people and running towards him with expectation. He immediately figured it out. Missing players. The new North Wind organization cannot just rely on the natives of this world who only have one life. Although several roommates have begun to form player teams, eggs cannot be put in one basket. Commander. Commander. Here I come. Lin Shan was excited, squeezed through the crowds, and ran towards Su Xia. The difficulty of upgrading this game is obvious to all. It gets slower and slower as you progress. Countless players complained about it on the forum. But Lin Shan has already reached level 9, which is only one step away from level 10. He is in the first echelon of player levels. He feels that he is strong enough. He ran up to Su Xia, hammered his thick chest hard, and said resolutely, Commander, can I join the Beifong organization now? Very good. Young adventurer, you are strong enough. Huh? I finally passed? Lin Shan was overjoyed. He had no hope at all. Su Xia nodded slightly and said, Come and choose the weapons you have. I hope you can fight bravely tonight. And weapons. Lin Shan's eyes lit up. And he immediately put his tattered bone sword back into the storage space. Su Xia took him into the warehouse and said in a deep voice, Only fearless warriors are worthy of sophisticated weapons. The warehouse is full of supplies for the Blood Red mercenaries. As the first player to join the Beifong organization, the equipment Lin Shan received was naturally good. Su Xia directly gave him a complete set of combat equipment, including tactical vests, camouflage uniforms, various light weapons, optical equipment, etc., and armed him from top to bottom. Lin Shan swallowed his saliva and was shocked. He thought that it would be enough for him to get a handy sword, dagger, etc., but he didn't expect that it was these individual soldier equipment with a price tag of tens of thousands in the store. Very good! Su Xiao looked up and down. This guy looked respectable and energetic. As long as Lin Shan goes out, he will become a recruitment advertisement for mobile and attract the attention of countless players. Chapter 95 Players are excited. Are these all for me? You can use it yourself. But you can't sell it. You know? I see! Lin Shan was so excited that he wanted to cry. In the past few days, all members of his team have gone to the player team formed by Zhang Fang. His friends were all trying to persuade him to stop waiting and go enjoy better treatment with them. Zhang Fang is indeed interesting. This guy has a deep understanding of what Su Xia said about guiding the undead with profit. In the past few days, he has helped players defeat more than 10 boss level monsters. And the players in that team have gained a lot. But Lin Shan is a person who has a beginning and an end. He has waited until now and finally got this luxurious and perfect equipment. More than that, you performed very well in the task of building the Oasis camp. Come and collect your reward. The amount of titanium particle rewards issued by the system to Su Xia every day has exceeded 10,000, and it will be refreshed at midnight every day. It would be a waste not to distribute it, he asked Lin Shan. 
How many titanium particles do you have left to advance to level 10? Lin Shan glanced at the upgrade bar and replied hurriedly. There are still 5,050 points left. Well, come and get it. Aw? Uh? Lin Shan could hardly believe that one task could give so much. The moment he got the system prompt, his head was buzzing. Just rose to level 10? Next. Su Xia threw another blue potion to him. Is this a psychic potion? When Lin Shan saw the description of the potion, he trembled all over and his eyes nearly jumped out of his sockets. He could hardly believe what he saw. On the game forum, no one has posted about obtaining the psychic potion. Because ordinary merchants don't sell it at all. Only in extremely special NPC shops will occasionally refresh psychic potions. But the purchase requirements are ridiculously high. And even if you have money, you can't buy them. Lin Shan felt as if he was in a dream. The psychic potion that everyone dreamed of was now in his hands. Feeling cold to the touch. Su Xiao waved her hand and said, Let's learn the Tian Affinity skill first. And then inject the medicine after learning it. I'll come right away. Lin Shan was so excited that he could not speak coherently. He held the psychic potion tightly and walked to Su Xia. Harvesting so much in a short period of time made him suspect that he was hallucinating from eating too many mushrooms. In fact, he was about to hallucinate. After he finished learning the skills and injected the primary psychic potion into his body, he felt his whole body go limp and fell limply to the ground. The hard cement floor seemed to have turned into soft marshmallows and his limbs could no longer be felt. He fell into a bizarre world woven by illusions. Looking at Lin Shan, who was twitching unconsciously on the ground. Su Xiao was thoughtful. Sure enough, players are not immune to hallucinations. Su Xiao walked out of the warehouse and glanced at the remaining sunset on the horizon. There are only a few hours left. When he released the second round of missions, he promised all players that everyone would have the opportunity to learn the Titan Affinity skill. And the top performers would even receive psychic potions. A person must keep his word. Those players worked very hard and helped the residents of the Oasis camp build layers of defenses. Now that the war is coming, players are about to be baptized by a wave of monsters. And this skill can be used just right. Buzz! Su Xia activated her armor and flew into the midair of the camp, instantly attracting the attention of many people. He announced to the entire camp, The mission is over. All undead can come to me to receive skill rewards. Hearing this, the players immediately became excited. Great! I thought I had to defeat the Zerg before I could learn this reward. Doesn't this NPC have the confidence to survive tonight? Come on! There will be more people soon. A group of players abandoned the monsters in their hands and swarmed in, scrambling one by one for fear that there would be too many people and they would not be able to squeeze in. At this moment, compared to the excitement and excitement of most players, the players who joined Zhang Fang's team felt a little embarrassed. They knew that Zhang Fang was competing with Su Xia for control of the Oasis camp. Su Xia had not shown up for a long time, and these players all thought that they could no longer learn skills. So they all followed Zhang Fang for profit. The NPCs in this game have very high IQs. Will he deliberately not let us learn skills? This is hard to say. These players looked at each other, a sense of worry spreading in their hearts. But they still held on to a little hope and squeezed into the crowd. The leader of this team is Gu Gang, who was the captain of Lin Shan's former team. He had personally seen Lin Shan benefit from Su Xia, so he always wanted to embrace a powerful NPC. When Zhang Fang expressed his wish, he immediately joined him. Under his leadership, everyone squeezed for more than 10 minutes and finally squeezed in front of Su Xia. Gui Gang cautiously asked tentatively, Boss, can I learn skills? Of course. Come here. Su Xia waved and spoke in a relaxed tone. That's good. Gui Gang and the many players behind him breathed a sigh of relief. When he approached, Su Xia smiled and said, Aren't you Lin Shan's teammate? I remember you. Gui Gang trembled and forced a smile to answer. Yes, I am Xiu Shan's friend. Why haven't I seen you guys acting together recently? Su Xia asked again. This is us. Gui Gang knew that he couldn't hide it. So he gritted his teeth and said bravely. We recently joined Zhang Fang's team. But Xiao Shan wanted to join your Beifong organization. So we separated. Oh, no wonder. Boss, will you still teach us skills? Of course. Why do you ask? Su Xiao looked surprised. You are also part of the Oasis camp. No matter who you follow, as long as you can quickly improve your strength, the camp needs your strength. Hearing this, Gui Gang was shocked. Behind him, many players in the team also raised their heads. Su Xiao waved and said, Come here and study. There are many people waiting behind you. 
Yes. Wu Gang was in a complicated mood and stepped forward to learn the skills. Everyone in his team also learned one by one, and then followed him and squeezed out of the crowd. Standing outside the crowd, a player in the team sighed. Oh, this Beifeng's heart is too broad. I feel a little embarrassed. Yes, no wonder the NPCs in this camp admire him so much. Compared with him, Zhang Fong's little belly is just like chicken intestines. Everyone did not regret their choice. Because following Zhang Fong these days, they did get a lot of good things. But comparing the two, they still had to sigh. It is better to have control of the Oasis camp in the hands of someone like Bei Feng. At this moment, Lin Shan wandered out of the warehouse. Why does this potion look like a psychedelic drug? He shook his head, still a little confused now. Hill? Wu Gang suddenly saw Lin Shan. When he saw Lin Shan's luxurious equipment, his eyes widened. Chapter 96 Searching for Resources Where can civilian players at this stage get such luxurious equipment? Although the NPC in the repair shop sells them, they are so expensive that only rich people can afford them. Even for games like Looking up at the stars, local tycoons can still use money to rob civilian players. There is no other way. This is the characteristic of online games. Xiao Shan, did you win the lottery? Gui Gang was surprised and hurriedly stepped forward to check Lin Shan's equipment. The other players in his team also gathered around, as if they were looking at aliens. They were all amazed and even touched it from time to time. Before that, everyone can be sure. There are no rich players among the players in the Oasis camp. Rich people need to take advantage of their money. So they basically choose a fixed novice map to start. While the Oasis camp is a random map, Lin Shan was quite awake at this time. He looked at the pairs of hands touching his body and said helplessly, Brother Gua, if I can win the lottery, why would I come to play games? That's right. Gua Gang sighed. Then where did you get this treasure? Is it a bug? No. There are no bugs in this game. Lin Shan slapped away the hands of the players on his body and then took two steps back. He turned sideways, pointed to the warehouse at the back and said, Brother Gua, I have joined Commander Beifeng's organization. This equipment he got for me is the same as the official members of the Beifeng organization. What? Gua Gang's body stiffened. How come members of the Beifeng organization are treated so well? He had been following Zhang Fang for so many days, and his equipment was only better than that of ordinary players. Compared with Lin Shan, his stuff looks like it was picked up from a garbage dump. North Wind Organization. Gui Gang glanced at the tattered equipment on his body and felt uncomfortable. The joy he had just learned the skill was gone. His whole heart was empty. As if he had suddenly lost something. Not only him, but the rest of the players in the surrounding team were also stunned. If they had known that Su Xia was treated so well here, why would they go to that guy Zhang Fang? Just for those dozen bosses? Now that Su Xia knows that they are Zhang Fang's people. No matter how generous she is, she will not accept them into the Beifeng organization. Right? Xiao Shan, how is your relationship with the commander? Gui Gang, still holding on to a glimmer of hope, stepped forward and grabbed Lin Shan's shoulders and asked. This, Lin Shan was a little embarrassed. He opened his mouth but stopped talking. He understood what his old friend meant. But he really couldn't do that. The current commander is already busy enough. He can't add any more trouble. Lin Shan thought for a while and could only say tactfully, Brother Gua, tonight, I will fight on the commander's Beifong organization position. You guys, come to my place too. You must behave better and fight bravely. If, if the commander can see it, maybe he will consider it. Good brother. It's settled. Time passes minute by minute. The last ray of sunlight also disappeared, and the entire oasis camp was completely shrouded in shadow. There are gradually fewer players coming to Su Xia to learn skills. After many players learned the skills, they couldn't wait to go to the forest to try to kill monsters. When they saw the plus 5% data following the rewarded titanium particles, they were all excited. When you are lucky, you can encounter plus 6% or more situations. Over time, the level gap between them and ordinary players will gradually widen. Someone posted a screenshot of the data on the forum, which aroused a burst of envy and criticism. Oh! Damn! Players in the Oasis camp can actually learn this skill. Where is the fairness? Reported. You're welcome. There shouldn't be such an incredible passive skill in the early stage. So the Oasis camp was directly reported to the game customer service as a bug. The other players can't get it. And naturally they don't want the players in the Oasis camp to get it. But game companies still say that the entire game world now runs autonomously. And anything that happens in it has nothing to do with them. On the forum. 
players from the Oasis camp also began to fight back. Someone directly posted, Tonight, the entire Oasis camp will face a Zerg attack. Even the Beifong NPC is not confident of surviving. So he taught us his skills in advance. Yes, if this map is occupied by bugs, we will all become homeless players without even a place to level up. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. This time, Su Xiao witnessed the player war on the forum with her own eyes. Because he left his body in the care of the bracelet and went offline to have dinner. Several roommates were eating instant noodles. Eating with gusto in front of the computer screen. From time to time, they told Su Xiao about the recent major events in the game. Li Di Fu was the most excited. After taking a sip of instant noodles, he said, Brother Su, you can't imagine who I talked to last night. With whom? Masked stranger. Li Difu's face was red. And his mouth was full of grease stains from instant noodles. He said excitedly, That NPC is now as popular as Bei Fong on the forum. And he is actually willing to accept me as his disciple. Yeah. Su Xia was surprised. When did he say that he would accept this guy as his disciple? Li Difu nodded. Yes. He said that as long as I have psychic power. I can go to him to become my disciple. This? Well, it seems there is a misunderstanding. Su Xia spread her hands and said, But I don't know whether the NPC is alive or dead now. So don't have high hopes. He must still be alive. Li Di Fu was quite confident and continued to eat instant noodles happily. Su Xia went back to bed helplessly. She had a lot of work to do tonight. After that, she would think about how to deal with Li Di Fu. In the Oasis camp, the lights are brightly lit. All the soldiers were ready, and the fortifications were filled with bullets and cannonballs. The underground of these fortifications are connected, making it easier to transport materials and personnel. Although it is not as good as the Maginot line of defense back then, it is the best that can be achieved in just a few days. Although the Maginot line looked powerful, it was ineffective in the end, and the Great France still raised the white flag after more than 40 days. The time came to 10 o'clock in the evening before I knew it. Over in Coral City, the drugstore was closed. Su Xia rolled out the window as usual, avoided pairs of patrolling soldiers, and headed straight into the wilderness. In the wilderness, he visited all the places where the four mercenary organizations that he had killed previously were hiding their supplies. Without missing a single bullet, he took all the supplies to the warehouse in the Oasis camp. The whole warehouse is full. These mercenaries are so fat! Did Coral City deliberately keep them? Su Xia had to find Song Zhong to get an empty warehouse to store food and fresh water. This time, I got a total of 21 low-level psychic potions and 7 intermediate psychic potions. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to inject them. It was already 2 o'clock in the morning the next day. It's late at night. A roar of an insect tore through the silence. Chapter 97 The Zerg Attack Whoosh whoosh dash. Several flares flew into the night sky, lighting up like huge fireballs. A large forest area was briefly illuminated. The huge tree crown blocks the light, but a small amount of light still enters the jungle, lighting up the dark corner. The trees swayed and the shrubs rustled, as if there were thousands of troops running in that direction, heading straight for the oasis camp. A shadow flashed under the beam, and its ferocious face remained in everyone's eyes. Immediately afterwards, countless shadows swooped in, like thousands of ants, but countless times larger than the ants, trampling the vegetation into mud wherever they passed. The insects were so dense that they came from all directions, as if they were going to swallow up the entire oasis camp in one go. The soldiers at the front of the fortification shouted, Sir! Bugs are everywhere! Then fire everywhere! Yes! The battle has begun. Artillery fire roared in the camp, and artillery pieces were fired in all directions. The smoke was filled, and the dust was flying. The whistling sh. Ls landed in the dense swarm of insects, and the sound of explosions continued. The whole earth seemed to be shaking. Countless insects were killed. And iron and blood began to blend on this tragic night. But the bugs seemed to have no idea what fear was. And continued to rush forward despite huge casualties. One group died. And another group was quickly added. Load the ammunition and keep firing. The blue light responsible for commanding the artillery unit roared. Pointing directly at the distant jungle. The muzzle fire continued to shine in the dark night. Every time it was fired. A thick layer of dust was stirred up in the camp. Thick metal sh. Ls fell to the ground and rolled into the dust. Boom! Boom! Cannonballs fell from the sky one after another, exploding in the jungle like divine punishment, leaving deep craters. The corpses of insects were everywhere, and most of them had been broken into pieces. Blood, mincemeat, 
bone stubble, and carapace were scattered, mixed with the debris of fallen trees. There were actually insects biting the corpses of their companions while charging forward crazily. Hiss! Large pieces of flesh and blood were swallowed by the living insects. Their bloody mouths were opened, and their sharp fangs were covered with mucus and bloodshot eyes. What appears now are all low-level units of the Zerd tribe. Their low intelligence and large numbers make them the best cannon fodder, constantly depleting the cannonball reserves in the camp. Moreover, in the face of the dense insect swarm, the number of artillery was too small after all. The insects continued to advance and soon approached the outermost defenses. Duh, 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 duh. The human race's light and heavy machine guns were spitting out tongues of fire, firing crossfire in front of the clearing, killing every bug that appeared in sight. There is a huge living space below the camp, which contains a large amount of food and fresh water. All the old, weak, sick and disabled were moved here and waited quietly for the end of the fighting on the ground. The children were in the innermost. They could hear the sound of the cannons on the ground and feel the tremor of each cannonball hitting the earth. There is nothing they can do. Not crying or making trouble is the best support for people on the ground. In this cruel age, children become sensible very early. A child pulled his grandma and asked in a low voice, Grandma, will daddy and mommy come back? Yes, there are commanders who know how to do it. Su Xia has already joined the battle. He flies high, holding a grenade launcher. Whenever an insect was approaching the fortifications, he would send a grenade out to repel those insects. In addition to him, many people in the rear were also using their own methods to kill the bugs. The current firepower output of the Oasis camp is too terrifying. So far, not a single bug has crossed the outermost defenses, so the players can only stare in the camp. Some people looked at the artillery everywhere and couldn't help but swallow. I guess, these NPCs are too powerful. Is this the power of modern firepower? Why are they different from those in the movies? Is it going to have nothing to do with us tonight? Don't worry. Among the players, many have already seen it. The human race's firepower is being consumed every moment. But the insect swarm seems endless. Looking around, in Zhao Yao's fire, countless bugs formed a dark brown sea of bugs in the jungle, which looked extremely terrifying. Once the oasis camp is conquered and the bugs take over, it will be a question for players how to go online in the future. You may be eaten by bugs as soon as you go online and you can only try to escape from the camp while dying repeatedly. Lin Shan is very special. As a player, he entered the fortifications guarded by the Beifong organization and fought side by side with many Beifong members. He was assigned a heavy firepower point, and a series of hot bullets spurted out from the heavy machine gun in his hand, leaving a field of insect corpses in front. In front of his eyes, messages kept popping up one after another. You kill low-level Zerg creatures. You get titanium particles. The battle hadn't even started long before he had already risen to a level. If this terrifying upgrade speed were posted on a forum, countless people would definitely say it was buggy and scold him for cheating. But he really wasn't cheating. Roar! In the distant sea of insects, a hard-stopping roar suddenly came out. A huge insect appeared in front of everyone. Its terrifying body is larger than a bus, with a dark brown hard carapace on the surface. The horns on the top of its head are long and sharp, like a beetle enlarged countless times. Its back is bulging high, and its three pairs of outer limbs are powerful and powerful. It is powerful, with hook-like claws at the ends of its limbs, and a pair of huge front claws is even more frightening. The intermediate unit of the Zerd tribe, the giant god insect, this unit is extremely resistant to beatings. Its health bar is hopelessly thick, and its attack power cannot be underestimated. The one that appeared in front of me was only a medium-sized giant insect. Give it to me! John Fawn shouted loudly and went straight into the sea of insects alone, heading straight for the giant god insect. This scene really shocked many people. Everyone was on defense, but he was the only one going up against the insect tide, like a fearless lone warrior. In fact, the giant god insect looked scary, but its psychic level was only 1.9. What was really scary were the endless low-level insects. Only the strong can wander around in the sea of insects. Everyone knows that Zhang Fang wants to control the camp, so that he can do something in the oasis camp. He's been going great for the past few days. But today, Su Xia came out of seclusion, first killed Su Yun Song, and then announced the time for the Zerg attack. Almost instantly, the control of the camp tilted towards him. Therefore, Zhang Fang must do something tonight. Camp Oasis is mine! Zhang Fang gritted his teeth. He wanted everyone to see how powerful he was. Not only did he want to kill the giant god insect, 
He also wanted to find the leader of the insect nest in the next time and kill him in front of everyone. In this world, strength is the right to speak. As for Commander Beifong, without that mecha, who is he? Chapter 98 Shadow of Despair Psychic energy fluctuations can be restrained. But Zhang Fang made no secret of it and showed everyone his huge level 3.8 psychic energy fluctuations. He activated the universal defense skill of psychic shield, jumped suddenly in the endless sea of insects, and then slammed down like a god. The weapon in his hand took away the lives of more than 10 low-level insects in an instant. Click click dash. Zhang Fang didn't even use the thermal weapons he carried. He held two daggers and started mowing mode directly in the insect swarm. The two daggers were obviously psychic weapons, emitting a light blue light in the dark night and cutting through the hard carapace of the insects was like cutting tofu. As long as he has enough psychic energy, he seems to be able to keep fighting. But he did not stop. As he said before, after killing a group of bugs in front of him, he continued to jump in the sea of bugs. After several times in a row, he was close to the giant god bug. Roar! As a mid-level soldier, the intelligence of the giant god insect is already quite high. He sensed the danger, but did not retreat. Instead, he roared, moved his limbs together, and rushed towards Zhang Fang like a huge chariot. This bug actually didn't care about its own kind at all. It crushed countless low-level bugs along the way, and every time it landed, a pile of sticky green blood would burst out. Zhang Fang jumped suddenly to avoid the impact of the insect. Then he landed on the insect's back and shouted loudly, Die! He stepped suddenly, and he didn't know what skill he used, but a shockwave visible to the naked eye was generated under his feet. The giant god insect wailed and fell heavily to the ground, crushing countless small insects under him. The carapace on his back was cracked by the foot, exposing the fragile flesh and blood inside. Okay, good fight. Seeing this scene, cheers rang out in the camp. Our hero unit defeated the enemy's hero unit. Of course, the giant god worm only looks like a heroic unit, but is actually just a minion. But Zhang Fang's kick did add a lot of morale to his side. This is just the beginning. Zhang Fang felt the cheers coming from the direction of the camp and opened his arms. As if his entire soul had evolved in the baptism of cheers. He enjoyed this feeling. Roar! In a not far away direction, another giant god insect appeared. This giant god insect is bigger and more terrifying than the one under Zhang Fang's feet. It is like a moving mountain of meat. Its psychic level has reached level 2.8. In the eyes of players, it is an invincible super boss. Immediately afterwards, Giant god insects also appeared in other directions. The cheers in the oasis camp stopped abruptly. Xiong Wei looked at Su Xiao worriedly. Commander. I know. Leave it to me. Su Xiao also moved. These giant god bugs are like giant mobile siege weapons. And they cannot be allowed to get close to the camp's defenses. Wearing a black mecha. He looked like a hunting shadow in the dark night. Cutting through the sky and heading straight for one of the giant god insects. Below. Little Fan Song Zhong shouted. Come on! Commander! Chung Pingan, on the other hand, was relatively calm and reminded loudly, Commander, be careful! Don't fall into the insect wave! Once entangled by the insect tide, even level 4 creatures will sometimes run out of spiritual energy. When Su Xia ran towards a giant god insect, Zhang Fang was not idle and continued to kill another giant god insect. The two became unique in the endless sea of insects, moving quickly from one place to another specializing in blocking the high-power insects that appeared. Boom! Su Xia used her skills and punched the giant god insect on the head. The hard head instantly shattered and collapsed inward, and the brain inside was exploded into a ball of paste by the flying bones. This giant god insect didn't even let out a mournful cry before it fell heavily to the ground. Countless low-level insects around him smelled the smell of blood, and they rushed forward with hissing sounds, opened their bloody mouths, and began to eat the huge corpse. Kacha kacha. The giant god insect's abdomen was bitten through, and countless tiny insects entered his abdomen to bite the flesh. Some insects seemed to have no fear, and actually climbed onto the corpse of the giant god insect, went all the way up the back, and went straight to Su Xia. Su Xia casually struck a sword and cut an insect in half with a click. This is a schizophrenia, a low-level unit of the Zerg tribe. It is about the same size as an ordinary puppy, but has two terrifying heads. After being cut in half, he was still alive, with both heads roaring and howling. But he was soon dragged down by other insects and devoured. Swift bugs, split bugs, skeleton bugs, scavenger bugs, etc. 
Countless low-level Zerg units rushed towards Su Xia, crashed into Su Xia's psychic shield, and tried to tear the psychic shield apart with their lives. A bunch of insects! Su Xia didn't get entangled here and jumped into the air. The miniature psychic cannon on the shoulder of his armor quickly rose and fired several shots at the insect swarm below, blasting countless insects into pieces and harvesting a wave of titanium particles. Then he rushed towards the other giant insect without stopping. Su Xia is different from Zhang Fang. That guy Zhang Fang has always wanted to find the hive leader and kill him in front of everyone. When Su Xia knew that the hive leader had probably been promoted to level 4, he had been very cautious and constantly observed the surrounding dark area during the flight. Where will that leader be? Is he sitting in the insect nest? The shadow of level 4 creatures hung over Su Xia's mind. Even with this armor, he was not completely sure of dealing with the enemy. In the early hours of yesterday morning, Yu Tuo's terrifying combat power was still vivid in his mind. At this moment, a dense and harsh sound suddenly sounded in the distant sky. It seemed like thousands of bats were screaming. Look at the horizon! What is that? Someone in the camp shouted. It's a flying creature from the Zerg tribe! Many people looked solemn and stared at the sky in the distance. The giant god insect has not yet been dealt with. But a new unit has appeared. This kind of bug is called Black Wing. It is an intermediate type of Zerg. Each one has a wingspan of more than 2 meters. Its whole body is as black as ink. It looks like an oversized giant bat. But it is more ferocious and terrifying. Its sharp claws can easily cut apart the bodies of ordinary people. Countless black wings cover the sky, casting a despairingly huge shadow on the earth. In the camp, various anti-aircraft machine guns and anti-aircraft guns are ready. Get ready! The person in charge here shouted. The time has come to witness the honor! Searchlights lit up one after another, and the bright beams of light pierced the sky like spears. The next moment, countless bullets and artillery sh. ls hit the sky, and the tracer bullets mixed among them were like red raindrops traveling backwards, striking a caliber of justice in the deep night. The players nearby were stunned and felt as if their ears were about to be deafened. This is too scary! Isn't it bruised and bruised after being hit? Chapter 99 I'll Die First Countless insect corpses fell from the sky, and it seemed like there was a rain of insects under the sky. These corpses were smashed in the jungle, shrubs, and sea of insects, exuding a fishy smell. Insects on the ground swarmed up and gnawed the corpses clean. Hiss. The glands of Zerg creatures contain alien psychic energy. Therefore, the glands of dead bugs become the main target of competition for living bugs. These low-level bugs followed their instincts and fought among the corpses that were a mixture of iron and blood. Some even performed a live evolution for everyone. A scavenger looked up to the sky and roared. And its body began to grow rapidly. The dark brown scales all over its body fell off. And a stronger carapace grew. The sharp teeth became longer and sharper. And even the eyes became more narrow and terrifying. Such crazy evolution can be seen everywhere in the insect sea. Some players couldn't help but exclaim. Cows eat their own kind. Aren't these bugs afraid of prions? They can evolve. Why do they care about prions? The evolved low-level bugs have become crazier and more ferocious. It seems that their combat power has only become stronger. But their intelligence has not increased much. The sky and earth around the camp were shaking. And fire was being fired from every direction. People were extremely happy at this time. Under the protection of layers of fortifications. It was so difficult to fight a defensive battle. If they had really decided to evacuate and were attacked by the Zerg during the evacuation. The entire camp might have been destroyed. Amidst the roaring gunfire, someone shouted, We need support in the southwest corner. There are a lot of bugs in that direction. Receive. Bema also needs support. His organization can't stand it anymore. No. There are more and more bugs. And even the firepower of alternating sweeps is gradually unable to stop them. Outside the first line of fortifications, insect corpses piled up like a mountain. The insects behind them bit the corpses of the same kind while stepping on these corpses and continued to pounce on them. Damn! Where did these bugs come from? I haven't found the insect nest after searching for so long. Could it be that they just conjured it up out of thin air? Everyone in the camp was extremely busy, running around constantly to replenish ammunition in all directions. Under Su Xia's instructions, Chung Pin on hurried to the warehouse where he stored supplies. When the warehouse was opened, Chung Pin on was shocked by the resources in the warehouse. Where did the commander get so many resources? I haven't seen him move anything inside in the past few days. Chung Pingan was confused. But he didn't want to think too much at the moment and immediately asked someone to come over and move things. Camp Oasis is in danger. 
Even just one more bullet can give the camp a glimmer of hope. At this moment, someone suddenly shouted, Those big bats have broken through! The camp's entire craft firepower was ultimately insufficient and seemed too powerless in the face of countless black wings. In this way, the Oasis camp temporarily lost its air superiority. In the area close to the first layer of fortifications, a brave player was broadcasting the battle live. He looked excited and kept changing his perspective. The number of people in the live broadcast room had already exceeded 10,000. Dear viewers, the giant god insect in the distance is the extremely popular NPC Commander Beifong. He is. Before he could say anything, a scream suddenly came from above the player's head. A huge shadow fell over him. Before he could react, his chest was pierced by a pair of sharp claws, and his health bar dropped rapidly. Everyone in the audience, you can chat. I'll hang up now. After saying that, he was torn in half by the pair of sharp claws. The oasis camp that has lost its air superiority is like a freshly baked fat cake, naked and naked in front of all flying zerg creatures. Those black wings occupied the sky, screaming and swooping down again and again, almost every time taking away the life of a soldier or a player. Some were not afraid of death and rushed straight into the air defense positions as if they were crazy. Seeing this scene, Su Xia in the distance immediately turned around. Although the threat of the giant god insect is great, those black wings in the sky are the top priority. Buzz! The speed of his mecha was almost pushed to the extreme, and a faint shadow was drawn under the night. Like a dim meteor, there were hundreds of black wings, flapping their wings and rushing toward him. Countless piercing screams intertwined to form a terrifying sonic attack, and many players below couldn't help but turn down the volume. Well done! Su Xia's speed remained unchanged, and she crashed into the shadow of the sky composed of countless black shadows. The next moment, he used his most powerful group damage skill, Psychic Explosion, killing dozens of black wings that rushed towards him almost instantly. Seeing this scene, everyone below cheered. Anti-aircraft firepower also cooperated with Su Xia to constantly clean up flying insects in the surrounding area. However, one wave comes after another. On the Zerg side, a new mid-level unit actually appeared. That thing seemed to be a mutated big snake. Its dark brown body twisted and squirmed. Its body and tail were covered with penetrating bone spurs. There were countless armor-piercing spines hidden in the bone plates under the carapace. The two pairs of forelimbs were like the sharp blades of a mantis, moving very fast in the jungle. It's the raiders! Prepare artillery! Don't let them get close to the front row defenses! The artillery unit led by Lan Guang once again made great achievements blowing up countless raiders in an instant. The smell of blood and gunpowder smoke intertwined, making everyone in the camp feel the baptism of life and death. Boom, boom, boom! While these artillery pieces continued to produce kills, many of the camp soldiers responsible for manipulating the artillery pieces were also upgraded. Unfortunately, some of the artillery pieces were old and had low accuracy. Missing some raiders. Just when blue light directed another round of attacks, something unexpected happened. Boom! On the artillery position, Suddenly a gun exploded, the barrel exploded, and debris flew everywhere. The aimer and loader next to him were instantly knocked down and died on the spot. Several others were seriously injured and fell to the ground in great pain. Treat the wounded quickly! Lan Guang's eyes were red. And the last thing he wanted to see happened. Weapons will also get tired. Under such high-intensity use, some old artillery will definitely have problems. Outside the camp, many raiders were close to the outer defenses. Call out! A raider fired an armor-piercing spine needle at an extremely tricky angle. It actually flew past countless bugs and flew straight into a bunker. With a cheese sound, the heavy machine gunner of the bunker died on the spot. The armor-piercing spine needle pierced through his right eye and directly penetrated his brain, bringing out a cloud of blood mist. No! Make it up quickly! The heavy machine gunner's body was immediately dragged down. Another soldier stepped in, controlling the heavy machine gun to spit out tongues of fire and continued to block those crazy bugs. But just at the moment of replacement, those bugs had already approached a certain distance. Very close at hand. The same situation happens in many bunkers. These terrifying raiders are so accurate, as if each one is a natural hunter. And every armor-piercing needle can take away a warrior's life. Even some players near the edge of the camp were shot, and died extremely tragically. And I'm Ma. Do these bugs have self-aiming? A player watched helplessly, as his companions were decapitated. Gui Gang and others are in the southeast corner of the camp near the edge. They have been waiting. And when the time is right, they will rush over and fight side by side 
with the people from the Beifong organization. But before the time came, several players in his team were killed by armor-piercing spine needles flying from the dark. Be careful. Once you die, you will be deducted 5% of the current level of titanium particles. It is not easy for us to level up. Gui Gang is still a responsible team leader and will not risk the lives of his friends easily. But as soon as he finished speaking, an armor-piercing needle was shot at an extremely tricky angle, hitting his chest directly. Crack! Gui Gang was horrified. His chest was instantly penetrated. His blood bar returned to zero. And he fell heavily to the ground. On the side, a camp soldier transporting supplies passed by. Seeing this scene, he praised. What a man! He didn't say a word until he died! The rest, Gui Gang. His health bar disappeared too quickly. And he had no time to say anything. Chapter 100 Ugly Things In addition to Gui Gang and the others, there were many player teams present. The anchor who was torn apart just now is called Li Chong. He is a contracted anchor of a certain sound and has obtained a license from the game company so he can broadcast live and has a dedicated anchor team. On the right side of Gui Gang's team, there are several game unions such as Anton Union, Greenwater Union, and Black Iron Union. The presidents of these guilds are very bold, choosing random maps to start, and guild members are also scattered in various novice maps. After his resurrection, Gui Gang lamented, with the development of the game now, it is difficult for individual players to do anything alone. This is also the reason why Su Xia suggested that several roommates recruit troops. Although small studios can make a little money, they cannot have a place in the gaming world. The anchor Li Chan came back from the dead. After seeing the situation in front of him, he immediately shouted, Run! The bugs are coming! Those NPCs can't stop me! Quickly retreat to the second level of defenses. Don't just stand there! As Li Chong saw, the outermost fortifications have been lost. Crazy bugs screamed and swarmed up in terrifying numbers, like a raging black tide, submerging the outermost bunkers one by one. Withdraw! Don't be obsessed with fighting! Evacuate now! The soldiers in the bunker began to retreat through the underground passages, igniting the explosives left in the bunker before retreating. When the bugs entered the bunker, they were greeted only by explosive roars. Boom! Boom! With loud noises, Countless bunkers collapsed in the explosion and sank into the ground, turning into silent tombs. Many soldiers were too late to evacuate and did not want to expose the underground passages. They chose to stay in the bunker and detonated explosives during the fight with the insects, blowing up the passages and fortresses and dying together with countless insects. When the outermost layer of defenses was completely destroyed, Xiong Wei waved his hand. Do it! Yes! The demolition crews who had been prepared acted in unison. And a moment later, countless explosives buried between the two layers of defenses were detonated. Fire shot into the sky. Smoke and dust rose everywhere. And the ground beneath everyone's feet was shaking. Countless bugs that rushed over were blown to pieces, and their bodies were broken into pieces. With debris everywhere. Immediately afterwards, the second layer of fortifications opened fire. The firepower was intertwined. And hot bullets poured wildly into the sea of insects. Da 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 da. The cruelty of this battle cannot be described in words. The bugs will pay a heavy price for every step they take. The pitted land has long been dyed green by the blood of insects. And every inch of soil exudes a strong smell of blood. Oasis camp has used almost all available means. On the artillery positions, many artillery pieces had fallen into fatigue. The soldiers on the position said loudly, Boss, we must slow down a little. If we continue to fight, these artillery will have problems. Okay. Come with me and drag out everything we can use from the warehouse. Blu-ray took a group of people to some old warehouses. In those warehouses, they found many ancient trebuchets. As long as it works, the trebuchet can not only throw stones, but also explosive charges. The current oasis campground is lacking everything, so we cannot look down upon these antiques. Not long after, pieces of hard stone roared out from the artillery position, like countless raindrops, hitting the sea of insects heavily. Boom. Boom. The sea of insects is so dense that there is no need to specifically aim. Countless bugs were crushed on the spot and turned into bug dot zip. Many players witnessed all this with their own eyes behind the second layer of defenses. One player was worried and couldn't help but ask. The NPCs in the camp have even moved out the trebuchets. I guess they won't last long. Those damn bugs will eat everything. If we get into a melee later, will we die? Will we also be eaten? I'm worried that we will be resurrected directly in the mouth of the insect. Probably not. Next to him. Wu Enong. 
the president of the Anton Game Union, spoke out. He looked at the horrific scenes of bugs biting the corpses of his companions and said subconsciously, Human meat doesn't taste good. It's like a mixture of chicken and beef. It's a little woody and hard. And it has a lot of tendons. It doesn't taste good at all without heavy ingredients. As he said that, Wu Enong was suddenly stunned. He found that all the players around him were looking at him. Wu Enong felt confused and asked, Why are you looking at me? Pay attention to the Zerg. If the Oasis camp falls, we will all become wandering players. Everyone. The president of the Black Iron Union changed the topic. Coughed twice. And said, Speaking of which, Commander Beifong is really fierce. He has been killing those flying bugs in the sky. And I haven't seen him tired even now. No injuries. That NPC in Dragon City is quite fierce. He killed many giant god insects, said the president of Greenwater Union. Who do you think is more powerful among them? With the addition of the Mecha, the two of them are probably about the same. But without the Mecha, the Dragon City NPC might be more powerful. He has a level 3.8 psychic ability. In the sky, Su Xiao was indeed not tired yet. After being promoted to level 3.9, his combat endurance has been greatly enhanced. Stab dash. He grabbed a screaming black wing and tore it violently, tearing the black wing into two pieces. But the monster's vitality was terrifyingly tenacious. Its claws desperately searched for Su Xia, trying to pull Su Xia to die together. Without saying a word, Su Xia tore off two of its claws, then threw it away from the sky. From the beginning of the battle to now, these black wings have been led away by Su Xia for a certain distance, and the sky where the two sides are fighting is no longer above the oasis camp. When the black wings' body fell, countless low-level zerg below raised their heads. His. They crowded together, trampled on each other, and opened their mouths like baby birds waiting to be fed. Perhaps Su Xia had been fighting in this area for so long that some of the insects below refused to move forward and were waiting here for him to drop food from the sky. Su Xia did not relax her vigilance. He was always on guard against possible Zerg leaders and would glance at the situation in Xiong Wei's direction from time to time. This mission specifically provides the requirement of protecting Xiong Wei. It shouldn't be that simple. This guy is standing too far forward. Su Xia used her skill again killing a large number of black wings, and took a look below. Xiong Wei's position is very dangerous. He was always directing from the front, and was easily targeted. This is Xiong Wei's own choice. Until now, the Oasis camp has been losing ground in this battle. And he, the nominal manager, cannot retreat. If even he retreated, what would those ordinary soldiers think? Su Xia temporarily got rid of a bunch of flying insects, landed in front of Xiong Wei, and said to Xiong Wei, Mr. Xiong, I hope you can step back a little. Xiong Wei looked embarrassed. Commander, I am still the nominal commander. I just want to do my part. Mr. Xiong, have you ever thought about what would happen if you were killed? Don't worry. Commander, Xiong Wei pointed at a combat uniform. As long as the leader of the insect nest doesn't show up, I can protect myself and won't distract you. Fine. Not wanting to waste time, Su Xia started the mecha and returned to the sky. He did not take action for the time being, hovering high, with a wide field of vision, and saw many problems. The bugs are not as dense as before. The way things were going, Camp Oasis could survive the night. Such a huge task. Once it ends, the reward Su Xia will receive will definitely be extremely generous. But at this moment, a new intermediate unit appeared on the Zerg side the flesh and blood chariot. It was a strange looking insect with a dark brown carapace on its surface and a strange lotus pod-like structure on its back. However, there were no lotus seeds in the honeycomb holes of those lotus pods, but were covered with a sticky and slippery green film. It keeps surging, and there seems to be some creature inside trying to get out. Looking down from a high altitude, those densely packed lotus holes can really cause physical discomfort. How could there be such an ugly monster? The previous herb monsters were terrifying in appearance, but they couldn't be said to be ugly. At least Su Xia can accept it. But this thing, Su Xia always thought that he did not have trypophobia. But when he saw the monster, especially the squirming holes on the monster's back, goosebumps rose all over his body. The last time he felt like this was when his roommate Li Difu showed him pictures of lotus breasts. Such an ugly monster doesn't deserve to live. Su Xia took a deep breath and activated the armor shoulder cannon. After a few blasts, less than half of the first wave of ugly monsters was wiped out. Some were still alive, but they were also maimed. The holes on their backs were open one after another, and small insects crawled out of them, 
These little bugs looked ugly and were covered in foul-smelling mucus. They shook their bodies and then slowly opened their wings. You can actually fly? It's really the big cockroach of the South. Su Xiao was not polite and set a few more shoulder cannon rounds. Just as he retracted his shoulder cannon and prepared to continue dealing with the flying zerg in the sky, a dark figure suddenly flashed across his field of vision. The dark shadow was extremely fast and seemed to be integrated with the night. It moved around in the sea of insects and arrived outside the oasis camp in just a few breaths. Judging from its direction, it was obviously heading towards Xiong Wei. Is that a shadow hunter? Shadow hunter, a high-level unit of the insect hive, is on the same level as the fear parasite. It is good at assassination and is a rare high intelligence creature in the insect race. Chapter 101 Too Happy Too Early Xiong Wei is directing the battle. He wears a carefully crafted combat uniform and possesses level 3.1 psychic powers. Ordinary bugs cannot currently hurt him. Now Su Xia and Zhang Fang are killing enemies in the sea of insects. Xiong Wei believed that he was not strong enough to fight into the sea of insects. He could only stand at the front and set an example with his own actions. This is an era that needs heroes. If he stands here, he can make countless people feel at ease. But suddenly, an almost ghostly figure jumped out of the darkness and headed straight for him. So fast that only an afterimage remained. What? Xiong Wei was shocked and turned on the psychic shield almost subconsciously. But in the next second, he heard the sound of his psychic shield breaking. Not good! A sense of death crisis instantly enveloped Xiong Wei's body. The opponent's speed was so fast that it reminded Xiong Wei of that night when the two of them teamed up to kill bugs in the forest. But this time the bug he faced was faster than the parasite that night. Advanced Unit Shadow Hunter Stab Dash A heartbreaking voice sounded in front of Xiong Wei. The Zerg assassin instantly cut through the alloy baffle in front of him, leaving a horrific blood stain on his chest that was deep enough to see the bones. However, Xiong Wei's own move hit the air, and the enemy had already reached behind him. Only then did the many soldiers and players around them react. Mr. Bear is under attack. Protect Mr. Bear and retreat. Where is the enemy? Why didn't I see it? Everyone was in a panic, and even the front line became chaotic. Even the players ran to Xiong Wei anxiously. Damn it! Protect this NPC quickly. If he dies, the morale in the camp will definitely drop a lot. I can't see the enemy. Are we all blind? In the sky, Su saw a knot through the dense swarm of insects. And the mecha went straight toward Xiong Wei with full power. He can capture the figure of the Zerg assassin. That was definitely not an ordinary shadow hunter. It was very likely that he had awakened his psychic talent. And his talent was related to the night. Su Xia had only seen a similar talent in Yemo. Called Dark Night Walking. Which allowed her to blend into the darkness almost perfectly. Creatures that have awakened this type of talent are born hunters. Mr. Xiong, lower your head, Su Xia shouted. Xiong Wei shuddered and immediately lowered his head without thinking. He has absolute trust in Su Xia. In the next moment, a dark hunting knife slashed across the spot where his head had been. Xiong Wei only felt his scalp numb, as if something cold was flying past. If he hadn't lowered his head just now, his skull might have been chopped open. Boom! Without saying a word, Su Xia aimed a shot at the black shadow behind Xiong Wei. This is a specially made psychic bullet, which is most used by psychic creatures who have awakened the sniper talent. No matter how fast the bug was, it was not as fast as the bullet. He couldn't dodge it and was shot firmly. His entire right arm was blown away and blood flowed. Snapped! A right arm that resembled a machete rolled to the ground, twitching continuously. But this insect actually endured the pain, unlike other insects that like to scream, and sneaked into the darkness without saying a word. Humph! Want to run? Su Xia fell from the sky, using no weapons, and directly hit the insect, knocking it out of the shadows. The bug rolled on the ground several times, but still kept silent and continued to escape. It was only then that many soldiers and players saw its true face. Its appearance is similar to that of humans. It has a nose and eyes, but its body is dark brown. Its arms are in the shape of scimitars and look extremely sharp. Its legs are in the shape of reverse joints. Its feet are larger than ordinary people and slightly stooped. After seeing its appearance, some players couldn't help but ask, Is this the fruit of love between a drunk guy and a bug? His. No matter how drunk you are, you can't go down on a bug. Upon hearing these insulting words, the fleeing insect turned back and glanced with murderous intent on his face. Its IQ is indeed no weaker than that of normal humans, just like the fear of parasites. Buzz! 
Su Xia's mecha was fully powered and she chased after him. This bug possesses level 3.3 psychic power. Once it regains its combat power, few people in the oasis camp can stop it. The shot just now showed the characteristics of this insect. It can be invisible, fast, and lethal. But its body is very fragile. When Su Xia caught up, it didn't take much effort to chop off the insect's head. He picked up the insect's head and returned to Xiong Wei, saying, Mr. Xiong, you shouldn't be on the front line all the time. It's also a good choice to sit in the middle. I see. Xiong Wei was ashamed. As soon as something happened to him, the front line was instantly in chaos. In this short period of time, the second line of defenses was in danger, and several bugs had already rushed into the bunker. If Su Xia hadn't taken action, the consequences would have been disastrous. But Su Xia can't always be a security guard here. He belongs to the entire Oasis camp. Mr. Xiong, let everyone retreat into the third line of defenses. Su Xia suggested. Let the undead also enter the defenses. Their resurrection characteristics can help us resist for a longer time. Okay, Commander. Everything is up to you. Xiong Wei did not hesitate and immediately started making arrangements. The third line of defense is already inside the Oasis camp, and many residents' houses have been abandoned, allowing the insects to attack. After getting the news of entering the fortifications, the players all breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, it's our turn! Guigang immediately led his team members into the southeastern fortifications, where the Beifong organization was located, and met up with Lin Shan. Several other teams, and many individual players have also found their respective positions. It was Commander Beifong who allowed us to enter the fortifications. I have to thank him. That NPC in Dragon City only cares about killing monsters and upgrading in front of him. He has no arrangements at all. What a fool. Players have been waiting for it for a long time. But they still can't find a suitable entry point. In the battlefield, there were overwhelming insects on one side and dense human firepower on the other. Any player who enters will only end up dying repeatedly. Everyone originally planned to wait for the defenses of the Oasis camp to be completely breached and then take advantage of the chaos during the melee between the two sides. But I didn't expect to be able to enter the fortification so early. In the Beifong organization position in the southeast corner, Gui had just met Lin Shan and saw Chung Pingan with a cold face. Chung Pingan stepped forward and said coldly, I know you. You are one of the undead people who have taken refuge with Zhang Fang. You have been working for Zhang Fang these days. Don't you know what Zhang Fang is thinking? Me. Gui Gang was very embarrassed and did not dare to look at Chung Pin on. But for the benefit of the group of brothers behind him, he had to plead shamelessly. This boss, the commander said that we are also a part of the Oasis camp. No matter who we follow, as long as we are willing to serve the camp. Not bad. Remember what the commander said. Chung Ping and still had a cold face. Turned and left. He did not propose expulsion. Which relieved Gui Gang and others. Next, each member found his own thing to do. Some were responsible for carrying ammunition, while others were responsible for evacuating the wounded. Gui Gang laid down in a position with heavy firepower output, held a heavy machine gun, and began to shoot at the insects outside the fortress. Da 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 da. Insects died one after another. Blood splattered. When Gui Gang saw the rows of TN particles, rewards displayed on the background of his system, he was shocked. If he continues at this rate, it won't be long before he reaches the next level. This is too fast. Gui Gang swallowed his saliva, almost unable to believe it. But Lin Shan on the side nodded and gave him a positive answer it's that fast. In the fortifications and other directions, other players also experienced this feeling of almost soaring on a rocket. The president of the Greenwater Union said excitedly, Great! After tonight, the players in our camp will firmly occupy the first echelon of player levels. Unless other novice maps also have large-scale activities. But where can large-scale events be held so easily? There are Zerg in the Oasis camp. What about other beginner maps? It turns out, the players at Oasis camp were happy too soon. In Coral City, a large-scale mission of unprecedented scale is slowly beginning. In the office building in the city center, Zhao Si took a player to meet the Lord of Chi Lang. Chi Lang sat on the office chair, frowned, looked at Zhao Si and asked, Zhao Si! Why did you bring a refugee in? Is this refugee a masked stranger? No. Lord City Lord. Zhao Si looked respectful and pushed the player in front of Chi Lang. The player bowed slightly and said with a smile, Lord City Lord, I can provide you with a detailed location of the gathering place of the resistance organization outside the city. Chapter 102. First in the camp. Oasis Campground. 
with the cooperation of the players. The third line of defense actually fought back and forth with the bugs. After the player is killed by the insect's armor-piercing spine, he can be resurrected instantly and continue fighting without dragging his body down. Every heavy machine gun firepower point has become an object that players desperately protect. Three minutes each. Don't fight! Gwagang set rules for his team. Substitute players as soon as three minutes are up, allowing the next player to experience the joy of heavy firepower. By repeating this process, everyone in the team can enjoy rapid upgrade speed. But there were still people waiting behind who were itching to wait, and couldn't help but suggest. Three minutes is a bit too long. How about changing it every minute? You feel like you've grown up after three minutes? I really feel for your girlfriend. The player was silent. Lin Shan enjoys another heavy firepower point by himself. As a formal member of the Beifeng organization, other players cannot compete with him. Otherwise, they may be expelled. Some people looked at him with Indy and said, Well, if I had persisted a little longer, maybe I could have joined the Beifeng organization. When this battle is over, let's shamelessly ask Commander Beifeng. After seeing the benefits of the Beifeng organization, no one wanted to stay with Zhang Fang. In the Oasis camp, Many people were chanting Su Xia's name. And Su Xia almost never stopped. He fought from the air to the ground. And then from the ground back to the air. The high-level units of bugs are very smart. They hide in the sea of bugs and will not expose themselves actively. They will kill them as soon as they take action. Su Xia has found and killed more than 10 high-level bugs in succession. The weakest of which have level 2.8 psychic powers. The speed and quality of the Zerg's explosive troops are so high... What will the humans use to fight in the future? Su Xia frowned slightly, thinking about the future. At this time, Zhang Fang also returned from the Sea of Insects. Commander, do you see it? He pointed forward. The Zerg offensive has weakened, and the insect tide is not as dense as before. We are about to win this battle. As I said before, the bugs are not that scary. Mr. Zhang, don't let your guard down. Su Xia didn't want to deal with this guy. This guy's confidence was too blind. No one can guarantee victory until the hive leader emerges. Zhang Fang smiled and said, The Zerg can no longer move forward. In any case, the advantage lies with us. Su Xia. The last thing he wants to hear right now is the words. I have the advantage. At this moment, the shadow not far ahead suddenly twisted. And another shadow hunter approached. Su Xia glanced at Zhang Fang and found that Zhang Fang didn't notice it. The insect took action the next moment. Call out! In the bunker not far from the two of them, a player's head flew across the scene. Blood splattered. Zhang Fong's face changed slightly, and he shouted, Damn it! You actually did it in front of me! He immediately took out two daggers, stepped forward, and fought with a level 3.2 Shadow Hunter. Die! Every move he made happened to lock the Shadow Hunter's escape route. Obviously, Zhang Fong could also see this kind of insect assassin but he was too confident just now and thought that no insect would dare to attack around him. So he didn't pay attention. Su Xiao walked to the bunker, bent down and asked the players inside, Is the deceased okay? It's okay. I just lost some titanium particles. And they will be replaced soon. The player quickly revived, picked up his head, and put it back on his neck. A player nearby asked loudly, Commander, can I join your Beifong organization? Let's talk after tonight. I will select some people who perform well. Su Xia promised. Keep up the good work and kill more bugs. Yes. The players immediately puffed up their chests and looked determined. Strangely enough, in the past, when facing NPCs in other games, they would hardly feel anything. But when facing Commander Beifeng, perhaps they were infected by his temperament. And they actually felt something similar to admiration in their hearts. Even when facing the equally powerful Zhang Fang, they would not have such emotions, because Zhang Fang is really too disdainful. After a while, Zhang Fang came back with the head of the Shadow Hunter. His face was not very good. And he said, Commander, we can't be so passive anymore. Mr. Zhang wants to take the initiative? That's right. Zhang Fang nodded. I have been observing before, and found that there are the most bugs in the Southwest. The first giant god bug, and the first raider both appeared in the Southwest forest. Mr. Zhang, once we leave, what will happen here on the front line? Believe in our soldiers. They can hold off for a while. John Fawn said solemnly. As long as we can break through the insect nest, the crisis in the camp will naturally be solved. Su Xia was speechless again. The two parties have different experiences, different thinking, and the brain waves are not compatible. 
Communication is a waste of time. Although the mission requires finding the insect nest. Now is obviously not the time. Hold on. Only when the Zerg offensive is completely weakened can the human race take the initiative. Zhang Fang was too impatient and wanted to express himself. Seeing that Su Xia had no intention to attack, he persuaded again. Commander, as long as we can. Before he could speak, a powerful spiritual wave suddenly erupted in the distant forest. All the attacking bugs suddenly stopped. Southwest. Zhang Fang's eyes lit up, and he looked over there. If you guessed it correctly, the leader of the insect nest saw that the Zerg could not attack for a long time, and was ready to take action himself. Commander, I'm going first. Zhang Fang couldn't wait. So he jumped up without saying a word and jumped into the sea of insects. This is his chance. He wants to establish his authority in a battle. The camp is still intact now. And most of the people are still alive. Watching his back as he enters the sea of insects. The hive leader is mine. Zhang Fang took a deep breath. Increased his speed. And headed straight to the southwest. But, a few seconds later. The psychic energy fluctuation in the southwest forest broke out again. Zhang Fang frowned feeling something was wrong. Why have you become stronger? Although he was doubtful, he did not slow down and continued to attack at full speed. A few more seconds passed. The psychic energy wave erupted for the third time. The energy that burst out this time made Zhang Fang's expression change. This power is almost the same as his. Wrong. Why would such a terrifying creature appear in such a small place? But this wasn't over yet. Before he could react, psychic energy waves erupted for the fourth time in the southwest. More powerful. Zhang Fang's face turned pale. And for a moment, he didn't know whether to move forward or retreat. In the camp, the expressions of all psychic creatures became extremely solemn. The feeling of oppression was too strong. Suffocating. Once that creature appears, who can stop it? Su Xia stood in front of a bunker, looking into the distance, thinking slightly. It seems to be much weaker than Yutuo. Isn't Yutuo's level 4.0 a disguise? Inside the bunker, some players saw Zhang Fang rushing forward in the sea of insects. The player asked Su Xia, Commander, is that Dragon City NPC going to express himself again? Su Xia smiled. Yes, it should be. Commander, I think you should be the manager of the camp. The player said, That guy is not worthy. He is just a little stronger. Thanks for the compliment. Commander, when will you become number one in the Oasis camp? Hearing this, Su Xia smiled. Just today. Chapter 103 Dragon City Mistaken Me In the Oasis Camp, the psychic creatures all look solemn and look toward the southwest. This is a moment that requires decision-making. The opponent is too strong and has exceeded the limit that the Oasis Camp can fight against. Xiong Wei showed determination. He had decided to live or die with the camp. He could not leave. But Su Xia is not from the Oasis Camp. And his existence is a flag that can rally countless resistance organizations. So Su Xia cannot die. Xiong Wei walked forward quickly and whispered. Commander, you leave immediately. We can delay it for a while. You must survive. Mr. Xiong, what are you doing? Su Xia was surprised. Did he look like the kind of person who would run away from battle? All the current problems in the Oasis camp are ultimately due to lack of firepower. If the firepower could be more than 10 times stronger, and in an open area, a saturation bombing could be carried out directly in the direction of the psychic wave. Even if the opponent is really a level 4 creature, it would not be able to withstand the righteous artillery fire. Commander, you can't die, Xiong Wei said anxiously. Mr. Xiong, anyone can die, including me. Su Xiao looked relaxed. In the face of death, everyone is equal, but you are more useful alive than us. Mr. Xiong, it's too early to discuss death now. Su Xiao looked at the distant southwest with a calm tone, which was in sharp contrast to Xiong Wei's anxiety. Xiong Wei was stunned. From Su Xia's words, he could hear a kind of confidence. It is different from Zhang Fang's blind confidence. Su Xia's self-confidence is based on strength comparison. Last night, he temporarily broke out to level 3.9. But he was still beaten around by Yutuo like a sandbag. He was severely injured and dying. And escaped from Coral City in embarrassment. You know, his ability to control metal naturally restrains the mechanical race. But Yutuo was only slightly injured in the end. Su Xia thought that every level 4 psychic creature was as terrifying as Yutuo. But he could feel that the insect in the southwest forest was far inferior to Yutuo. They are all level 4.0. Either that insect is too watery, or Yutuo is too stupid and deliberately conceals his psychic level by some means. 
thinking of Yutuo's direct attack on him. Su Xia felt that there was a high probability of the latter situation. Mr. Bear, maybe I can win. Commanderable. Xiong Wei stopped talking and pointed to Zhang Fang, who was in a dilemma in the distance. After all, Zhang Fang has level 3.8 psionic power, has matching psionic weapons, has received systematic training in Dragon City, and his skills are not weaker than anyone in the camp. But now his face was as white as paper. Cold sweat broke out on his forehead, and he was moving at a snail's pace. His speed became slower and slower, and finally he stopped in the sea of worms. What's wrong is that the normal strength of the Hive leader shouldn't be much stronger than the high-level soldiers in the Hive. The high-level soldiers we dealt with before were only at level 3.3, which was a little stronger than the old bug killed by Beifong. But this how could a Hive leader be so strong? Zhang Fang's whole body was tense. He was sweating. And his calves were about to cramp. This is different from what he learned in Dragon City. The Dragon City information book mistook me. Zhang Fang looked very bad. If he could still go back alive, he would beat the guys who compiled the information in Dragon City until they didn't recognize their mother. Death was already very close to him. As if only millimeters away. Zhang Fang felt an inexplicable sadness in his heart when he thought of the praise he had given his mentor when he left Longcheng. Teacher, I may not be able to come back. Because he had made no secret of his level 3.8 psychic fluctuations before. He was like a super powerful light bulb in the dark sea of worms. And had long been locked by the monster. Even if he started to escape now, his hope of escape would be extremely slim. Will Bei Fong escape? Zhang Fang thought. He is still on the edge of the camp. Far away from here. With his strength. If he wants to escape wholeheartedly, he has a great chance of escaping. A leader like him must know how to escape. Save your life. The leader of such a small local organization has been running away with the organization all year round to avoid being hunted by the mechanical tribe. I guess they were used to running away. Zhang Fang always likes to use his own perspective to assume the identity of others. But he forgets that although the two sides have the same position, their life experiences are completely different. Just in the camp, many ordinary soldiers have not yet figured out the situation. Why did the bugs suddenly stop? They don't have psychic powers. Although they can feel an oppression. They don't have the keen perception of psychic creatures. What is Lord Zhang Fang doing in the sea of insects? He doesn't kill the bugs. And he doesn't step back and pose in there? Taking advantage of the moment when the insects stopped attacking, the soldiers began to use all their strength to kill one by one. The players were also very happy to kill, not wasting a minute and a second, happily harvesting titanium particles. Many players died more than ten times tonight, but the cost of dying was nothing compared to the rewards they received. But the presidents of several trade unions are keenly aware of the problem. Did the boss of the insect nest appear? This scene feels like it should be it. Damn it. I see those NPCs all look ugly. It's probably going to be very bad tonight. Let's make plans as soon as possible. Players are also aware of their actions. The situation before them made them worry about their survival after the fall of the Oasis camp. Of course, Lin Shan didn't need to observe the NPC's face. Because he himself was a psychic creature. Although it was only level 0 0.1 spiritual energy. He was already at the pinnacle of all players. He could clearly feel the spiritual energy fluctuations that almost suffocated him. He hurriedly handed the heavy machine gun to another player and ran out of the bunker to find Su Xia. Feeling anxious. The commander is an NPC and has only one life. We must persuade him to leave. In addition to Lin Shan, Chung Pinan, Song Zhong and others are also looking for Su Xia. They all seem to have the same idea as Xiong Wei. Even if the entire Oasis camp was destroyed, one banner figure must survive. Su Xia had been standing in front of the bunker, silently feeling the increasingly strong spiritual energy fluctuations in the southwest. It's almost the same. The opponent's strength has stabilized within this range. In Su Xia's perception, the monster began to move. Its speed is not fast, as if it is adapting to something. But it is full of pressure. At this time, Lin Shan hurried over and said anxiously, Commander, the big boss of the insect nest. I know. Su Xia interrupted him. Go back and kill the enemy. No one will leave tonight. But Lin Shan was so anxious that he was sweating profusely. He wanted to tell Su Xia this is just a game world. Even if Su Xia is really going to die tonight, he hopes that Su Xia can die clearly. However, due to system limitations, all the words about the game turned into weird characters as soon as they were spoken, as if they were talking in bird language, and no one could understand them at all. Chung Pinan. 
Song Zhong and others also came. After seeing Su Xia's tall figure, everyone felt more at ease. He did not dissuade Cheng Pingan or even Su Xia's character, but said resolutely, Commander, fighting side by side with you is the greatest honor of my life. Good. Su Xia was very pleased. Cheng Pingan is a very courageous young man. It was right to choose him as the deputy of the new Beifeng organization. At this moment, a loud, rumbling, Sound suddenly erupted in the jungle in the southwest. The earth shook, and countless towering trees collapsed. The speed of the insect nest boss suddenly increased, smashing countless insects and trees along the way. It was terrifyingly powerful, and headed straight for Zhang Fong in the insect sea. He took action. In the oasis camp, everyone's breath froze. On the artillery position, Long Quan looked solemn and asked his soldiers to aim toward the southwest. The heads of other regions also gave instructions one after another. Zhang Fan was facing the greatest pressure. His face was pale and almost desperate. Come on! I will fight for humanity! He faced the terrifying monster head-on, his voice trembling. But at this moment, another powerful psychic wave suddenly erupted behind him. With a level of 3.9, Zhang Fan was shocked and immediately turned his head to see Su Xia flying into the sky in battle armor. At this critical moment of life and death, Zhang Fang could no longer think about why Su Xia was so strong and subconsciously shouted, Commander, save me! Chapter 10 for the Art of Attracting Monsters When did Commander become so strong? Xiong Wei raised his head and looked at Su Xia Fatian's figure in shock. Not only him, but the rest of the camp members were also shocked. Is that man in the armor really the commander? Everyone thought that Su Xia had just recovered from her injuries and that it would be good to be able to recover to level 3.6 psychic power. But Su Xia's burst of psychic energy fluctuations was more than level 3.6 and seemed not much weaker than the monster in the distance. Coupled with a set of level 4 armor, the outcome of this battle is uncertain. Boom! In the distance, a huge giant insect was smashed to pieces. Blood, bones, and internal organs were scattered all over the floor. But no bugs dared to come forward to eat because the one who smashed it into pieces was the insect nest boss. A level 4 terrifying creature and the ceiling of this area. There seemed to be no word, turn, in his dictionary. And he was heading in a straight line. Of course, there is also no word for, same race. In the sky, Su Xia, who was flying rapidly, shouted, Back off! Yes! Zhang Fang didn't even think about it, and immediately started to run away, wishing he could have two extra legs. But the distance between the monster and him was getting closer and closer. That damn thing is so fast! Did it have eight legs? Zhang Fan was anxious and panicked. His whole heart seemed to be beating out of his chest. And his speed had reached the peak of his full strength. What he didn't expect was that. That monster not only has eight legs, but too many legs to count. Just after a giant god insect was smashed to pieces, the boss finally appeared in front of everyone. Roar! He looked up to the sky and roared, with most of his body standing tall. Under the dark night, it looked like an ancient god that had just awakened with its upper body standing more than 20 meters long. Human face and insect body. Wrong. Although it looked like a human face, the pale and flat face actually had three pairs of narrow eyes, no nose and ears, and in addition was a horrifyingly large mouth. The bloody mouth was filled with densely packed fangs, one after another, countless times more terrifying than a lamprey. In addition to the face, underneath is a huge centipede-shaped insect body with pairs of sharp black long legs on both sides of the insect body. Many players are frightened by this monster. Damn it! What kind of strange species is this? Mutated snake? Mutated centipede? Or something else? Prior to this, other Zerg creatures were ugly, weird, and terrifying, but they did not cause players to react so much. The most frightening thing about this monster is its pale, flat human face. Humans are most easily frightened by creatures similar to themselves. On the artillery position, Lan Guang shouted, Let go! A round of artillery suddenly fired a salvo. Smoke was everywhere, and the power was shocking. Countless sh. ls streaked through the deathly track under the night, and finally exploded in the area where the big human-faced insect must pass. The fire shot into the sky. The roar continued, and countless low-level bugs were overturned and blown away. But the big insect seemed to have the ability to sense danger and dodged all the cannonballs at an astonishing speed. It was unscathed, roared, and headed straight for Zhang Fang. Zhang Fang's scalp went numb, and he shouted, Commander! Coming! Su Xia fell from the sky like a predatory eagle, 
the entire suit of armor was fully powered. All modules were activated, and special bullets poured out, hitting the insect's huge body directly. This bug also has a psychic shield. Surprisingly, his shield is not the usual blue color, but a strange color intertwined with blue and black. When countless bullets hit the surface of his psychic shield, they stirred up layers of lines that resembled water ripples. He roared and continued to chase Zhang Fang regardless of Su Xia. Zhang Fang's face turned green, and he cursed. Are you blind? I didn't hit you. Donate your six useless eyes as soon as possible. Roar! Hearing this, the insect looked up to the sky and roared. His eyes showed a fierce light, and his six narrow eyes shone together, shooting out six blue and black terrifying energy beams in an instant. Zhang Fang was so horrified that he felt like he was dead. He dodged without haste and received a solid blow. Boom! The shield on his body shattered instantly, and the protective armor on his back also shattered. The whole person was shot away like a broken sack, hit hard against a towering tree, broke the entire tree in the middle, and then rolled more than ten times in the blood-soaked jungle. This embarrassed look is simply a replica of the battle between Su Xia and Yu Tuo last night. It's just that Zhang Fang is not as strong as Su Xia when he broke out last night. And this insect is not as strong as Yu Tuo. Stupid humans! The insect spoke human words. Its voice was sharp, and its six eyes flashed again. Zhang Fang struggled to get up from the ground, poured several healing potions into his mouth, and then ran as fast as he could without looking back. He was really angry at being beaten passively like this, and even lost the demeanor of a person from Dragon City. As he ran, he cursed. You are stupid to treat him. You have a negative IQ. And you have no brains. If the zombies open your head, they will leave with a look of disappointment. Boom! The bug responded with six deadly beams. But this time Zhang Fang predicted in advance and dodged in a flash. However, what he didn't expect was that the giant insect behind him actually predicted his prediction. The moment Zhang Fang dodged the energy beam, dozens of deadly sharp fangs shot out from the insect's bloody mouth, directly covering his next foothold. Gone! Zhang Fang's expression changed drastically, and he was instantly pricked into a hedgehog. Fortunately, he is a level 3.8 psychic creature with strong vitality. So mere fatal injuries are nothing. If it had been a creature below level 3, the wave just now would have been directly smashed into a sieve and died on the spot. From behind, Su Xia shouted, Mr. Zhang, don't stop. Continue your language art. Zhang Fang. Unknowingly, he turned out to be a tool for attracting monsters. The intelligence of this bug is not low. Almost the same as that of a normal adult. He originally planned to deal with Zhang Fang, who is easy to deal with, and then deal with Su Xia, who is more difficult to deal with. But Zhang Fang's vitality is as tenacious as Xiao Chang's, and he is worthy of being a person from Dragon City. He seemed to have a healing skill, and the bloody wounds on his back that were punctured by insect teeth were healing rapidly. I am for the human race. Zhang Fang gritted his teeth and drank a tube of temporary potion. Of course, he understood what Su Xia meant and couldn't let this hive leader get close to the oasis camp. Now that the insect's hatred value is on him, he must lure the insect far away so that Su Xia can fight the giant insect later. Once a fourth level creature fights with all its strength, its destructive power will be extremely astonishing. Mr. Zhang, hold on! From behind, Su Xia swooped down. Using the force of the impact, blue light flowed from her right fist and she punched hard on the psychic shield on the insect's surface. There was only a click, and the giant insect's psychic shield finally cracked. He roared, swung his huge tail, and slammed it toward Su Xia. Su Xia calmly dodged and used the skill Psyai Crush to hit the insect again. The giant insect was affected, and its spiritual energy was disrupted for a moment. Boom! The shield is finally broken. Su Xia saw the opportunity, rushed forward, and slammed into the middle of the insect's long body. The armored leg module deformed, extending two sharp alloy spikes, piercing directly into the giant insect's body. Damn humans! The giant insect roared, and its huge body rolled violently in the forest, breaking countless trees and crushing countless low-level insects to death. Su Xiao was also thrown away by the violent rolling and failed to open an entry point on the insect's back. In the distant oasis camp, this scene made countless people tremble with fear. Xionwei clenched his fists, wishing he could rush forward to help, and whispered, Commander, we must win. Commander will definitely win. Song Zhong held the Commander Beifeng puppet tightly in his hand and prayed for Su Xia again. Players are also killing insects while observing the situation. 
when the insect nest boss appeared. Many leading players in the union and team had already begun to consider retreat. But as soon as Su Xia took action, the situation was instantly reversed. Why is that Beifong NPC so fierce? Everyone's eyes widened. Didn't you say he was just recovering from a serious injury? That John Fong is okay, someone said. In terms of deeds and intentions, he performed very well this time. He risked his life to lure the boss away. I'm afraid he won't come back alive, some players suggested. If he really dies, let's pool some money and give him a whole log coffin. Someone nearby shook his head and said, It's better to use a plastic coffin, because the wood will rot. But plastic is poisonous and not good for corpses. 2. Ah sneeze. John Fong sneezed. He couldn't help but look into the distance, thinking of his mentors and friends in Dragon City. Well, reading thousands of books is not as good as traveling thousands of miles. Chapter 105 The Descendant of the Leader of Dragon City No, those teeth were poisonous just now. John Fong's feet suddenly softened, and the world in front of him was spinning. His healing skills healed the wound, but the toxins remained in his body and suddenly exploded. In this extremely fast pursuit, sudden poisoning is extremely fatal. Boom! Zhang Fong failed to control his body and fell to the ground, his eyes gradually turning black. He hurriedly took out a bunch of antidotes from his clothes and poured them all into his mouth, regardless of whether they were useful or not. Behind... The insect was getting closer. Zhang Fong opened his mouth, wanting Su Xia to help. But his tongue was numb, and he could only make a sound of awe. Fortunately, Su Xia noticed him. Mr. Zhang, don't panic. He was extremely fast, like a black hawk flying across the ground, grabbing the limp Zhang Fong. Then he threw hard. Mr. Zhang, go away. Zhang Fong's eyes widened, and he experienced a flying feeling, and finally landed heavily near the camp. Boom. It was a hard landing. Zhang Fong screamed and felt that all the bones in his body were broken. There was no part of his body that was not in pain. Tears instantly fell from the corners of his eyes. If his mouth hadn't become numb now, he would have said a few vulgar words to Su Xia. I have never seen such a rescue. But this seems to be the only way. After all, Su Xia's next battle with the insects will definitely affect a very wide area. Moreover, the other directions were full of insects. So Su Xia could only throw him to the area near the oasis camp. In the distant forest, Su Xia was already fighting with the insects. Boom. Although his armor was damaged, he resisted six energy beams and rushed in front of the giant insect. You can't hide. If you hide, you will lose the opportunity. Madness. This bug has too few words to curse. And the only word he can come up with over and over again is the word. Stupid. Even if Su Xia resisted the energy beam and rushed forward, he was still a little far away from the insect and could not get close at all. The insect could be completely avoided. This is why the insect called him stupid. But suddenly, a fatal sense of crisis instantly enveloped the insect. She, Su Xia seemed to be holding an invisible long sword in her hand. She suddenly lunged forward and pierced one of the insect's eyes with one strike. The blood spurted out, as if it was free of charge. The weapon in his hand finally appeared due to the blood. It was a long sword composed of countless nanorobots disguised as invisible. Ah, you damn human. The bug roared in pain, furious to the extreme. This was the most serious injury he had suffered since the beginning of the war. And his health bar dropped visibly. Su Xia drew her sword and retreated. Countless cold firing holes were exposed on the armor surface. And the SH. LS were fired, giving the bug a baptism of fire. Rumble. At such a close distance, no matter how sensitive the insect's crisis sense is, it will not help. It is impossible to avoid it like it used to avoid the artillery at the oasis camp. Debris flew everywhere. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. And the cries of insects echoed through the sky. All life is equal before gunfire. As long as you are still a creature of flesh and blood, you must accept the trial of fire. After a round of artillery fire, before the howling of the insects stopped, Su Xia walked forward again, holding the nano sword in hand and suddenly pierced another eye of the insect. Oh, this boss is furious. Around the oasis camp, the previously sluggish low-level bugs all resumed their actions and rushed towards the camp again. Just like that, two battlefields appeared under the night. The insect tide has become increasingly sparse. Most of the low-level bugs that serve as cannon fodder and the mid-level bugs that serve as the main force have died. And there are not many high-level bugs left. Deep in the forest, 
level 3.9 psychic energy, and a set of level 4 armor have given Su Xia the ability to fight this bug head on. Eyes are weak points. Every time an eye is pierced, his health bar will drop a lot. At this moment, the insect's appearance was terrible. After enduring a round of bombardment, his hard carapace had cracked and collapsed. And even his flesh and blood had been torn apart. And his internal tissues that had been burnt black could already be seen. But Su Xia's situation is not much better. The previous round had fired all the missiles in his armor. And now only some special bullets were left. Due to resisting an energy beam, the armor's built-in shield was also broken. And the alloy baffle on the chest was also cracked. The armor that was brand new not long ago has now become a battle-damaged version. Next, we can only grind slowly and wear this insect to death. The giant insect roared. Stupid human. You can't resist the great zerg. Su Xia. I'm not very good at cursing. So keep fighting. The battle continues. The ground in the forest was shaking. And there was constant roaring. As time goes by, the boss's health is getting less and less. His body is covered in bruises. And even his attack speed has slowed down. He roared while fighting. But unfortunately, he still only knew the word stupid. After more than 20 minutes, the insect was finally consumed by Su Xia until there was only a trace of blood left. Not a great queen. I have failed to live up to your high expectations. He wailed. And his body, that was raised high finally fell. Throwing up countless dust on the ground. Su Xia walked up to him in tattered armor. Held a long sword. Pointed it at his head and said. You have half a minute to say your last words. Stupid humans. Click. Su Xia waved her long sword and took away the last bit of the insect's health. He was a little regretful thinking that the insect could think of words other than stupid before dying. Although this boss's intelligence is not weaker than that of an adult, his level of education is obviously not good enough. He is just a child of prenatal education and is not as good as the parasites that sneaked into the camp before. Those parasites have acquired human memories and they have all kinds of idioms and illusions at their fingertips. Their cultural level is definitely among the top among the Zerd tribe. At the same time, there were fewer and fewer bugs besieging the Oasis camp. It was now obvious that many of the bugs were coming from the southwest. Insect's nest. Su Xia immediately set off and flew into the sky. After this 20-minute rest, Zhang Fang has barely resumed action. He took an injection of analgesics. Put on a set of exoskeleton armor that Ba Xu improvised for him. Fought into the insect swarm again. And shouted, Commander, wait, let's act together. Good. Su Xia descended and waited for a moment. Zhang Fang who was wearing an exoskeleton armor, looked a bit funny. When he moved, his limbs were very wide, like a moving gorilla, and the corners of his mouth twitched from time to time, as if he was still enduring unimaginable pain. After Zhang Fang saw the huge insect corpse in the distance, he sighed, Commander, have you always guessed that there are level 4 creatures in the insect nest? Right. That's why you endured it until you fully recovered yesterday. And then you took action against those parasites? Roughly the same. Su Xia slowed down her flying speed. Zhang Fang sighed. Well, when I left Dragon City, my mentor told me that I must make some achievements and not be compared with other people who left Dragon City. So I was too impatient before. Feel sorry. Fine. Su Xia didn't care at all. Because he had been busy with Coral City. He asked. Mr. Zhang, have you met the leader of Dragon City? I've met him many times and talked to him a few times. Does he have any special hobbies? Su Xia asked. For example, smoking and drinking. Commander, in Dragon City, normal men basically smoke and drink. All right. Su Xia thought for a moment and chopped down a few raiders. He quickly asked. Mr. Zhang, does the leader of Dragon City have any heirs? I don't know about this. Mr. Su has always made a clear distinction between private matters and official matters. Zhang Fang explained. But he seems to have been alone. Maybe his family members died in the previous war between the two clans. I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Zhang Fang was confused and looked at Su Xia strangely. Why does Commander Beifong ask these things? He can't possibly be a long-lost relative of the leader of Dragon City. Right? The two of them communicated and killed insects. And soon entered the forest in the southwest area. After advancing some distance in the forest, the two saw a huge crack. This is it! From time to time, Insects crawled out of the cracks, screaming and pounced on the two of them. Su Xia stood next to the crack and looked down. It was dark below, and she couldn't see the bottom clearly. 
No wonder bugs can see so well in the dark. Su Xia raised her arm, aimed at the crack and fired a flare. Under the crack, a huge underground space instantly appeared before their eyes, and the ground was covered with densely packed insect eggs that had not yet hatched. Just when Su Xia was about to send some nanorobots into test, he suddenly fell into a trance. Chapter 106 The Fall of the Scimitar Commander, are you okay? John Fawn was wary. He just saw Su Xia's body trembling. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged, and she shook her head gently. It's okay. It's probably the mother bug in the nest that's disturbing me. Inside the insect nest, there is an insect mother who is responsible for cultivating insects. Its combat effectiveness is not strong, and its movement speed is very slow. But it has a special mental interference ability. Su Xia sent some nanorobots into the rift for reconnaissance and saw the general situation of the underground space, and then said to Zhang Fang, Let's go! Mr. Zhang, this insect nest has been exhausted. After that, he jumped down. Zhang Fang followed closely, activated the exoskeleton, and jumped down. Boom! Boom! The two landed one after the other. The impact of the landing made Zhang Fang's mouth twitch again, and his body began to hurt again. But soon, he ignored the pain, and was shocked by the inside of this huge insect nest. This, this underground space is unimaginably large, with no end visible to the front, rear, left, or right. The ground was covered with a strange film of flesh and blood, and the cliff above the head was also covered with the film. Bloody tubes of different thicknesses squirmed in the film, as if the entire insect nest was a complete life form. Looking around, the translucent flesh and blood film was covered with fishy eggs. The surface of these eggs is covered with disgusting mucus, and many of them are translucent. With the tactical light of the mecha, you can see the deformed creature surging inside. You are here! A soft voice suddenly came from deep underground. Su Xia and Zhang Fang stayed vigilant, moved forward slowly, and went deeper into the insect nest. The thin film of flesh and blood on the ground was very slippery, like festering rotten flesh. If you stepped on it accidentally, you would slip. From time to time, the hissing of some bugs can be heard around. And occasionally a few bugs can be seen tearing apart the mucous membrane of the eggs and crawling out of the eggs. These images are excellent research material. Zhang Fang takes photos or videos while guarding against insects. He no longer wanted to compete with Su Xia for control of the Oasis camp. As long as he could bring the information about these bugs back to Dragon City, he would not have gained anything from this trip. There are many strange buildings made of flesh and blood around. Every building seemed alive and every piece of flesh and blood on it was squirming. In addition, there are countless stinking corpses of rotting creatures, and many small and deformed insects can be seen burrowing through the corpses. The two of them seem to be walking in the burial chamber of an ancient evil god, shuttling through the decaying and festering bodies of ancient creatures. They endured the discomfort caused by depression and depression. After more than ten minutes, they finally reached the end of this underground insect nest. They met the insect mother. In other words, a mountain of flesh and blood. This mountain of meat clings to the cave wall and extends in all directions. The parts that extend are the thin films of flesh and blood that the two of them had seen before. You are here. The insect mother still said the same thing. The two of them didn't even see her facial features. It seemed that the voice came from inside Roshan. Suddenly, a strange tentacle separated from the mountain of meat and slowly floated in front of Su Xia. Commander, be careful. Zhang Fang's vigilance was instantly raised. The psychic level of this insect mother was only 3.4. But the insects had endless methods. So they couldn't stumble here. Fine! Su Xia was wearing a suit of armor. And this thing couldn't do anything to him. He slapped the tentacle away and said bluntly, You still have half a minute to say your last words. My lord wishes to communicate with you. The insect mother didn't seem to be afraid of death. And the tentacle floated in front of Su Xia again. But Su Xia has no intention of talking nonsense. He didn't know the master of the Zerg tribe. So there was no need to communicate. He swung his sword directly, chopped off the tentacle, and then shouted, Do it! Good! Zhang Fang took action immediately and used all the weapons carried by his temporary exoskeleton. As long as the insect mother is killed, the insect nest will become a dead place and no new insects will come out. The two of them were completely crushing on the insect mother, and the insect mother allowed them to attack without fighting back at all and her health bar was reduced to just a trace almost instantly. Behind the two of them, a large film of flesh and blood gathered together and turned into tentacles, trying to contact Su Xia. 
But Su Xiao was not polite and killed them one by one. In this way, the insect mother died in Su Xiao's hands without leaving any last words. The moment she died, the life breath of the entire insect nest disappeared instantly. Hiss hiss dash. The screams of death struggles came from the countless insect eggs. Those thin films of flesh and blood broke off, fell off, and shrank one by one, like dead plants. At this time, outside the oasis camp, the bugs that were attacking the camp seemed to sense something, and they all roared in pain, and then began to attack the camp even more crazily. Seeing this scene, Xiong Wei felt happy and said loudly, Hold on! The commander has destroyed the insect nest! These are the last insects in front of you! Commander is mighty! Song Zhong shouted excitedly, holding up the Commander Beifong puppet in his hand. The atmosphere of impending victory soon spread throughout the camp, and the soldiers began to cheer. In the cheers, they gave the bullets in their hands to the Zerg that finally rushed towards them. The players also breathed a sigh of relief. Many people's nerves have been tense from the beginning of the war to now, and they have not been offline. They have not even been to the toilet all night. Some players drink too much water before a battle and have to hold it in for a big gamble with their bladders. Bet on whether the Zerg will be wiped out first, or whether their bladders will burst first. Finally one. Pee offline. Ha ha. Same piss. In the end, these bugs couldn't provide much titanium particles, and a large number of players went offline to solve the problem of the upper and lower mouse. What follows is much simpler. Su Xia and Zhang Fang worked together in the insect nest, killing the living insects one by one and smashed countless more active eggs. Then the two began to search in the mountains and forests, one in the sky and the other on the ground, looking for bugs that might still be alive. Before dawn, the bugs besieging the oasis camp were basically wiped out. There were no more traces of living insects in the surrounding forest. Oh, it's finally over! Xiong Wei stood in front of a bunker. His eyes were red, and he was physically and mentally tired. Looking around, there were dead bodies of insects everywhere. For the human race, this is a great victory, but the price of victory is painful. Countless soldiers fell before dawn, and many of their bodies could not even be found. They were either blown to pieces by artillery fire or eaten by insects. A makeshift hospital was set up in the center of the camp and was filled with the wounded. Some had broken hands, some had broken legs, and some had no limbs. But they tried their best to suppress their pain and squeeze out a smile, hoping to add joy to this hard-won victory. Su Xiao personally went to the hospital to express condolences to all the injured. Then, he went to the underground living space and picked out the old, weak, sick and disabled people inside. Come out! Kids! We're safe! After this battle, there were many more orphans in the Oasis camp. Many children have lost their parents. Some very young children were relatively naive. They pulled Su Xiao and asked, Commander, why do we have to fight the bugs? As long as we don't fight. Everyone will not die. Because I have to fight. Su Xiao knelt down and looked at these children. The enemy has provoked us again and again. And tonight, he has arrived at our doorstep. Can we retreat? Cannot. Yes. We can't retreat. Su Xiao's tone was very serious. The Zerg are a very aggressive race. They will only cause destruction in the world. As long as they exist for one day. The world cannot be truly peaceful. Commander. I understand. As long as you know. Su Xia changed her smile and touched the little heads of these children. The Zerg race and the machine race. The two races are eyeing each other. The human race is in a very difficult situation in this world. In this cruel world, friends who met one day may be separated from each other the next day. After finally overcoming the insect infestation tonight, Su Xia received another cruel news before she even had time to go offline and have something to eat. Commander, something happened. Xiong Wei suddenly ran over and pulled Su Xia aside. What happened again? The scimitar organization is gone. Um? Su Xia was stunned. Was it the scimitar organization that accepted the refugees last night? Xiong Wei also just got the news. He said anxiously. Just tonight, when we were resisting the insect tide, Coral City suddenly sent troops. They somehow got the hiding place of the scimitar organization. Everyone is gone. Su Xia's heart sank, thinking of those refugees. Xiong Wei handed the news information to Su Xia and shook his head. Coral City has released news that they have captured a few leaders of the Scimitar organization alive and are preparing to broadcast their execution live in the Central Square at noon tomorrow. Hearing this, Su Xia immediately understood Coral City's intentions. It was a demonstration and a trap. Chapter 107 The Call from the Void 
Oasis Camp, Temporary Meeting Room. The atmosphere is very subtle. The joy of victory and the sorrow of death intertwined in the air. And now there was also an uneasiness about the fall of the Scimitar organization. The old chandelier swayed gently at the top, reflecting the dim shadows of everyone. Su Xia sat near the door, frowning slightly, reading the existing information in detail, and then passed it to the blue light next to her. He raised his head and asked Zhang Fong. Mr. Zhang, has Long Chung sent anyone to the Scimitar organization's location? Have. Zhang Fong's answer was affirmative. He would not lie about this kind of thing. In this way, as long as the Scimitar organization station does not face threats such as pest infestation, they should have moved on the advice of the Dragon City Envoy. With the presence of the undead, all stations are at risk of exposure, Zhang Fong explained. So when the station is transferred, all undead people will be deliberately discarded. Does Dragon City have a way to distinguish the undead? Su Xia's eyes were calm, and she got to the point. He can see the nicknames above the heads of all players. But no one else in the camp can see them. Zhang Fan shook his head, slightly ashamed. Currently there is no way to distinguish between ordinary humans and undead. Those undead are like humans in another world. Well, that's a good statement. But in every resistance organization station, there are people responsible for the statistical work of the members in the station. As long as they are compared one by one, they can be distinguished. So it stands to reason. John Fong looked helpless. Logically speaking, the location of the Scimitar organization would not be exposed. Unless the Scimitar organization, like the old Beifong organization, has a traitor within. Or, just in the early hours of yesterday, mass strangers caused a havoc in Coral City and rescued many refugees. Later, a large number of oppressed refugees chose to flee Coral City. The Scimitar organization accepted many of them. I suspect that there may be undead among those refugees. Inside, Zhang Fan looked at everyone and expressed his thoughts. After this period of contact, everyone understands that the undead are basically profit-seeking people. They will help whoever offers more benefits. Among the huge number of undead, there will always be people who, for the sake of profit, will find out the location of the resistance organizations in the wilderness, and then sell this information to the mechanical tribe. What Zhang Fang said made sense. Even Su Xiao nodded slightly. Xiong Wei thought for a moment, knocked on the table and said, Yesterday, more than ten organizations accepted refugees. From this, those organizations are in danger. Lan Guang said, The masked stranger is very mysterious. I have never heard of this person before. And it is incredible that he can escape from U2O's hands. Now many resistance organizations are in danger because of the refugees he brought. Among them, you say, Will he be a rebellious figure deliberately created by the machine tribe? What Blu-ray means is that the previous turmoil in Coral City was directed and staged by the machine tribe. It sounds possible. The turmoil was really weird. In the conference room, everyone looked at each other. As long as the masked stranger is made into a rebel organization's flagship figure like North Wind Commander and used, the machine race can easily wipe out all the resistance organizations in the wilderness. Su Xia remained silent and said nothing. It's normal to be suspicious. After all, no one would easily trust a person wearing a mask. The machine race doesn't take the lives of ordinary humans at all. It sounds quite reasonable to use the lives of half of the human management of the entire Coral City to train an undercover agent with a high reputation in the resistance organization. Let's not talk about the masked weirdo for now. Xiong Wei suppressed the topic. Everyone, at noon tomorrow, Coral City will broadcast the execution process live throughout the city and other surrounding cities can also see the broadcast content. There will be people around the central square. It's heavily guarded. And there's no way to save those people from the Scimitar organization. As the manager of the Oasis camp, his words set the tone for the rest of the conversation. When Commander Beifong was captured, Xiong Wei also made the decision not to rescue, because he didn't have the strength. But the remaining resistance groups can still be saved. Next, the entire meeting revolved around how to protect the remaining resistance organizations. In the end, everyone temporarily discussed a strategy of one overt and one covert, so that the rest of the resistance organizations took most of their original members away from the station and hid in the dark. On the surface, only a handful of people are left in the camp, continuing to live with the refugees. Oh, that's it for the time being, Xiong Wei sighed. It's okay if we know the live broadcast tomorrow. Don't tell other members in the camp. We have just emerged from the threat of the Zerg. It is painful to watch one of your compatriots being executed. 
Coral City's massive publicity was intended to have a deterrent effect on the remaining resistance groups in the wilderness. At the same time, some people in the city were speculating that the reason why Coral City gave such details about the time and location was to fish out the masked stranger. As Su Xiao thought, this execution was both a deterrent and a trap. After the meeting, Su Xiao returned to the warehouse, where he stored supplies, and quietly waited for the task prompts. Strange. Why haven't the mission rewards been distributed yet? The mission of saving the Oasis camp takes a long time and involves huge casualties. So the mission reward must be quite generous. Su Xia has been waiting. After the destruction of the insect nest, there is no result yet. He sat on the old sofa without turning on the light. And the warehouse was dark. Suddenly, there was a soft sound from the corner of the warehouse. Click. Su Xia was alert. Immediately got up from the sofa and turned on the tactical flashlight. Under strong light, things in the corners are invisible. It turned out to be a bug. Although it was only a low-level swift insect. It somehow managed to bypass the guards at the camp and deceive Su Xia's perception. It had been quietly lurking in the warehouse until it showed up now. Hiss. It lowered its head slightly. Without showing any hostility. And approached Su Xia little by little. But even if there was no hostility, Su Xia did not intend to let him go. Su Xia directly took out the psychic weapon from her waist and injected it with psychic energy, aiming to kill with one strike. At the same time, countless nano robots flowed slowly like water, forming an invisible wall behind and to the left and right of the bug. The eyes of this bug are very different from other bugs. There is no fierce look in the eyes, but it is very calm. It walked in front of Su Xia, like a puppy, slowly squatted down and raised its paws. Hello, human. It actually spoke. Su Xiao was about to take action. But the world in front of her suddenly changed. The walls and ceiling of the warehouse disappeared. And the surrounding area was dark. This is where? Gray mist billows in the distant darkness. There were many strange sounds in the mist. Like the incoherent mumblings of countless insane patients. Or the whispers of ancient creatures in the void. Full of evil and chaos. One after another. Deformed tentacles surged in the thick fog like twisted forbidden snakes or cursed mythical creatures, which is difficult to describe. Those tentacles approached Su Xia little by little, revealing a huge and terrifying true body from the thick fog. It is an abnormal creature that humans can never understand and imagine. Its body is constantly changing, sometimes like a swollen and disgusting giant corpse, sometimes like a deformed and abominable demon, as if it comes from the deepest fear dream. Just looking at its appearance, Su Xia's brain felt dizzy and she almost walked towards its tentacles uncontrollably. What happened? Don't be afraid. We are all one of the amazing creatures of this universe. The amorphous terrifying monster spoke, and the voice was ethereal and vague, as if it came from the distant void. Su Xia took a deep breath, raised her head and asked calmly, What do you want from me? If nothing happens, I'll leave first. His psychic talent, death prophecy, did not sound the alarm. After taking half a step back, his heels touched the old sofa. Su Xia understood that she was still in the warehouse. But she was hallucinating. And she was completely safe. The other party also seemed to intend to make him feel safe and not show any malice. So as to ensure that the conversation went smoothly. If Su Xia guessed correctly, this guy should be the so-called queen of the Zerg. Looks rather heavy-tongued. It's not the same as the queen Su Xia imagined. The huge monster began to speak. The Zerg race is a natural evolutionary choice and it is different from both the human race and the mechanical race. As he told it, the hallucinatory world around Su Xia changed. The darkness and fog disappeared. He was in a primeval forest. Tall trees blocked the sky, and countless birds and animals were playing in the jungle. At his feet, there was a pool of blue liquid, which seemed to be the most primitive spiritual energy that had not been purified. A small animal that looked like a mouse jumped up to the puddle of liquid. Its little nose twitched, and it sniffed carefully then licked it. Gigi! It suddenly fell to the ground in pain. Its limbs pulled out. Its tail trembled. And terrifying blue veins appeared on its surface. Then, its body began to swell. And the gray hair on its surface fell off in bits. The original teeth were replaced by terrifying canines. Its limbs also became stronger. And its new claws were extremely sharp. When it stopped twitching, Su Xia could no longer see its original appearance. Its eyes became narrow and long. Its gaze fierce its skin gray and rough, and its overall size was more than twice as big as before. Hiss! It swooped forward, knocked down a rabbit-like animal, and began to eat crazily. Then, 
Time seemed to speed up. Su Xia saw more and more animals absorbing spiritual energy, starting to mutate, evolve, and become another completely different creature. They lost their soft fur and developed thicker and harder carapace. And their fangs and claws became more and more terrifying. The entire planet was enveloped by the power of spiritual evolution. And the mutated creatures on the planet began to fight and devour each other. The stronger ones became stronger. And the weaker ones were eliminated. When it finally stabilized, only a dozen races remained. The appearance of some of these races is somewhat similar to the bug Su Xia saw last night. Chapter 108 Will He Appear? The scene you are seeing happened on a certain planet. The monster spoke again, with an erratic voice. The same evolutionary process has happened on many planets. And the remaining races are generally similar. Have you seen these pictures with your own eyes? No. It was given to me by the queen. It is a memory inherited by every queen. So you are not the queen of Zerg. Su Xiao was immediately relieved. This monster was so ugly that it was difficult to distinguish its gender. How could it be the legendary queen? It seemed to know what Su Xiao was thinking. And was not angry. It just said, The queen was seriously injured and cannot come forward now. Maybe you can see her in the future. The only one who could seriously injure the insect queen was the legendary mechanical master Eiffel. Su Xia thought about the scene she saw before and understood what this guy meant. So you think the Zerg is the final form of psychic evolution? You can say that. This conclusion is a bit hasty. Su Xia spread her hands. The human race can absorb spiritual energy. And its appearance will not mutate and looks more stable. Therefore, the human race can also be the final form of this path. But can humans develop psychic powers? The amorphous monster asked the question. Su Xia was speechless. Judging from the current situation, it seems to be a bit difficult. The monster said, In the Zerg body, there will be a steady increase in psychic energy. You found me just to show the orthodoxy of the Zerg tribe? Su Xia directly dismissed the topic. It's useless for you to tell me. The Zerg has nothing to do with me. Don't you want to know where the Zerg around the Oasis camp come from? The other party asked another question. This question actually interested Su Xia. Not long after the advent of psychic energy, the human race and the machine race began an endless war. But the bugs have always been very low-key. As if they don't exist. Of course. The original Zerg evolved from wild animal mutations and took some time to grow. But until now, the bug has kept a low profile. This resulted in that many people in the Oasis camp had never seen the Zerg before the parasite appeared. I have never even met the leaders of many organizations. So only Lan Guang, who is well informed, knows a little about the situation of the Zerg. So they were surprised by the bug's appearance. There are very few spiritual powers on this planet. But the machine tribe needs to develop. So they noticed our tribe. The monster said, Not long after that, the machine tribe invaded my homeland. And my proud people became as a slave. Why does this line sound familiar? Su Xia thought of the opening animation of this game. The human race's lines were similar to this. The hallucination picture in front of him suddenly changed and turned into a huge laboratory. In the laboratory, he saw countless times of imprisoned bugs. A smaller tube was inserted into the bugs, and the other end of the tube was connected to an oval metal container. This scene is very familiar to Su Xia extracting spiritual energy. The entire laboratory echoed with the screams of insects. Even the huge giant god insect cannot escape. His whole body is imprisoned by shackles made of alloy, and he can only be reduced to a living spiritual energy supplier. The laboratory you see now is underground in Coral City. Huh? Su Xia was startled. Are there so many things underground in Coral City? First there are the pleasure manners of the rich. And then, there are laboratories where countless bugs are imprisoned. What will come next? This city is not simple. And neither is the mechanical city Lord Utul. And the insect mother you saw today escaped from the Coral City underground not long ago. I see. No wonder. There had never been bugs in this area before. But now they suddenly appeared. It's all the machine race that's causing trouble. The monster waved its tentacles. Its body shape changed strangely. And asked Su Xia, What do you think? What do you mean? Su Xia is a smart person. You want to talk about cooperation with me? In this case? We just had a fight. We have a common enemy. Yes. But we are also enemies. The so-called enemy of my enemy is my friend is based on the same race. Both sides are of different races and have conflicting interests. Once they meet, it will definitely be a fight to the death. Su Xia is not stupid. He will not seek skin from a tiger. The bugs on this planet are only temporarily weak. They haven't evolved long enough. Once they are given enough time, 
Neither the human race nor the mechanical race combined will be able to stop them. Su Xia calmly refused. If you really want to talk about cooperation, go to those seven large organizations. There is no need to talk to me. Those seven organizations? They are busy fighting among themselves and will destroy themselves before long. Don't place your hopes on them. Even the insects are aware of the infighting of the human race. How serious is the infighting? At this moment, the laboratory hallucination around Su Xia began to fade. The voice of the huge, deformed monster began to drift away. I know you will refuse now, but please believe in our tacit understanding. In the near future, we may accidentally achieve the same goal. Su Xia, he didn't want to have any tacit understanding with this indescribable monster. But just before those laboratory hallucinations completely dissipated, Su Xia suddenly noticed that in the corner of the laboratory, a tiny crack appeared on the alloy shackles that imprisoned a certain giant god insect. Huh? None of the experimenters in the laboratory noticed. Coral City is in danger. The hallucination disappears completely. Su Xiao was still standing in the dark warehouse. And everything that just happened was like a game cut scene. Only the corpse of the swift bug in front of him could prove that those conversations actually existed. He carried the insect corpse, opened the warehouse door, threw it to the soldier next to him, and said, Send this corpse to the recycling center. At least we can extract some psychic energy from the glands. Yes. The warrior paid respects to Su Xia and then hurried away with the insect corpse. Su Xia glanced at the sky, turned around and walked towards the new Beifong organization station nearby. Many injured members did not go to the makeshift hospital, but were treated inside the station. As soon as she walked into the warehouse of the station, Su Xiaojian saw Wang Xiaojue covered in blood. Why did this unlucky kid hurt his stomach again? The last time he fought with a lame wolf mercenary in the wilderness. This guy injured his stomach. At the time, he thought he was going to die and made a very shameful last statement about his girlfriend. Wang Xiuqiu was lying on the hospital bed near the door. The bandage on his stomach was bleeding. He was sweating profusely in pain. It seemed that he had not received any painkilling injection. Sister you, sister you, tell me, do I still have hope? How long can I live? His hands were trembling and he kept pulling on Zheng Yu's sleeves. Many of the wounded around him looked at him with subtle expressions. Zheng Yu was wearing a medical uniform, with a solemn look on her pretty face. She sat beside Wang Xiaochui's hospital bed, gently shook her head and said, Xiaochui, do you know that time is money? Wang Xiaochui nodded hurriedly. I know. You're broke. Ah? Uh? Wang Xiaochui's face turned pale. He had no time? Is he really going to die this time? Zheng Yu sighed softly, stood up and said, Xiaochui, the commander is here. Do you have any last words for the commander? Hearing this, the eyes of the other wounded people around him lit up and their ears pricked up. They wanted to hear Wang Xiaochui's classic last words with their own ears. Okay, Xiaochui is still a child. Don't scare him. Su Xia reluctantly walked to the bedside. How could he not know what these guys were thinking? Too many compatriots died that night. And the atmosphere in the camp was depressing. Everyone was trying to find ways to liven up the atmosphere and make everyone forget the pain. When Wang Xiaochui saw Su Xia, he seemed to have seen a life-saving straw and asked anxiously, Commander, can I still be saved? Don't worry. It's not a fatal injury. Su Xia briefly comforted Wang Xiaochui. Not long after, Ba Xu from the repair shop also came. He recognized Wang Xiaochui as his adopted son. And the two were now in a father-son relationship. So naturally he wanted to visit. If Wang Xiaochui can learn Ba Xu's skills, there will be a fourth-level mechanic in the Beifeng organization. Su Xia said to Xu Cheng, Ba Xu, my armor may need to be repaired. It is damaged by hundreds of millions of points. No problem. Leave it to me. Xu Cheng agreed without even thinking about it. Later, Su Xia asked everyone about their injuries one by one. After everything was over, it was already dark. Su Xia returned to her large warehouse, sat on the sofa, waited for a while, and then looked at the time. Why haven't the rewards for the mission to save the Oasis camp been paid yet? Is Goodwill defaulting on salary? He had no choice but to activate the bracelet first and to send into the clone in the Coral City Pharmacy. The destruction of the Scimitar organization must have something to do with the players. Su Xia must figure out the situation. If there is a chance, he will try to save the remaining members of the Scimitar organization while ensuring his own safety. Insect infestation is also a big problem in this Coral City. The mechanical tribe thought they could always control these bugs and squeeze their spiritual energy. But they were obviously wrong with thousands of ordinary human residents in the city. 
an outbreak of an insect infestation would be devastating. Time passed, and it came to seven o'clock in the morning. The aroma of breakfast wafted through the pharmacy as usual. Outside the store, the number of patrolling soldiers has not decreased, and the atmosphere remains tense. On TV, the anchor of the morning news seemed very happy and announced to people, My compatriots, just early this morning, we made a major harvest. After hearing the news, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu felt uncomfortable, and they didn't even feel like eating anymore. The last time I felt this uncomfortable was when Commander Beifong was captured. How could this happen? Hong Bafu was puzzled. Is there a traitor within the Scimitar organization? But the traitor should be promoted as a hero by Coral City. Lan Bafu asked. Brother Hong, do you think the masked stranger will come out to save people? He might come, but I hope he doesn't. Chapter 109 The Wrath of the Undead This is a trap. Anyone with a clear, I can see that Coral City is waiting for the masked stranger. Whether he comes or not, the butcher's knife is there. The Scimitar organization has been established for many years. Although it is not as good as the old Beifong organization, it is also somewhat famous in the wilderness. The demise of this organization was a heavy blow to the resistance forces. Eat in peace. Don't think too much. Dad knocked on the table with a serious expression. Yes. The three of them began to eat with their heads down. Ever since Yutua came, Hong Bafu has been much more careful when speaking. And his voice is not as loud as before. Lan Bafu is still relatively reserved. The two brothers were wondering whether the masked stranger would show up to save people. And Su Xiao was also thinking about it herself. Acting rashly is just courting death. He still needs more information. Fortunately, he still has a whole day today. After breakfast, the three of them continued to refine the potion. Today is still a day without orders. Most of the old customers have been slaughtered by Su Xia, and the new customers are busy dealing with various affairs after the chaos in Coral City has calmed down and have no time to enjoy the potion. After more than 10 minutes, Su Xia handed over her body to the bracelet and logged off to have breakfast. What he didn't expect was that all the roommates in the dormitory got up. Not only were they all up, but every one of them seemed to have been given a shot of blood. Their fingers were flying on the keyboard and their faces were a little ferocious. Why did you get up so early today? Su Xia pulled out a box of Earth Force frames from the cabinet and came behind Li Difu. Li Difu's hair was messy and slightly greasy. His eyes were bloodshot, and his dark circles were thick enough to rival those of a panda in the zoo. He was obviously in a state of severe sleep deprivation, but his spirit was extremely high, as if he had just drank a few large bottles of Red Bull, and his fingers on the keyboard were all blurred. I thought you were forming a group to fight for the boss. But I didn't expect you were fighting with people on the forum. After seeing the content on Lee Difu's computer screen, Su Xia was surprised. Not only Lee Difu, but also the other roommates were quarreling with each other on the forum. They are all veterans of scolding battles. And they don't use the same name to scold anyone. Although they are just ordinary college students on the surface. They secretly have a mysterious identity of Internet opinion leaders. I often fight with people online and the place where they were arguing with other players was a post on the Looking at the Stars Game Forum. The title of this post is called As long as you provide the location of a resistance organization, you can exchange it for a set of top-notch equipment at the Coral City NPC. Come and get the benefits. Brothers, the poster's name is Four Seasons Rice. The player wrote in detail in the post. Not long ago, I provided the location of the Scimitar organization to Chi Lang, the human city lord of Coral City and got a set of top-notch equipment from him that cannot be bought with money at this stage. The equipment the properties are as follows. Below is a long list of screenshots. The equipment in the pictures is unimaginable for players at this stage. Anyone who is a normal player will be extremely greedy for this set of equipment. The Four Seasons Rise continued. I have gained Chi Lang's trust and have entered the core management of Coral City. I have my own undead management department, which is responsible for the transfer of players. As long as you want to become a strong if you are interested, then come join us. This set of posts was made two hours ago in the early morning. There are already an astonishing tens of thousands of replies below. If it were just a peaceful discussion, it would be impossible to discuss tens of thousands of pieces of information in such a short period of time. 99% of the information is generated by the two parties' confrontation. One of the parties, represented by Lee Difu and others, immediately started complaining after reading the post. I don't even want to be a fool. I've tricked so many people just for a set of equipment. Previously, Su Xia used the identity of a masked stranger to reveal the disgusting rule of Coral City to the players. 
many players didn't have a good impression of the mechanical race to begin with. And after getting some inside information, they became even more disgusted with them. But some people responded, Those in the game are not real people. They are just data. What's wrong with using some data to exchange for equipment? Others expressed support. As long as I can get rich overnight, let alone games, I can accept even if a thousand people who have nothing to do with me die in reality. In this way, two groups of people with different views began to quarrel with each other under this post. The fighting power of both sides is extremely strong. They sprayed for a full two hours, and their firepower has not diminished to this day. Li Difu saw this post when he got up to pee. So he woke up everyone in the dormitory except Su Xia, and immediately logged into the forum to join the scolding war. Brother Su, you are a civilized person. It seems that you have never scolded anyone, Li Difu said. That's why I didn't call you. This kind of thing is fine for us vulgar people. I see. When it comes to the art of language, Su Xia is really no match for these roommates. Coral City has also begun to take advantage of players, which Su Xia had expected. Players who can resurrect from the dead and can be online at high intensity 24 hours a day are simply the most perfect consumable materials. Su Xia chewed on the soil frame, thinking about the situation in Coral City and watching Li Difu's trolling art. I saw Li Difu's fingers flying, and he said to his opponent, Are you still surfing the internet? The crematorium called and said that your mother has stuck to the pan. Go and have a look. The opponent replied, You stupid star dot. Li Difu. That's it? You only know this sentence over and over again? Can you use your brain to make up a few new words? You can't bear to use your brain. So you can keep it as a legacy? Opponent Yu. Su Xia only had time to eat an earth strength stand. While Lady Fu's opponents changed several times. He took apart another earth force frame and went to look at the other roommates. And found that these guys ones were extremely powerful. Sharp. Su Xia could only praise him a few times for his specialization in the art industry. After breakfast, Su Xia took the teaching materials and went to the teaching building to attend this morning's class. During class, he has been paying attention to the trends in games and forums. Gradually, everything that happened in the early morning became clear. It turns out that this guy named C.G. Dao did not sneak into the Scimitar organization with many refugees. Su Xia knew the details. He chose a random start. He was one of the players who came to the Scimitar organization station. Soon after the server was launched, he recognized the owner of an equipment repair shop belonging to the Scimitar organization as his teacher and became a repairman profession. Mechanical repairman is also a golden profession. As long as it develops well. Its earning power in the later period will not be worse than Su Xia's pharmacist. After that, the messenger from Dragon City came and asked the Scimitar organization to move its location and leave all the players behind. Logically speaking, for seasons rice should also be left behind. But he worked hard with the NPC teacher and finally got a transfer place. And moved to a new location with many NPCs. Then, through helping refugees. He obtained a safe route from the Scimitar station to Coral City. Everything after that is simple. He sneaked out of the Scimitar organization station and used the safe route to avoid countless monsters and wandering mercenaries in the wilderness. He successfully arrived in Coral City and found the notorious Zhao Si. Sure enough, we have the same smell. On the forum, Sijideo did not feel guilty for betraying his teacher and the organization. Instead, he felt proud he also wrote a detailed guide, including how to approach important NPCs, how to deceive NPCs' trust, etc. He also said, tomorrow at noon, he will personally hang his teacher on the gallows. He hopes that everyone will watch and support him. That old guy has been refusing to teach me the new equipment repair blueprints. Let's see how I torture him tomorrow. After reading CG Dao's post, Su Xia's face turned ugly, and she felt a strong sense of disgust. Put yourself in his shoes, if he were Sijideo's teacher, I don't know how sad it would be now. His apprentice betrayed his organization and killed countless people. Under that post, there were actually countless players who supported it and put forward various opinions to Sijideo. One player said, It would be too boring to just hang him. Why don't you ask the Lord of Coral City to torture him a little bit? Such as cutting off his body piece by piece? Someone below echoed, Yes, everyone wants to see something good. It's a game character anyway and the game company doesn't know how to code. So you can play it however you want. Perhaps the following replies were so shocking that the post was quickly locked by the forum administrator. Looking at those bloody words, those who didn't know thought it was a group of wandering mercenary incarnation players leaving messages below. 
in the matter before. The rich man Su John was right. Many people in this world have twisted sides in their hearts. But they just can't find a channel to vent them. Chapter 110 Confrontation After school, Su Xia returned to the dormitory. Several roommates were tired of scolding. So they logged into the game and started doing some daily tasks. Through communication with them, Su Xia learned that Coral City's undead management department has officially begun operations. The direct superior of CG Dao was Zhao Si. After the post on the forum went viral, in just half a day, more than 300 players joined this department, and each of them received 500 monthly activity funds, although calculated in proportion. In reality, it is only 50 yuan, but the money is not free, and the number of players joining this department is gradually rising, so much so that several large game unions that have descended on Coral City are feeling the pressure. Money is indeed everything. Su Xia sighed and went online, continuing to make potions in the pharmacy. The change is brought about by players. The upcoming insect infestation in Coral City. The internal struggle in Dragon City. And the execution at noon tomorrow all gave Su Xia a sense of urgency. The human race in this world is in danger. He was worried that Dragon City would collapse from within before he could find his old father. Time in this world will not stop because of one person. He must become stronger quickly and raise the level of the pharmacist at the same time. Time passed and slowly came to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is just right. Su Xia turned on her phone and instantly received more than 10 messages. All from EMO. These messages probably all asked him one question. Dead or not? I'm still alive. Su Xia wrote back to EMO. Regarding the Scimitar organization. Will Beifeng's story have any plans to take action? EMO replied. First prove that you are a masked weirdo. Su Xia. How to prove it? Yemo. When is my birthday? Su Xia. How could I know? After a while, Yemo sent another message. Is it convenient to answer the phone? Su Xia replied. It's inconvenient. I'm at my friend's house, and he doesn't know my identity. Yemo. Okay. See you tonight. The agreement to meet shows that Beifeng's story has the intention to take action. Hong Bafu glanced at Su Xia, who was playing with her cell phone with her head down, and asked in a low voice. Brother Su, are you sending a message to my sister? Um. Su Xia did not deny it. Come on. Hong Bafu encouraged. I will give you a big red envelope on your wedding day. Su Xia. He didn't want to explain and continued to make the potion. But at this moment, the bracelet suddenly alerted him. It is detected that Zhang Fang is calling you outside the warehouse. Are you coming to the Oasis camp? Shouldn't Zhang Fang just lie down and recuperate? What can happen now? Su Xia chose yes and immediately returned to the commander account. Zhang Fang was seriously injured, and few bones in his body were intact. In the early hours of the morning, he was almost unable to move. He could only take painkiller injections and rely on the temporary exoskeleton suit provided by Ba Xu. So after the meeting, he immediately went to the hospital to lie down. But when Su Xia opened the warehouse door, she saw a lively Zhang Fang. Mr. Zhang, are your injuries healed? Su Xia was confused. It had only been a long time. Is this guy's healing skill so strong? Players have the ability to recover quickly. And even if they cannot recover, they can directly self-destruct and regenerate. But Zhang Fang is just a native of this world. Even if he has level 3.8 psychic powers, he won't get better so quickly. Commander, don't you feel it? Zhang Fang walked into the warehouse and took off his clothes, revealing his strong muscles. Seeing this, Su Xiao was shocked and immediately took several steps back. Commander, don't be afraid. Zhang Fang knew that he had misunderstood. So he waved his hand hurriedly and said, Look, not a single scar on my body is gone. I saw. Su Xia still didn't understand what this guy meant. Is this Dragon City's recovery skill? No. Commander, this is the effect of titanium particles. Do you really feel nothing? This, Su Xia was basically uninjured last night. And all the injuries were absorbed by the armor. Zhang Fang put on his clothes and said excitedly. After the appearance of titanium particles, Long Chung has been studying the difference between this kind of particle evolution and psychic evolution. In the past, I only knew that the path of particle evolution was relatively weak. But today I discovered that this the main function of this evolutionary path should be to strengthen the body. Previously, both of them had killed seven in and seven out of the sea of insects, killing monsters all night long. And almost all of them were mid-level and high-level bugs. Their level is the fastest. Su Xia's titanium particle level has reached level 23. 
and Zhang Fang has also reached level 20, which is far higher than the current player level. At low levels, these titanium particles are of little use to them. But now that the level is higher, the effect finally begins to show. Zhang Fang said, Commander, although psychic energy can increase physical strength, it is mainly used to attack the enemy, such as condensing into a defensive shield, releasing attack skills, controlling objects outside the body, etc. But the titanium particles almost all act on myself. Not only has my recovery ability become stronger, but my strength has also improved a lot. I feel like I can punch through the steel plate of this warehouse door now. Oh, Su Xia was thoughtful. It's just a punch that punches through the steel plate. Normal people can do it when they are extremely angry. It doesn't sound like anything great. He clenched his fist hard. Without using his spiritual energy, his physical strength was indeed much stronger. Zhang Fang asked, Commander, how do you feel? Are you feeling the same as me? Su Xian nodded. Well, almost. The body's own strength has been strengthened. Very good. The two people feel similar. So this should be the commonality in the evolutionary path of titanium particles. Not only strength, but also speed, physical strength, self-healing ability, etc. have all been improved. If the level were higher, maybe they wouldn't need to use psychic powers and could fight monsters in the wilderness with only physical strength. Mr. Zhang, are you going to write a research report? Su Xia asked. That's right. Zhang Fang replied seriously. Currently, the human race is in decline, and most psychic powers are in the hands of the mechanical race. This new evolutionary path may be the hope for the human race to reverse the situation. Although this guy's thoughts are different from Su Xia's, they are all for the good of the human race after all. Su Xia thought for a while took this opportunity, and asked tentatively, Mr. Zhang, is there any factional strife within Longchang? This, Zhang Fang's tone was stagnant, and he looked troubled. He lowered his head slightly, and said with difficulty, Yes, Dragon City is actually not as good as outsiders imagined. The internal conflicts have become so serious that they cannot be reconciled. The city is now divided into three forces. Among them, City Lord Su is still the largest, but now you know how long you can suppress the other two forces. Once the conflict completely breaks out, he sighed and said no more. The seemingly powerful Dragon City may fall apart overnight. The current City Lord Su Yulong is a level 5 psychic creature, and the leaders of the other two forces are also level 5. The gap between the three parties is not too big. Su Xia understood. It seemed that his old father's situation was not optimistic. Zhang Fang looked sad. I have lived in Dragon City for too long. And I am surrounded by people who are full of intrigues. When I came to the Oasis camp before, I thought you had the same character. But I was wrong. In this humble little place, he saw a cohesion and a spirit of sacrifice that he had never seen before. Countless warriors are willing to sacrifice their lives. All just for the sake of humanity. Commander, I'm going back to do research first. Zhang Fang said. If you still want to know the specific situation of Dragon City, you can come to me at any time. Okay. Mr. Zhang, walk slowly. Su Xia stood by the warehouse door and watched Zhang Fang leave. In the Oasis camp, post-war reconstruction work has begun, and everything is in order. Players were given many tasks, such as transporting stone, cutting wood, stripping zerg glands, clearing forest areas, etc. Su Xia promised before that she would give psychic potions to several players who performed well. Now he almost has a candidate in mind. He turned back to the warehouse closed the door, and took out an intermediate psychic potion. When raiding the warehouses of wandering mercenaries, a total of seven intermediate potions were found. But because the bugs arrived too quickly, there was no time to inject them. Su Xia planned to try to break through to level 4 while she was all injected now. But at this moment, the bracelet sent another message. It has been detected that your roommate is calling you from Earth. Will you return to Earth? Su Xia had no choice but to put down the potion and click yes. It was only around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And a few guys in the dormitory were probably forming a group to kill monsters. What could they do to him? Su Xia sat up from the bed, opened the bed curtain, and asked, What happened? Brother Su, come to the mine quickly. We are starting a fight with someone. Yu Wen Chukshu, the room chief, said, With whom? It's the team from Four Seasons Rice. He brought more than a hundred people with him and wanted to include the mine leveling map. I'll come right away. Su Xia immediately turned on the computer and went online, logging into her pharmacist account. In this large-scale online game, 
PK between players is inevitable. The opponent is actually Four Seasons Rice. In the morning, a few guys in the dormitory just scolded each other. Su Xia stood up from the pharmacy and said to her father, Teacher, something happened to a friend of mine. I'm going out. Go ahead. Leave early and come back early. Dad didn't ask anything, didn't even raise his head, and looked at the newspaper in his hand calmly. Then Hong Bafu asked, Brother, what's the matter? Do you need help? It's a small matter. Just a fight. We must win. Good. Su Xiao left in a hurry and rushed to the location of the mine. His legs were too slow. So he simply took a taxi. With his status as a pharmacist, soldiers on the street would hardly stop him. Outside the mine, the two parties were at war with each other. Several roommates have not been idle during this time and have been recruiting people. They have expanded the Bikibo team to more than 30 people. These 30 people are all around level 10 firmly occupying the first echelon of player levels. It can be said that all members are elite. In addition to the Bikini Castle team, there are two other small teams standing with Lee Defu and the others. The three small teams combined, totaling more than 100 people, faced off against CG Dao's team. But there are more and more people here in Sijideo. Dear friends, this leveling area cannot accommodate so many people. So please leave. CG Dao was dressed in indiable and well-prepared clothes looking confident and smiling, standing at the front of his team. As a player, he entered the management of Coral City, and now he feels like a successful person. But Lee Defu and others are not good-tempered. Lee Defu stepped forward directly, raised his middle finger, and mocked mercilessly, telling out your teacher's rubbish. Chapter 111 A Mere Pharmacist When it comes to the ability to curse people, Sijideo is not weak either. But Sijideo has now climbed to a high position, maintained its own identity, and has a large team of players. So there is no need to waste words anymore. He said with a smile. You can get this equipment by selling a bunch of data. If it were you, wouldn't you do it? Oh, you must be nobler than me. As he said this, he clapped his hands playfully, taunting him back in this way. There is a price to pay for being arrogant. Sijideo smiled and added. In this world, many people are poor because the money they earn is so clean. Do you kids understand? Li Difu said with a serious face. Please don't laugh. I saw mental patients when I was a child. And your appearance makes me a little scared. Four Seasons Rice. The smile on his face slowly faded. And his eyes became cold. In just a few minutes, the player team behind him has gathered more than 200 people. Although the strength is uneven. The number is here. The server has just been launched not long ago. And ordinary high-level players can only fight two or three at most. And the gap between them and low-level players has not been completely widened. On the other hand, look at Lady Few. Although they are more elite than the more than 30 people in the Chibao team, the other two small teams in the alliance are slightly weaker. There are even several level 1 newbies inside. These two small teams are called Frozen Cross and Six Heaven, respectively. Ice Thunder, the captain of Frozen Cross, walked up to Lady Few and asked, Brother Patrick Starr, that pharmacist friend you mentioned, will he really come? It will definitely come. Lee Defu, whose game nickname is Blind Stupid Star, gave Bing Lei a very positive tone. There is no teleportation array in this crappy game. And the map relies entirely on running on two legs. So you have to wait. Lee Defu has great confidence in Su Xia. In the Beach Boat team, many people came because of Su Xia's name as pharmacist. Potions are too expensive at this stage. First level potions are generally sold for more than 30 yuan and second-level potions are sold for more than 100 yuan, which is extremely outrageous. Converted into real-world money, an ordinary second-level healing potion costs upwards of 10 yuan, which can buy three bottles of Fat House Happy Water. In the Bikini Castle team, some people were also suspicious. They walked up to the room director Yuan Shushu and wrote, Brother Sponge, is that evil bubble really your roommate? Of course. Don't think too much about it. Oh, logically speaking, as one of the six core members of the Bikini Castle team, Su Xia should appear frequently. But everyone has been joining for several days. And they don't even know what level Su Xia is. They don't see him every time they play in a group. So it's normal to have doubts. Fortunately, the roommates distributed the spoils very reasonably. Which was much better than those wild groups. From the establishment of the team until now. Only a few people left this morning. Those few people were attracted by the treatment offered by Coral Cities. Undead management department. And join Sijideo's team. Brother Sponge. If your roommate really can't come. Let's leave. No. 
The map of the mine is very important. You can hang out here before level 15. And bosses will be randomly spawned every day. Yuan Shushu has said to the people next to him. If the people from Sijideo are just here to level up. Forget it. Let's share this map together. But they actually want to occupy this place. The brothers in the dormitory had been holding back their anger in the morning. And of course, they couldn't bear it now. Most of the remaining members of the team couldn't stand C.G. Dao's betrayal of his teacher. It was just a game anyway. And there was no need to bow to such a villain in a high position. Opposite me, C.G. Dao asked coldly, Everyone, aren't you planning to leave? Lady Few didn't seem to hear it. He turned sideways and asked everyone in surprise, Did you hear anything? It seemed like a dog was barking. Four seasons rice. Looks like there has to be a fight. Zhao Si wants him to become the most prestigious person among Coral City players and build the largest player team. This is his first PK since the team was established. He must play well and bring out his fame and status. At this moment, someone beside him whispered, Brother Dao, that Bikini Castle team is stalling for time. They are waiting for someone. Who are you waiting for? They have a pharmacist roommate who can administer very toxic potions. The person who spoke was nicknamed Black-Haired Rat. He had joined the Bikini Castle team before and just left this morning. So he knew some of the inside stories of the Bikini Castle team. Hearing this, Sijideo said calmly, Just a pharmacist? It's awesome. The black-haired rat reminded him again that he had seen previous screenshots of Su Xia killing people with poison. He originally wanted to stay in the Bikini Castle team to mix some potions, but Su Xia hasn't shown up for a long time. And the treatment given by Coral City is really good. And he can get the money directly. Do you really think that there are players who can change careers as pharmacists at this stage? Sijideo didn't take it to heart. Even if they can change careers, they will only be exposed to first-level poisons now. We are all at level 10. And we already know a lot about first-level poisons. Huge resistance. Besides, the pharmacists in this city are very stingy and won't give their apprentices many materials to practice. CG Dao is very confident and has nothing to fear. Not to mention a pharmacist. Even if there are a few more. He can crush them with a huge team of players. He yelled. How about that? SpongeBob, do you want to fight? Yuen Shushua took a deep breath, glanced in the direction of the pharmacy, and responded loudly. Then let's fight. Su Xia hasn't arrived yet, but the arrow was on the string and had to be fired. Hit the mother hacker. Both sides raised their weapons and shouted curse words. No one retreated, and they quickly approached the mine. This may be the first organized battle between hundreds of players since the server was launched. At the edge of the mine, some players watching the show began to take screenshots. Stab it! As soon as the two sides came into contact, someone's health bar disappeared and they fell to the ground. The scene of blood rushing is an adrenaline rush. Those level 1 newbies are really desperate. Although 5% of the current level of titanium particles will be deducted every time they die. They have no particles at all. So they keep playing to death. Gone! Who poked my butt? One player's face turned pale. The VR equipment in the game Hive was so sensitive that it directly simulated this touch. Some people rejoiced. Fortunately, I reduced the real touch to 5%. The edge of the mine is discussed by many players. Some people were watching the excitement and asked loudly. Who do you think will win? It should be the CG Dao group. Well, although I hate that guy's behavior, his team is indeed stronger. Shall we help? Some of the more aggressive players shook their weapons. It is not a good thing to occupy the leveling map. Once this opening is opened, those large game guilds may follow up one after another. At that time, it will be difficult for us individual players to get along. Hearing this, someone was moved and planned to join the battle. But now the two sides on the field are in chaos. And even if the individual players want to help, they can't find an entry point. And Su Xiao was surprisingly among the many individual players watching the game. He had arrived two minutes ago, but he was not in a hurry to show up, but stood in the dark and observed the quality of the Bikini Castle team members. Now it seems that the quality of the more than 30 people in the team is very high, and no one has quit. Yes, they are all done by those who refuse to accept it. Su Xia was very satisfied with the observation results. He immediately walked out of the group of many individual players and walked towards the field. From behind, someone shouted, Hey, buddy! You will die miserably if you go in alone. Su Xiao waved her hand and said nothing. Seeing this, many individual players behind felt strange. Leveling up is not easy. What's wrong with this guy? Perhaps you are not living a satisfactory life in real life. 
So you just want to find a place to have a fight and vent your emotions? Possible. It's normal to vent a little emotion in games. Many people regard gaming life as their second life. Due to the chaos on the field, several guys in the dormitory were at the center of the melee. So Su Xia was not seen at first. It wasn't until the character controlled by Su Xia came closer that Li Difu discovered it. Brother Su, hurry up. It's hard. Li Difu shouted. In the short battle just now, he had died three times. Rest assured. Su Xia smiled calmly, selected a poison in the storage space, and then took it out. For more pink potions instantly appeared between the fingers of his left hand. And the same happened with his right hand. Then he threw it hard. Boom! The eight potions collided in midair and exploded, turning into fragments and flying. Pink gas immediately surged out, like rapidly expanding pink marshmallows, covering the entire battlefield at an alarming speed. Many players who were fighting on the field, whether they were the enemy or one's own, were stunned at this moment. What's this? Players who experienced it with VR equipment sniffed it hard and said, I smell the smell of fresh strawberries. I smelled it too. Good reviews. There are not a few players who are using VR to experience it. A computer player asked in surprise, Why is my computer screen shaking? Is it my character shaking? Boom. A player fell. On this player's computer screen, only a series of ruthless prompts appeared. Your character has been hit by ecstasy and is currently in a fainting state which lasts for 60 seconds, your character continues to inhale ecstasy. This pink strawberry-flavored poisonous mist has been floating in the air and has not dissipated. Su Xia did not stop and threw out eight more ecstasy powders to ensure that the concentration of poisonous gas was sufficient. Soon, the shrouded players fell down one after another. At this stage, players have no ability to resist the second-level potion. Sijideo's experience was particularly intense because he adjusted the touch sensitivity of the VR device to 50%. When the game character fainted and fell, he also fell solidly on the universal mobile platform. Why is the other party's pharmacist so strong? Sijideo was shocked and looked at the string of prompts in front of him in disbelief. Chapter 112 Sijideo's Plan How can there be such strong players at this stage? Why had he never heard of it? Sijideo had been hanging out at the Simitar Organization station before and he didn't check the forum much. He had never heard of the story of a pharmacist cheating in the mine. Impossible. He stared at the data displayed in front of him. The expression on his face was extremely ugly. At the edge of the mine, many individual players burst into exclamations. They watched the pink mist explode, and the players in the pink mist fell one after another, and never got up after falling. In an instant, hundreds of people were lying on the ground. The previous shouts of killing disappeared immediately, and the field became silent. The initiator of everything was the guy who walked out of them just now. Damn it! That guy is a pharmacist! I remember! Someone shouted. Someone complained on the forum before, saying that a player in this mine worked as a pharmacist. And he was so powerful that he seemed to be cheating. Yes! I also remember that he is with the people from the Bikini Castle team. But why did he kill the people in Bikini Bird too? Pink Mist enveloped everyone on both sides. Many Sandrin players watching the battle didn't know that it was ecstasy and thought it was a super poison that could kill people directly. This is too cruel. What breaking bad? At this moment, Su Xia took out the antidote, walked back and forth on the field, and spent a few minutes injecting everyone on her side. There is no need to completely detoxify. Just make them a little resistant and wake up earlier. Ecstasy is the proud work of Wu Xiaotian, the second-level pharmacist in the Oasis camp. It can be regarded as the top second-level medicine. It originally opened the door of the pharmacy for Su Xia. Whenever the poisonous mist becomes thinner, Su Xia will throw away a few more. Anyway, now he is improving his proficiency in second-level potions. He has a lot of second-level potions in his hand. And his father also has enough materials. So he can borrow them at will. After a while, Li Difu woke up first. Later, the rest of the Bikini Bird team and the other two joint teams gradually woke up. Several roommates knew the power of Su Xia's potion so they didn't find it strange. But this is the first time for everyone else. Previously, everyone in the Bikini Castle team was doubtful about the pharmacist roommate that Lee Difu and others called him. Even with those screenshots, they didn't completely believe it. But now they all believe it. Not only did I believe it, but I also accepted it. Capitalized service. Strong. Too strong. Someone in the team exclaimed. One person can defeat so many people? Is this what players can achieve at this stage? This is about telling people. Who will believe me if I say it's not cheating? Looking around, 
There were more than 200 people lying on the ground. This scene is really spectacular. Someone shouted. Brother Bubble is awesome. Then someone echoed. Brother Bubble is so powerful. Su Xia. He glanced at the name of the evil bubble above his head and wanted to express that the players at this stage were too weak to handle even this amount of poison. Not far away. There were several level 1 newbies who still didn't wake up after being injected with the antidote. And their vigilance is too low. The soldiers of Coral City were not only highly resistant, but also highly vigilant. They would run away as soon as they saw the potion explode. This potion would not be able to take down a few. At this time, the captain of the Frozen Cross, Ice Thunder, and the captain of the Sixth Heaven, North, stepped forward together and said to Yuin Shushua, Brother Sponge, let's add a real friend and play together in the future. Good. Of course Yuin Shushua would not refuse and immediately gave him his QQ number. Although the three teams had all been leveling up in the mine before, they were not familiar with each other and only met each other occasionally. Today's alliance is really out of necessity. Before hearing that the Beechburg team had a powerful pharmacist, the two teams were hesitant about starting a war. But after seeing the power of Su Xia's potion, all the doubts in their minds were dispelled. As long as nothing happens to Su Xia, the Bikini Castle team will only get stronger. In the Frozen Cross team, some players sighed. Oh! It would be great if our team also had such strong people. From now on, we can walk sideways when we go out. Someone next to me suggested. How about we just change jobs? Ice Thunder. On the importance of a signature player to the team. Those individual players on the side must be taking screenshots. Lee Diffuse said happily. After this is over, our Bikini Castle's reputation will be established. And it will be much easier to recruit people in the future. Pay attention to screening. Su Xia had to remind. Don't ask for it if you have bad character. Don't worry. We can still see people very accurately. You and Shushia, the room director, said. Except for the few who left this morning. Everyone else in the team can be trusted. With that said, the character controlled by Yuen Shushua walked up to the unconscious player, black-haired rat, and kicked the guy with his feet. He said, I misjudged this guy. When he left the team this morning, he actually said that there was nothing wrong with that CG Dao's behavior. Yuen Shushua raised the rusty iron sword in his hand, stabbed it into the chest of the black-haired rat, and twisted it. The black-haired rat's health bar dropped rapidly and was quickly cleared to the naked eye. There was just one more body on the ground. But the black-haired rat did not dare to resurrect. He heard you in Shushu's words. After being resurrected, he will definitely be killed again. Dying repeatedly is a painful experience. If he hadn't left the team this morning, maybe he would be a member of the standing team now. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but start to doubt his choice. My choice is definitely right. He strengthened his confidence. It's just that this pharmacist is too buggy. When everyone has a job in the future, he will disappear from everyone. But the 500 per month here in Coral City, the allowance is always there. A momentary failure is nothing. As long as CG Dao can grow bigger and stronger. And follow him. Sooner or later he will be able to eat meat. And sooner or later, he will distance himself from these civilian players. In the mine, everyone who woke up began to take action. Killing those guys lying underground one by one. These guys were quite smart and did not resurrect immediately. Instead, they were waiting for CG Dao's instructions. After everyone was killed, Sijideo ordered, Resurrection! More than 200 people were resurrected together and instantly killed Li Difu and others. It takes some time from resurrection to fainting again, and they want to take advantage of this time to defeat the Beechburg team. But they miscalculated. Not long after, more than 200 player corpses were lying on the ground. This time, none of the other players were resurrected. But Four Seasons Rice is an exception. He gritted his teeth immediately resurrected at the moment of death, and then flew out of the poisonous mist. Just as he was about to run out, he fell again. Eh? Isn't this the famous Four Seasons Rice? Why are you sleeping here? If you don't even have a quilt to cover you, you will catch a cold. What a bad thing it is to catch a cold! Lady Few was unyielding and stepped on C.G. Dao's fainting body. But C.G. Dao only fainted as the character, not himself. So you can clearly see Lady Few's every move. He couldn't help but curse angrily. His face turned blue with anger. Li Difu refused to give up. Stepped on the four season rice and said, To prevent you from catching a cold, I will kill you first. The corpse will not catch a cold. Four seasons rice. Frustrated. Uncomfortable. Shocked. Angry. All kinds of emotions intertwined in his chest. Almost making him explode with anger. There shouldn't be any suspense in this battle. 
after all. It's 200 people versus 100 people. And the advantage is obvious. If Su Xiao hadn't suddenly appeared, he might have stepped on Li Difu's body now. Pharmacist. He gritted his teeth and remembered the name, Evil Bubble. With his current position in Coral City, he only needs to mobilize a large number of players to investigate the pharmacies in the city one by one. And he can quickly locate Su Xia's store. At that time, if you think of any excuse, you can seal Su Xia's pharmacy and direct the finger at Su Xia. After that, in order to keep the shop, Su Xia's teacher would definitely expel him and deprive Su Xia of his status as a pharmacist apprentice. When that time comes, Xi Ji Dao clenched his fists and his face turned pale. He is a very vengeful person, and anyone who offends him will end up well. In another game, a novice player provoked him. He kept the novice for a month and killed the novice until he gave up the account. At that time, someone scolded him that he shouldn't kill novices. So he started a crazy killing journey, killing every novice map every night. Once Su Xia loses her identity as a pharmacist, she becomes an ordinary player. Siji Dao's eyes were gloomy. He had countless ways to kill Su Xia so that he would not dare to enter the game. In the mine, the pink poisonous fog has dissipated. But the more than 200 players still haven't been revived because Su Xia is still here. In the death perspective, they saw with their own eyes that Su Xia handed a large amount of pink poison to Yuan Shushua. After this, even if Su Xia is not around, the Bikini Castle team will still have a way to deal with them. Those who want to be resurrected can be resurrected. Yuan Shushu waved his hand. It is unlucky to have so many corpses here, hindering my view of the scenery. If you want to leave, hurry up. After he finished speaking, it took half a minute before a player tried to revive. After being resurrected, the player saw that the Bikini Castle team had no intention of taking action. So he ran away in a hurry. Seeing this, the remaining players also began to resurrect one by one and left the mine. Siji Dao also resurrected and was ready to leave. But at this moment, a cold light flashed and a bloody scar appeared on Siji Dao's chest. Li Difu stood aside with a big sword on his shoulder and said in a neither salty nor cool tone, Why are you leaving in a hurry? Stay and have more fun. Four Seasons Rice. Li Difu. The workers in this mine have never seen aliens before. Your face is so ugly that it can be used to open their eyes. Siji Dao. It's from the mud horse. He couldn't stand it anymore and was forced to log off. This damn game is only for him to bully others. No one can ever bully him. CG Dao's face twisted with anger, and he began to plan how to take revenge. Chapter 113 How Strong Is Dad? Outside the mine, CG Dao's body disappeared. Li Difu smacked his lips and put away his sword, feeling that it was not interesting. This man's mental endurance is not good enough. He spread his hands. I thought I could play a few more rounds with him, but I didn't expect that he would go offline directly. In the morning, he had sprayed Four Seasons Rice on the forum. But there were so many people trolling CG Dao at that time that this guy probably didn't notice him at all. Another roommate? He, she? Asked. Do you want to keep him online? The room director shook his head. Forget it. This guy's equipment is good. Ordinary players can't defend it. And we don't know how long he will be offline. So don't waste time. That's right. Keeping him online seems a bit excessive. In the game. Unless you have some deep hatred or are so angry that you are so angry. You rarely do this. CG Dao's equipment is really good. Under normal circumstances, several people in the dormitory can't beat him in a duel. What if this guy is so angry that he has a heart attack and is offline for the rest of his life? We can't stay here forever. Roommate Li Sihua also said the same thing and started to pack the equipment with a smile. In this way, this PK with hundreds of people ended in Bikibo's victory. The entire PK process was recorded by many individual players nearby. As soon as the game ended, some powerful independent players came over and asked Lee Defu and others if they wanted to recruit more people. Collect it. Of course, I must collect it. Several people in the dormitory looked at each other with smiles on their faces. The next work will be boring. Form a group to fight monsters. Increase tacit understanding. Have fun. Etc. Room director Yuan Shushue created a large group and brought in everyone from the Bikini Castle team. And then created a small group and brought in the core members of Frozen Cross and Sixth Heaven. As veteran gamers, they can't go wrong with these things. Yuin Shushu walked up to Su Xia and said, Brother Su, I have to rely on you this time. Otherwise our dormitory will definitely be a complete failure. And we don't know how long we will be laughed at by CG Dao. Little things. 
Su Xia shrugged, looking indifferent. Refining medicine all day long is boring, but fighting is good. Someone in the team is asking about the potion, Yu and Xu said. It's impossible to give it to them for free, but we can lower the price for them, which is lower than the market price. What do you think? Okay, you can decide this matter. Su Xia thought the same way. His potion couldn't make those guys waste their time. Relationships need to be maintained by money. If the potion is given away for free, those guys will be embarrassed at first. But over time, they will take it as natural. When Su Xia stops refining medicine one day, instead of being grateful, they will only blame Su Xia. This is probably the meaning of Shang and Dumi Chio. Brother Su, how much can you control the cost of a first level healing potion now? Yu and Xu Xu have pinched his fingers and asked. The basic cost is 5 yuan. But I make a lot of mistakes. So I can control it to around 6.5 yuan. Su Xia thought for a while. But my two senior brothers are very skilled. They basically refine first and second level potions. If they don't make mistakes, I can ask them later if they would like to do something with small profits but quick turnover. It would be great. Yu and Xu Xu heard from Su Xia that his two senior brothers were both third level pharmacists. If you put it outside, a third level pharmacist can open a shop on his own and recruit apprentices. In fact, before, Su Xia had no idea about Hong Bafu and Blue Bafu. But in the past two days, there was no business in the pharmacy because all the rich and important customers were killed by him. It's his fault. As an apprentice, it would be great if he could bring in some business to the pharmacy. The two guys, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu, can refine the first order potion at an astonishing speed. They can refine a bottle in the blink of an eye. And unlike Su Xia, they don't need to follow the instructions step by step. They can actually skip several steps and directly mix some ingredients together. And the final effect of the medicine is not weak at all. In the words of Hong Bafu, there is no skill in this kind of thing. It just requires familiarity. Coral City is a large novice map. And there are many wealthy players who choose to visit this map. As long as the channels are opened, the reputation of Dad's pharmacy will spread among the players sooner or later. For the first level potion, let's set the price at 9 game coins for our team. Right. 12 game coins for our friendly team. And 15 game coins for outsiders. What do you think? Yuin Shushua was a little uneasy and looked at Su Xia. He lowered the price very low and wanted to quickly seize the market. From a normal merchant, you can get 30 game coins for a first level potion. He directly cut the price in half. Su Xia nodded and said, No problem. I'll do as you say, but I can't guarantee the supply. I have to go back and ask my teacher and two senior brothers first. Okay. Brother Su, our dormitory depends entirely on you. Well, I'll take the first step. This is a good thing. And Su Xia doesn't want to delay it. He stood at the edge of the mine, stopped a car, and returned to the pharmacy as quickly as possible. In the mine, several roommates looked at the car Su Xia left and marveled. Brother Su is also a rich man in the game. He has a distinguished status and uses a car to travel when he goes out. I'm envious. Let's work harder and become rich as soon as possible. Great. Good luck. Several poor brothers cheered each other up and were full of energy. On this sunny afternoon, the Bikini Bird team ushered in its first large-scale recruitment, and everything was developing in a good direction. Su Xia also returned to the pharmacy soon. As soon as he entered the store, Hong Bafu couldn't wait to ask, How is it? Brother Su, did you win the battle? Of course we won. Su Xia replied with a smile. With so many potions in hand, we can't embarrass our pharmacy. Right. Sure. Hong Bafu took a closer look and found that Su Xia had no injuries at all. She must have been crushed directly. He asked, Does your opponent have a background? Do you want me to help you settle it? No need. Just a group of refugees. Su Xia walked back to her workbench and said by the way, But the leader of that group of guys works for Zhao Si. And the Scimitar organization was betrayed by that person. What? Hong Bafu's eyes widened and he immediately stood up from the workbench. Lan Bafu also put down what he was doing and looked at Su Xia. Even Dad took a sip of coffee, raised his small round glasses, and glanced at the workbench inadvertently. Brother, why didn't you tell me? Hong Bafu gritted his teeth. If I had known it was that guy, I would have gone with you to teach him a lesson. If I don't break his three legs, I won't be surnamed Hong. Su Xia replied. Brother, that man works for Zhao Si after all. Breaking his leg in broad daylight will only bring trouble to our pharmacy. The eight blessings, 
But, at this time, my father suddenly spoke up. That's right. It's very thoughtful. I have more brains than your two senior brothers. Su Xiao immediately turned around with a smile on her face. Thank you, teacher. Humph. Dad put down the newspaper and looked at the sunshine outside the door. His old eyes were full of calm, as if he had remembered something. After a while, he sighed slightly and said, If Dad's first apprentice had your brain, nothing would happen to him later. The first apprentice? Hong Bafu was startled. He thought he was the first. Listen to what Dad said. Before the three of them, there was a senior brother. Dad seemed to have thought of a lot of things. And he narrated it in a leisurely manner. Before you, Dad had an apprentice named Guin. His talent was very good, not only in refining medicine, but also in all aspects. They have good talents and are very smart. Hearing this, the three people next to the experimental table looked at each other. Dad will definitely say, but next. As expected, the father continued, but he has a hot temper and easily offends people. He often got into trouble when he was an apprentice. Later, he became successful and went out to open a shop by himself. On the day he started training, he asked me if I had any teachings. Teacher, what did you say? Lan Bafu was curious. I only said one thing to him. Dad took a sip of coffee. If you cause trouble in the future, it's okay if you don't tell master. Teacher, how is senior brother Gu doing now? You'll find out later. The father shook his head gently, looked away, and refused to say anything more. Judging from dad's tone, the result for that senior brother must not be good and it is very likely that he has gone cold. Just like that, the pharmacy fell into silence again. Although Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu were curious, they did not dare to take the initiative to ask. Su Xiao was also curious, so he looked at his father's character panel and tried to find some information from his character description. But what he didn't expect was, can't see through. How could this happen? Su Xiao was secretly surprised. He has already reached level 3.9 psychic power, but he still can't see through his father's character panel. At a glance, except for the name and race columns, everything else is, question mark. Su Xiao blinked, but there was still no change. He couldn't help but think of his father's calm behavior in front of Yutuo. Is daddy also a level 4 creature? Maybe stronger? But since dad is so strong, and he hates the machine race, why doesn't he stand up, and use his own power to resist the rule of the machine race? After a while, Su Xia gave up the investigation and said to her father, Teacher, I have some friends who want to buy potions at low prices from us. How low? It's only a little higher than the cost price. Su Xia answered truthfully. But the demand may be huge. How big is it? When the market is opened, hundreds or even thousands may be needed every day for all levels of pharmaceuticals. Okay, let's discuss it with your two senior brothers and let them refine more and pay off the money they owe dad as soon as possible. Thank you, teacher. Su Xia breathed a sigh of relief. It was basically safe here. Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu want to become fourth level alchemists. But they can't just practice fourth level alchemy every day. After learning about Su Xia's idea, the two of them had no objections and immediately agreed. But after all, there are only four masters and apprentices in the pharmacy. There will be too many orders in the future and the supply may exceed demand? So Su Xia asked the two brothers about the speed limit. But Hong Bafu smiled calmly. Brother, what's there to worry about? Go to the second floor of the basement and take a look. It's full of potions that we have practiced over the years. Let's sell out the low-level potions there first. Is there a second floor in the basement? Su Xia was shocked. After all, he was also the basement cleaner appointed by his father. But he didn't even know this. He immediately took the keys and hurried to the basement. The first floor of the basement is quite large, filled with various ancient books, specimens, materials, antiques, and the like. Occasionally, you can find one or two pharmaceutical formulas. In an inconspicuous corner, Su Xia discovered the partition leading to the second underground floor. Chapter 114 Zhao Si. It doesn't sound right. Su Xia opened the partition and saw the wooden stairs leading to the second underground floor. Before he could take action, he smelled a strong medicinal smell, which smelled like various potions mixed together. Crunch. He stepped on the wooden stairs and went down step by step. Soon, the huge underground space came into his eyes. The first thing you see are the rows of shelves that stretch as far as the dark horizon. In addition to these shelves, there are countless large wooden boxes placed randomly in the corners. The wooden boxes have handwritten labels labeled Zerg Mummy, 
special rock, suspected alien creature remains, etc., was such a large underground space. Dad might not have opened up the entire street underground. Do the other shopkeepers on the street have any objections? Su Xiao looked around and saw that the rows of shelves were filled with unused potions, densely packed, neat and countless. Among them, the first-level potions are the most numerous. Under certain first-order potions, there are yellowed sticky notes with the experiences of Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu written on them. Su Xia casually pulled off a piece of notepaper and looked at it. On it was the handwriting of Hong Bafu. Today, my father asked me to refine more than 200 first-level healing potions. My hands were sore from the refinement. I have to eat at night. My hands are shaking when I eat. I need to eat more to supplement my nutrition. More than 200 a day? From 8 in the morning to 10 in the evening. It takes an average of 4 minutes to make one. At that time, the Hong Bafu probably did not have psychic powers and was just an ordinary person. His body recovered slowly and his energy was limited. Practicing so many limbs was really torture. Lan Bafu, who joined later, was also miserable and was tortured until he was numb. Even though they would be able to refine second level potions soon, Dad still asked them to refine a large amount of first level potions. Perhaps it was precisely because of such devilish training that the two of them were able to become third-level pharmacists at such a young age. As for Su Xia, Dad didn't have to rush him at all. His own training intensity is enough. Not weaker than the original Hong Bafu and Blue Bafu. Otherwise, he would not have so many potions in his hand. This much potion is enough. Su Xia walked around on the second floor. In the darker southeast corner, he found another partition. This partition seemed to lead to the third underground floor. But it was locked and Su Xia did not have the key. What's on the third underground floor? Su Xia found it strange that her father could just throw things like suspected remains of alien creatures on the second floor. What else was worth locking down there? With doubts, Su Xia returned to the first floor of the pharmacy. At this moment, several players took a look outside the pharmacy when they saw Su Xia in front of the experimental table through the glass. Their eyes lit up. They looked up at the side of the pharmacy and then ran away in a hurry. People from Sijideo? Su Xia noticed those players. During the previous melee in the mine, these players were from Sijideo's side. Now that they suddenly appeared here and looked so sneaky, it was definitely not a good thing. Could it be that the guy from Sijideo wants to take action against the pharmacy? Judging from his character, the possibility is very high. Siji Dao is Zhao Si's subordinate. If he wants to attack the pharmacy, he must go to Zhao Si. But Su Xia is now an undercover agent arranged by Zhao Si. When she thought of this, Su Xia couldn't help but smile. Hong Bafu next to him asked, Brother, what are you laughing at? It's nothing. I thought of something happy. On game forums, posts about Mind PK have reached the top 10. Su Xia's ecstasy powder shocked countless players. Most of the replies below point to one meaning he is a trap arranged by the game company. Of course, Normal people understand that it is impossible for a game company to arrange such an obvious support and leave comments below just to join in the fun. Someone else said they fought well. That Sijideo betrayed his teacher and changed into equipment that looks like a human being. I thought he was so powerful. There are more than 200 people and he can't beat one of them. It's so funny. Plus one. Laugh to death. Similar taunts can be seen everywhere under this post. CG Dao was also browsing. He was so angry that he trembled all over. He put on his vest and went to scold these people. At the same time, he also mobilized his team members in the group to scold them together. The two sides once again began a protracted online spat. But this time, because Sijideo lost a game, he was called trash, weak chicken, loser, etc. And it was obvious that he couldn't criticize the opponent. He was defeated in the first battle, which had a huge impact on his reputation, even among the previous team of several hundred people. There were many voices of doubt. If it weren't for the monthly allowance of 500 game coins, many people in the team might have run away on the spot. Damn! How dare these rubbish scold me? CG Dao was so angry that his eyes stood up. He was extremely angry. The aggrievedness and anger in his chest almost made him explode. He immediately logged into the game and escaped from the mine while other players in the mine were not paying attention. Then he opened his storage space, found a few very precious props, took screenshots of the attributes and descriptions of these props, and saved them in his personal account. Later, he logged into the forum, opened a post, uploaded screenshots of these props, and titled a post, Losers Who Scolded Me. 
Come and see what this is. The first screenshot in this post is of a psychic potion. This was given to him by Zhao Si. Sijideo put the screenshot of the potion at the front of the post in order to shock players. He wrote in the post. Did you see it? This is the first psychic potion that a player has gotten. A group of poor guys with a monthly salary of 2,800 yuan were extremely jealous when they saw that I got a good thing. And they ridiculed me on the internet. You continue to scold. After you finish scolding, you will still be a group of losers. For something as precious as a psychic potion, the first player to get it will definitely be unable to hold back and release it on the forum. Sijideo searched and found no such posts before. So he subconsciously believed that he was the first to get the psychic potion since the game was launched. After posting this post, Sijideo immediately notified people in his team to leave comments under the post. So the comments below started to pop up. The boss is awesome. Those people are just jealous. They can't get it themselves. So they are jealous. A pure passerby. Not a slanderer. Not a boaster. The poster really did nothing wrong. Soon, the post became popular. Someone caught the loophole and directly taunted you. Hack you! Do you think everyone is scolding you because they are jealous? That employed pharmacist's evil bubble is many times more powerful than you. Why is no one scolding him? Well said. Evil bubble didn't betray his teacher. Countless comments began to support this comment. And soon the popularity overshadowed the previous comments written by Sijideo's own people. Unknowingly, these guys created a wave of popularity for Su Xia and the Bikini Castle team. Seeing these messages, CG Dao was so angry that he almost went crazy. As the poster, he started frantically deleting comments. He deleted every comment he saw that was against him. But soon, a player opened a separate post and began to summarize the comments that had been deleted by Sijideo, attracting countless people to watch. F asterisk asterisk K. F asterisk asterisk K. CG Dao's eyes were red, and he was so angry that he began to write in foreign languages. In fact, if he didn't wear a vest to yell at those people, the topic wouldn't have been so hot. After all, discussion only makes it hot. His act of ridiculing him with a spiritual potion in a single post directly doubled the number of people scolding him. But it's not over yet. Not long after, a player suddenly opened a new post. The title of the post is Psychic Potion? I think I should have been the first to get it. The name of the player who posted the message is Lin Shan. In the post, he directly posted a screenshot of himself getting the psychic potion. And the screenshot had its own time on it. Obviously, he got the psychic potion much earlier than CG Dao. And he also posted a screenshot of himself in perfect equipment. This set of equipment was carefully selected by Su Xia for him. It was much better than CG Dao's. It even came with two psychic weapons. Lin Shan also released a screenshot of his character panel and said, Shouldn't you inject something like a psychic potion when you get it? Why do you keep that Four Seasons rice? Is it because you can't bear to part with it? Who doesn't know that there is a certain probability after the injection? Awakening Psychic Talent? This post went viral as soon as it came out and was immediately ranked in the top 10. With this equipment, Lin Shan can compete with the regular soldiers of Coral City. Countless players left messages below expressing their envy. Others asked how he got it. Lin Shan quickly replied, The Psychic Potion and this equipment are the rewards I get for guarding my organization. He briefly described his preparations and efforts to join the North Wind organization. Then he mocked Siji down mercilessly. Why do you need to betray the organization to get something that you can get by protecting the organization? Does this person have any serious illness? It has to be said that Lin Shan's language arts attainments are not low. Countless people expressed their support below. Well said. Bull. Hit the nail on the head. Correct. Direct. Pertinent. Seeing these comments, CG Dao was so angry that he almost vomited blood. How could any player resist the glory of being the first to get the psychic potion? At this moment, he finally received the first good news of the day. In the group, someone chatted with him privately. Boss, I found the pharmacy of the evil bubble. What? Where? It's in the southwest corner of the city. That dad's pharmacy. The man sent him a few screenshots of the game, and they were clearly scenes outside the store. Through the glass window, you can clearly see Su Xia's appearance. Okay, I'll give you an extra thousand subsidy next month. CG Dao took a sharp breath, with a ruthless look on his face, and immediately ran to the office building in the city center. Here's his chance for revenge. Revenge never lasts. This is his rule of life. In the office building, Sijideo found Zhao Si who was working on something and said hurriedly, Sir, I have something to report. What's the matter? 
Sit down and talk. Zhao Si sat on the office chair. His tone was calm. And a cup of weak tea was placed in front of him. Since the city lord Qi Lang also liked drinking tea, he also started drinking tea. Si Ji Dao immediately sat across from Zhao Si and elaborated on what happened in the mine, focusing on Su Xia's question. But before he could say anything, Zhao Si interrupted him and asked, You mean dad's pharmacy? Yes. Sir, is that so? Zhao Si took a sip of tea. He put down the teacup with a strange look on his face. Describe the pharmacist to me again. Chapter 115 30 Years in Hidong In Coral City Zhao Si trained many undercover agents. There are people deployed by Zhao Si in every family, group, and organization. Even the servants of many wealthy families have been instigated by Zhao Si. When it comes to things like undercover and rebellion, Zhao Si is a professional. And there will never be anyone more professional than him in the entire Coral City. Therefore, the human city Lord Chi Lang trusted him very much. Most of the rest of Coral City's management couldn't get along with him. Because everyone was worried that this guy would incite rebellion among his own family members. And then secretly report to the city leader. After listening to CG Dao's description, Zhao Si nodded slightly. Okay, I understand. You go down first. Sijideo was stunned and said. Sir, that pharmacist is hindering our development. I think. Zhao Si. I asked you to go down first. Didn't you hear? Four seasons rice. He felt something was wrong. But he couldn't put his finger on what was wrong. Zhao Si asked him to bring out the strongest player team and said he would provide him with all help. Now he just asked Zhao Si to sanction a pharmacy. But Zhao Si didn't say anything. Obviously, he wanted to put the matter on hold. Wrong. CG Dao's face was gloomy. This was not Zhao Si's usual style. There must be something wrong with it. He walked out of Zhao Si's office, went downstairs, and came to the street outside. People were coming and going on the street, including residents of Coral City and players. Not sure if it was an illusion, but Zhao Si felt that some players seemed to be looking at him, and they looked at him with strange eyes, as if they were mocking. Laugh! Laugh! Sooner or later, you will cry one day! CG Dao looked gloomy and walked towards a pharmacy on the street. Since Zhao Si refused to help him, he would find a way on his own. It's just a potion. There are many pharmacies in this city, and he can use a lot of money to buy medicines. When the next war starts, that's when the evil bubble will cry. Even. I could be a pharmacist too. That evil bubble was just an ordinary player with limited access to resources. So he was able to refine such a powerful potion in such a short period of time. CG Dao considers himself to be of noble status, and is already an upper class person in Coral City. He can use a lot of resources. His advancement speed as a pharmacist will definitely be much faster than that of Evil Bubble. When he thought of this, CG Dao quickened his pace. He will develop quietly these days. And when he appears next time, he will shock everyone. 30 days to the east of the river. 30 days to the west of the river. In addition to Evil Bubble, there is also Nanlin Shan. His novice map is Oasis Camp. CG Dao has written down all the names of these people and places. And he will take revenge one by one. After four o'clock in the afternoon, pharmacy, Su Xia notified the room chief and others, asking them to come and collect the first batch of healing potion, and also let them get familiar with Hong Bafu and others. The money is paid, and the transaction is completed quickly. After several roommates left, Su Xia activated her bracelet and returned to the Oasis camp. He was sitting on the sofa in the warehouse, with seven intermediate psychic potions beside him. The destruction of the Scimitar organization has exposed many problems. The future of the Oasis camp is not optimistic, and preparations must be made in advance. Su Xia took out a potion and quickly stuck it on her right arm. His. He lay down instantly. His pupils trembled, and his brown eyes turned blue little by little. The hallucination strikes again. An inexplicable strange force pulled his body, making him gradually become flat, as if he had turned into a two-dimensional creature. The sofa beneath him became soft and cold. The sound of running water came to my ears. He turned into a blue and green lotus leaf, as if floating gently in Monet's water lilies. The fragrance of lotus beside him was quiet, and the gentle water surface was like a picture frame retaining the blue of the sky, looking up at the sky from the perspective of another creature. It seems that we can also discover a different kind of beauty. Su Xiao lay like this for who knows how long, feeling calm and relaxed, as if time had lost its meaning. When he woke up again, he felt extremely comfortable, as if he had had a long, sweet dream without any discomfort. The fatigue left by the continuous battle some time ago had all disappeared. 
on the ground next to the sofa. Seven empty potions were scattered. Su Xiao once again injected all the medicine into her body in a hallucination. He stood up and stretched. Level 4? Su Xiao clenched her fist and felt an unprecedented power. Level 4.0. A new starting point. From this moment on, he finally had the qualifications to compete with strong men from all sides. He stood in front of the mirror, observed carefully, and found that his pupils were slightly blue, looking a little sick. But the blue color was gradually fading. The characteristics left by psychic energy are becoming more and more obvious, Su Xia thought. In the future, more and more psychic energy will be taken in. Will it lose control one day and start to evolve chaotically? Becoming like the Zerg? An ugly monster? Of course. Maybe in the eyes of the Zerg. They themselves are not ugly. Su Xiao looked at the time. It was already past 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I spent nearly two hours in a hallucination. He activated the bracelet and returned to Coral City. Continue to refine medicine. Improve your proficiency. And become a third level pharmacist. Not long after, Boss Zhao from the restaurant opposite personally delivered the meal to his door. Today's dinner is still eight dishes and one soup. Lan Bafu asked, Boss Zhao. Why are you here in person today? Boss Zhao stood by the door of the shop and sighed. Oh, the whole city has been on alert these days. And business has deteriorated a lot. I have sent a few waiters back for the time being. If this continues, it won't be long before we have to close. While talking, two more teams of patrol officers walked past the store door. Boss Zhao looked at the retreating figures of the patrol officers and said, It should be much better after tomorrow. Why? I heard from the gossip that tomorrow's execution will be to test the courage of the resistance organizations in the wilderness. Boss Zhao said, If no one dares to come to rescue people, it means that the city is stable for the time being, and will gradually be relaxed later. Various control measures. Oh, the heart of Coral City is well known to everyone passing by. Everyone knows that tomorrow's execution is a trap. After dinner, everything was as usual in the pharmacy. The time came to 9 o'clock in the evening. The lights outside the window were dimly lit, and there were few people. A middle-aged man suddenly opened the door and walked into the pharmacy. He said respectfully to the father behind the counter. Master, I'm here to get something. Well, come up with me. Dad put down the newspaper, put his hands behind his back, and walked upstairs step by step. The middle-aged man also followed him upstairs. In the corner of the first floor, next to the experimental table, the three apprentices looked at each other. This middle-aged man was the same person who had injured his legs and feet last time. He was a mysterious client. Every time he came, he would go to the second floor with his father to get the medicine box. He would not say much and would leave in a hurry after getting it. All three people guessed that he was probably a member of a resistance organization in the wilderness. But coming to pick up the potion at this time makes people think a lot. The medicines that can be locked in the medicine box by dad are at least level 4 medicines. The medicines are amazingly effective. But they are also easy to be recognized by interested people. There are not many fourth-level pharmacists in this city. You two all became suspicious last time. Lan Bafu whispered. Is that guy trying to use medicine to save people? Don't think too much. The teacher has a solution. Hong Bafu trusts his father very much. With dad here, no matter what happens, it can be easily resolved. Not long after, the man came downstairs with a box of medicine, opened the store door, and left in a hurry. In just a blink of an eye, he disappeared into the night. Dad then went downstairs without saying anything. He sat behind the counter with a leisurely expression, raised his small round glasses, and continued reading to pass the time. The pharmacy was quiet, the lights were dim, and the atmosphere was a little weird. The time slowly came to 10 o'clock in the evening. Dad gave the instructions and went upstairs to sleep. The pharmacy closed its stall and closed its doors. The three apprentices each performed their duties and tidied the store. Then they went upstairs to wash and sleep. What will happen tomorrow is like a huge stone, blocking everyone's heart. Tonight, the two brothers, Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu, were obviously worried. They lay in bed for a full half an hour before reluctantly falling asleep. Su Xia stayed by the window, sometimes paying attention to the movements in the store, and sometimes sending messages to Yamo. Yamo sent a message asking, Why haven't you come yet? What happened? Su Xia replied, Yes. Yamo, What's the matter? Su Xia, the two children at home can't sleep. I have to coax them to sleep before I can come over. Yemo, are you married? Su Xia, no. Yemo, you have a child without marriage? 
Su Xia. That's right. The two of them chatted one after another. When the two brothers fell asleep completely, Su Xia gently climbed onto the windowsill and then jumped down. Fortunately, the tavern is not far from here. He changed his appearance through the red crystal and turned into a handsome young man in his early twenties. He changed his clothes and walked through alleys to avoid patrolling soldiers. This time he did not put on the metal mask, but walked directly into the Zero Point Tavern. There was a mixed crowd in the tavern, and many killers wanted to exchange information about the masked stranger for money. So taking off the mask was also a kind of disguise. Su Xia swiped her ID card, entered the elevator, and pressed the button for the first floor. The elevator slowly goes down. Ding! The elevator door opened, and Su Xia saw Yemo drinking in front of the bar. The person behind the bar is Naughty E, but an ordinary bartender with a psychic level of only 0.9. Su Xia walked to Yemo and asked casually, Where is your master? My uncle came from Fish Scale City, and my master went to have a drink with him. Yemo licked her red lips and guessed Su Xia's identity. She put down her wine glass, smiled softly, and said, So you look like this. It's a fake face. It's really done. Yemo's face was pretty and fair and she stretched out her slender index finger, tapped it in front of the bar, and said to the bartender, Please give my friend a mojito. All right. Please wait. The bartender immediately sprang into action. Yemo tilted his head and revealed a piece of news to Su Xia. Those people have agreed to let you join the club. No need for a three-month internship period. Yeah. But if you didn't perform well before, they might give you a slap on the wrist. So be careful later. Chapter 116 is on the verge of breaking out. A show of force? Su Xia understood that this was a way for the old people in the organization to beat the newcomers. Previously, he overthrew the underground manor at a disagreement, led a group of refugees to resist, and messed up the entire city without any plan. In the eyes of many people, this is a sign of doing things frivolously and not considering the consequences. Even many players on the forum said, that he was too reckless and rushed into action before he was fully developed. He might have died in Yutuo's hands. Those players also opened a special post titled, If you had the ability to control metal, what would you do? The answers below were varied. Beifong Story Club. The current development requires stability. You know that? Right. I know. Su Xian nodded. This is the prevailing behavior nowadays. He took the drink the bartender handed him and asked, Tonight or tomorrow? Don't worry. They'll talk about it when you see me. Yemo raised his wine glass and touched it lightly with Su Xia. The sound is crisp and the wine is swaying. The two talked about other topics. Not long after, the elevator next to him suddenly dinged. The elevator door slowly opened and a middle-aged man walked out. Seeing his appearance, Su Xia was slightly moved, but her expression did not change and she took a sip of her drink. This middle-aged man was the one who went to the pharmacy to find his father. His face was calm. He glanced at Su Xia and then asked Yemo. Ah, Emo, is it him? Yemo nodded slightly. It's him. So young. No wonder. The middle-aged man moved his eyes and looked at Su Xia carefully. You have considerable strength at a young age. It's normal to be impatient. I don't blame you. Come with me. He waved, turned around and walked deeper underground. Yemo immediately pulled Su Xia and followed the middle-aged man. The three of them walked through the long corridor and walked to the door of a large single room. The middle-aged man stood by the door and turned the handle. Click! The door opened a crack. Looking in through the gap, it was dark inside and there seemed to be nothing. The middle-aged man said calmly, Go in, pass the test, and you will be one of us. Good. Su Xia's expression remained unchanged, and she probably understood what was inside. He glanced at Yemo. Yemo blinked and said nothing. Under the gaze of the two people, Su Xia opened the door and walked into the cold and dark room. Boom! The door slammed shut, cutting off the outside world. In the corridor outside, Yemo asked the middle-aged man, Brother Zhu, what did the president say before? Will he be merciful? I don't know. It depends on the president's mood. The middle-aged man named Zhu Lu, with level 3.4 psychic ability, is the vice president of the North Wind Story Club and one of the original founders. The person in the room is named Sonya who is the president of the story club and the most powerful person in the entire story club. Zhu Lu smiled and said to Yemo, Just this afternoon, Brother Chong broke through a small level and has been promoted to level 3.6. So fast? Yemo's red lips parted slightly, 
slightly surprised. Level 3.6 is the same level as Commander Beifeng. It is the real top combat power in such a small place. In Coral City. As long as you don't meet City Lord Yutua. You are basically invincible. Yuan Hua speculates that the masked monster's level is around level 3.2. Zhu Lu said with a smile. I went to see the traces left by his battle with the Coral City troops. And asked some refugees who watched the battle that night to confirm he should be around 3.2 to 3.3. Sure. Well, if he had been stronger, he wouldn't have been shot back by that sniper. The sniper is also a level 3 psychic creature and has a registered account in the tavern. Everyone is aware of his strength. Comparing the two, you can roughly see the strength of the masked stranger. The president, Sanyu, possesses level 3.6 psychic power and has awakened a very strange psychic talent called Fear Nightmare, which can create a world similar to hallucinations and dreams. The moment he walked into the room, he entered that world. Zhu Lu understands this very well. People who are not strong-willed or weak in strength can easily reveal their true nature and reveal their true thoughts in this world. As long as the level is weaker than Sanyu's, he will definitely be attacked. But the duration of the attack will vary. At this time, the door to the next room suddenly opened. Yuan Hua, Shen Yu and others walked out of it, with curiosity on their faces, and asked, How is it? Has it started? Here we go! Zhu Lu made a downward gesture, asking everyone to keep their voices down. Everyone nodded in unison and stood in the corridor, looking forward to the final result. To be fair, they all admired the masked weirdo. After all, he was a man who dared to fight with the entire Coral City if they disagreed. This kind of temperament is exactly what the North Wind Story Club needs. But there have been similar situations in the past, where a new member that everyone admired could not pass the test of Chairman Sanyu, and he had to leave in the end. I hope the masked stranger can pass the test. I still want to have a few drinks with him. At this moment, in the room, the situation is different from what everyone outside thinks. After Su Xia came in, he felt a strange spiritual power filling the room, covering the entire room. This power seems to have a hypnotic effect. But Su Xia is now a level 4 psychic creature. And this power is of no use to him. He walked directly to the switch. Snapped. Pressed the switch, and the whole room lights up instantly. The mysterious atmosphere was gone. Sitting on the sofa in the center of the room was a man in his early 30s. With a thin face. Pale skin. And closed eyes. He was the president. San Yu. After the lights came on, he opened his eyes and got up from the sofa with a confused look on his face. What's going on? There is something wrong with the development of the plot. It stands to reason that as soon as this masked stranger walks into the room, he will be pulled into a terrifying nightmare. This trick has never failed in the past. And even level 3.4 psychic creatures like Shuru cannot escape. But at this moment, Sanyu saw the true form of the masked weirdo with a smile on his face. With a smile on her face. Su Xiao walked to the opposite side of Sanyu and asked seriously. They want me to come here and pass the test. What is the test? Sanyu. He had mixed feelings. Obviously, this masked stranger is stronger than him and will not be attacked at all. Sanyu sighed in his heart, slowly sat on the sofa behind him, and poured Su Xia a glass of wine. Sit down and let's chat casually. Good. Su Xia sat down opposite him, looking very generous and not formal. On the contrary, Sanyu felt a little uncomfortable. If you recruit someone stronger than him to join the Beifong Story Club, who will be the president in the future? However, he didn't think much of the position of president. He just wanted to know about Su Xia's situation. So he adjusted his mentality and asked, Have you really been saved by Commander Beifong? Well, I was still very young then. Su Xia gave full play to her talent in making up stories and started talking nonsense with Sanyu. The atmosphere in the room was harmonious. Sanyu wanted to find out Su Xia's true strength. While Su Xiao wanted to get information about tomorrow's execution from Beifong Story Club. And the two communicated smoothly. Outside the room. Everyone was looking forward to it. After waiting for more than 10 minutes. The door finally opened. Under the gaze of many members of the Story Club. Sanyu coughed twice and announced with complicated emotions. Everyone. We have one more member. Okay. I knew masks would do. Shen Yu's eyes sparkled and he clapped. Yuan Hua was no longer polite. He pulled Su Xia over on the spot, held Su Xia's shoulders, and said boldly, Let's go have a drink first. This, Su Xia was not very used to this sudden enthusiasm. She looked confused and walked into the next room surrounded by everyone. Sen Yu was behind, 
looking at Yuan Hua holding Su Xia's shoulders, and couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. If Yuan Hua realizes that he has a level 4 boss as his brother in law, I wonder what he will think. In the room, the atmosphere was lively. Those who can pass the test represent their own people, and they are family members who can fight side by side in the future. Everyone held a short but very warm welcome ceremony for Su Xia. The entire Beifeng Storytelling Club had a total of 65 people, and including Su Xia, there were 66 people. The number was very auspicious. And all the members were psychic creatures. The weakest one is Song Zhong who is far away in the Oasis camp, with only level 1.1 psychic power. The strongest one on the surface is the president, Sanyu. In addition, there are 7 other level 3 psychic creatures. The overall strength is extremely strong and cannot be underestimated anywhere. Okay, welcome to the end. Let's get down to business. Sanyu stood at the front, looking around and suppressing the atmosphere in the room. A total of 36 people were present today, and most of them were high-level combatants. Not long ago, Commander Beifong was unfortunately arrested, and the place where he was imprisoned was very secret, Sanyu said in a deep voice. After many twists and turns and using various methods, we were unable to find the place where he was imprisoned. But this time, the Scimitar Organization incident is very strange. Coral City did not deliberately hide it. With a little care, you can find out where they are being held. Sanyu paused and looked at everyone. Everyone understood what he meant. And all the news was deliberately released by Coral City. There must be ambushes around the place of detention. To save or not to save? This is a fatal question. Bei Feng's story will continue to develop slowly and rarely go out for head-on confrontation. Sanyu cannot make a decision alone. He needs everyone to vote by a show of hands. At this moment, there is a manor on the edge of the wealthy area of Coral City. The manor was quiet and the lights were dim as if the owner had taken a rest. But beneath this silence, there is a terrifying murderous intention. Around the manor, there are hundreds of Coral City's elite warriors lying in ambush, including many psychic creatures. Every key corner is guarded by psychic creatures above level 2.5. The manor is full of deadly traps. And even mosquitoes cannot escape when they come. The person responsible for commanding tonight's operation is none other than City Lord Chi Lang himself. Deep in the manor, the surviving members of the Scimitar organization are imprisoned. In the temporary command post, Chi Lang sat in front of the monitor with a sneer on his face. Just wait for those damn rebels to come. Especially that masked weirdo. He would repay the humiliation he suffered from the masked stranger tenfold. He knew that not far away. The mechanical city lord Yutu was also paying attention to the situation here. So he had to perform well. Chi Lang took a deep breath, picked up the tea, and was about to take a sip. But suddenly, he felt something was wrong. He stared at a certain picture on the monitor and frowned slightly. On the screen was a hidden fire outlet, with a soldier lying there quietly, motionless. Chi Lang picked up the communication equipment, passed through the lower levels, and directly contacted the soldier. The fifth soldier in the third row outside the manor. Your machine gun is in the wrong position. Move five centimeters to the left. Chapter 117 must come. Move five centimeters to the left? What kind of weirdo could come up with such weird instructions? In the combat channel, everyone who heard this sentence was stunned. Several senior officers of the Coral City Army couldn't help but look at Chi Lang. Their mouths opened but they hesitated to speak. If Chi Lang hadn't been of noble status, with their violent temper, they might have scolded them right now. Why haven't you moved yet? Chi Lang ordered again. The fifth soldier in the third row. Can you hear me? Move your machine gun five centimeters to the left. Don't doubt it. Do it immediately. The soldier began to doubt life. According to previous orders from his superior officer, he was now unable to move. But according to the order of the city lord Chi Lang, he must move now. No matter what you do, you will get scolded. Finally, at Chi Lang's urging, he moved the machine gun slightly. Yes, this is the location. Chi Lang felt comfortable and satisfied. He picked up the tea and blew it gently. Now everything was ready just waiting for the resistance organization to come. You must come. Otherwise this night will definitely be very boring. Chi Lang is very confident that this manner is impregnable. But the senior officers behind him wanted to curse. War means casualties. And no normal person would want to fight all day long. People who resist the organization are not fools. If they dare to come to this obvious trap to rescue people, they will definitely be well prepared. The reason why Chi Lang is so confident is inseparable from the praise from Zhao Si next to him. Zhao Si also pretended to be holding tea, with a respectful smile on his face, and said, 
With the city lord sitting here, we will definitely be safe tonight. Um, Chi Lang nodded slightly. Although he knew that Zhao Si was flattering, he still felt very useful. The few officers behind him stared at Zhao Si's back. Their expressions were not very good. And they all thought of the ancient situation of traitorous ministers who harmed the country. That night, many people didn't sleep. The movements in the manor affect the hearts of countless people. From the wealthy district in the center to the refugee camps across the city. Everyone wants to wait for a result. At noon tomorrow, there will definitely be a lot of civilians in the center of the square. And it will be inconvenient to rescue people. So tonight is the only chance for those resistance groups. Chayan was sitting in the office, temporarily acting as the city lord. The ordinary clerk on the side asked, Mr. Chai, what are we doing now? Prepare cars, bulletproof ones. Chayan calmly ordered, We need three identical cars, and find two people to make up to look like the city lord, and then follow me to wait near the manor until the city lord is defeated. The clerk was startled. Mr. Chai, didn't the city lord ask you to stay here? Chayan shook his head. The city lord doesn't know how to command a battle. He will only cause chaos there. Besides, that villain Zhao Si is here. So we will definitely lose tonight. In the Zero Point Tavern, the voting for the Beifong Storytelling Club ended. Everyone unanimously decided save people. You have to at least try. You can't just do nothing and watch your compatriots being executed in public. Next came the specific planning. Sanyu began to make specific arrangements for the escape route. The structure of the manor the members who would respond, the members who would infiltrate the manor, etc. This is the difference between an organization and an individual. Beifong Story Club's actions cannot be as reckless as Su Xia's. They will plan every detail, and even have to think of backup plans for various emergencies. As long as we can break through the manor and bring people out, the follow-up will be much simpler. Yuan Hua, one of the founders, said, The evacuation plan we have arranged is enough to protect everyone. But there is still a problem. Everyone knows this problem. And it cannot be circumvented no matter what. What should I do if Lord Yutu appears? Leave it to me, Yutu all. Su Xiao looked calm, without any fear on her face. Everyone looked at him with confusion and curiosity in their eyes. In fact, everyone wants to know how Su Xiao escaped from Yutu all before. Nei Yutu has level 4.0 spiritual power and a body of steel. It would be difficult for San Yu to escape. You two all should be more than level 4.0. Su Xia said seriously. There are more than a dozen small cities around us. The strength of each city's mechanical city lord is linked to the city's prosperity. And Coral City is one of these more than 10 cities. The most prosperous among them. In fact, Su Xia had thought about this problem a long time ago. The abandoned armor city next door is not as prosperous as the Coral City. But in Lan, the mechanical city lord of the abandoned armor city has level 4.1 psychic powers. So you two all shouldn't be only level 4.0. Shin Yu blinked and asked, Mask, what do you think you two's true strength is? Probably above 4.3. So powerful. How did you escape? Just rely on flying? That's right. Su Xia said calmly, I can control metal flight. And my speed in the air is no slower than you two all. When will you take me to fly? Let's talk about it later. Su Xia's calm and confident tone gave everyone a little confidence. As long as he can entangle you too, other things will be much easier. But Imashio frowned, thought of a question, and asked directly. After the last fight, you two must have realized this. He will improve the mechanical body, especially the speed module, to show off his strength. Su Xia smiled calmly. Don't worry. He is not the only one who is making progress. If the rewards for the task of saving the Oasis camp can be distributed, Su Xia's strength will definitely increase dramatically. And tonight's situation will be easier. But the reward was delayed. And Su Xia was always curious, wondering what went wrong. Well, since I have confidence in the mask, it will be much easier to act tonight. Sanyu is well aware of Su Xia's level 4 strength, which is also the biggest source of confidence for him to lead everyone in action. Is there anyone else who wants to add something? Sanyu asked. If there is no one, we will take action. Everyone shook their heads. Okay then, take action. The time has reached midnight, and everything is quiet. This is the first large-scale operation since the North Wind Story Society was established. The group did not take normal roads, but moved slowly through various sewers, secret passages and ruins, and alleys between residential buildings. Everyone has extremely strong stealth capabilities. Su Xia has been sensing the metal objects around her 
and serves as a humanoid detector to help everyone clear the way. Safe. Keep going. On the way, more than a dozen people with lower levels left one after another and went to various pickup locations. At nearly one o'clock in the morning, the remaining people finally approached the outside of the manor. Su Xia pressed her hands and signaled everyone to stop. Everyone stopped together. The atmosphere was tense. And even their breathing slowed down. You can't get any closer. Or you may be spotted by the opponent's night vision equipment. Call. In the dark night, the shadows of the trees surrounding the manor swayed. There were only a few dim street lights on in the manor. And it didn't look dangerous at all. But according to Su Xia's sensing, there were several snipers ambushed not far ahead, and a large number of trigger mines were buried under the grass around the manor. The entire manor is filled with murderous intent and is surrounded by dangers. After becoming a level 4 creature, Su Xia's sensing ability has been greatly enhanced. He closed his eyes slightly, and the steel skeleton of the entire manor instantly appeared in his mind. Like a set of 3D three-dimensional images, traces of countless metal weapons were moving inside the manor, and there were hundreds of metal traces outside the manor. Su Xia sensed a small closed room underground behind the manor. If nothing else, it's right there. San Yu stepped forward, looking alert, and gestured to Su Xia, have you found it? Su Xia nodded and then gave a retreat gesture. This rescue is just an attempt. If nothing can be done, they will not foolishly attack and die. In the past, in the absence of Su Xia, the person responsible for the investigation was Vice President Zhu Lu. His psychic talent is called Shadow Clone. He can create a clone. The clone's ability to hide in the dark is almost perfect. But the time it can exist is too short. It can only be used for 3 to 4 minutes each time. The clone will have to be used next time. Wait another half hour to cast. Everyone slowly retreated into a safe enough shadow. Su Xia whispered. The location is probably clear. It should be behind the manor. But we still need to investigate it specifically. I'm worried that it is a bait. Let me go. According to prior arrangements. It was Zhu Lu's turn to appear. Among everyone present, only his shadow clone had hope of surviving the mini crises. The only thing to worry about was the issue of time. But Su Xia shook her head slightly and said, No, I'll go. How do you go? I have a way. Just wait a minute. While speaking, wisps of nanorobots quietly slipped away from Su Xia's body. No one at the scene noticed anything wrong. And even Sanyu didn't notice anything unusual. In their eyes, Su Xia was motionless as if she was really just waiting. Countless nanorobots camouflaged themselves through the environment and slowly advanced under the night, passing through the monitor areas, crossing the manor gates, crossing the lawns blown by the night wind, and even crawled over some lurking warriors. But the soldiers didn't find any problems and still waited quietly. In the temporary headquarters, Shi Lang couldn't help but yawned. He was already tired from waiting. It's already one o'clock in the morning. Didn't those damn rebels get the news? No one in this city wants to try. He was a little bored. So he picked up the strong tea and drank half of it in one gulp. Several officers in the rear were speechless. This guy can't stand it even while sitting in the comfortable headquarters. If he talks about it, how will the soldiers outside feel? The soldiers lurked in the dark and could not move even if they were bitten by mosquitoes. At this moment, a small group of nanorobots slipped in through the crack in the door and stayed quietly in the corner, transmitting the sounds images and other content in the room to Su Xia. Chi Lang and Zhao Si are actually here. It seems that they attach great importance to tonight's action. Su Xia silently noted his location. At the same time, nanorobots in other directions are giving feedback. This time the infiltration went very smoothly without triggering any alarms. It is worthy of starry sky technology and is trustworthy. It didn't take long for Su Xia to locate the location where the members of the Scimitar organization were being held. It was the same as what I sensed before. There were a large number of soldiers guarding the small underground room at the back of the manor. Chapter 118 Killing Intention There are only about 30 people left in the Scimitar organization. The few hundred people that once existed were wiped out. Not even one of the thousands of refugees they accepted survived. And they all died under the gunfire of Coral City. CG Dao's rebellion was extremely deadly. Coral City launched its attack in the early morning. It did not use the lives of ordinary soldiers at all but directly carried out several rounds of saturation strikes with rockets from a distance. The horrific scene was like a divine punishment. As the entire station was flooded by artillery fire, many members of the station died directly in their sleep. Almost everyone who survived was injured, and was pushed over by Coral City's ground troops in pain. Ahem. In the dark prison. Jia Dao. 
the leader of the Scimitar organization, lay on the ground coughing violently. His face was pale, and his body was covered in injuries. His clothes were stained dark brown by coagulated blood. His lungs were like broken bellows. Every breath he took brought up painful coughing. Every second of his life was suffering. Just that early morning not long ago, Su Xia had communicated with Jia Dao and praised Jia Dao for accepting refugees. At that time, the two made an agreement to jointly attack Coral City in the future. The rest of the people in the room were also in poor condition. Even a little girl of six or seven years old was put on a heavy psychic suppressor. Her thin body was trembling slightly. And she huddled next to Jia Dao. Dong dong dong. The guard banged on the iron door several times. Then he let a bucket of food, opened the iron door, and poured the food in the bucket in front of everyone. The guard sneered. Eat. It's your last meal. Eat more. You can't starve to death on the road. With the help of the nanorobot's vision, Su Xia took a closer look. The so-called food on the ground was nothing but dead cockroaches, dead mice, earthworms, and other things, mixed with swill. And it was as disgusting as the food in the cafeteria when he was in middle school. These foods are obviously the guard's bad taste. Specially used to disgust Jia Dao and others in the prison. I thought there would be a good show tonight. But there has been no movement until now. The guard kicked away a greasy dead mouse and kicked it to the little girl in the corner. Scaring the little girl all over. A shudder. He laughed loudly. And the look of his laughter was extremely ugly. It seems that your so-called compatriots will not come to save you. How sad. No one in this world cares about your life or death. You said it wrong. Jia Dao breathed hard and replied to the guard. Even though he was imprisoned and was about to die soon, he still had full confidence in the future of the human race and never let his will waver in the slightest. If they don't come, it's right to preserve their strength and keep them useful. Damn it. You're still being stubborn at this time. The guard looked disgusting. He walked straight forward and stepped heavily on Jia Dao's face. Jia Dao, who had lost his spiritual power, was completely unable to resist and could only let him trample on him. But the guard didn't seem to be relieved enough. So he stepped on him again, one kick after another, until Jia Dao's face was almost unrecognizable and was covered in blood. Let go! Boss! The rest of the men in the prison rushed forward, trying desperately to stop him. But now they are all extremely weak and seriously injured. And they are no match for this psychic guard. The guard pulled out his stick and hit one of them on the arm, breaking his hand bones, and then hit the other on the calf. Ha ha! You are a bunch of bitches! Your so-called ideals are worthless! The guard held the blood-stained stick and laughed wantonly, like a superior god. In the corner, the nanorobot was recording quietly. Su Xia saw all this through the eyes of the nanorobot, with cold eyes, looking at the guard as if looking at a dead person. On the side, Zhu Lu asked in a low voice, How is it? Have you found the specific location? Um... Su Xia nodded slightly, and turned to face everyone. Everyone was curious and looked at him, wondering what method he used. At this moment, Sanyu suddenly noticed that some flowing black mucus suddenly appeared on the ground in front of him. What's this? A special metal. Su Xia didn't talk about nanorobots, because the planet's technology is not yet capable of this step. With a slight movement of his mind, he controlled the remaining nanorobots to change little by little, and built a three-dimensional manner structure on the ground, with guards at each position marked. My set of metal can cover the whole body and has a camouflage function, making the covered person invisible. The mask means... Sanyu was so smart that he guessed it in an instant. Let each of us enter invisibly in turn, and then launch a surprise attack inside to catch them off guard? Right. Su Xia pointed to the corner of the stairs at the back right of the manor. This stair corner is secluded, unpatrolled, and very close to the prison where Mache members are being held. After the previous person enters, hide in the corner of the stairs and then let the nanorobot return and take the next person in. Good idea! Sanyu was amazed. Without Su Xia's ability, everyone could only use Sanyu's nightmare talent to put a group of soldiers into a coma, and then wait for an opportunity to save them. The success rate of doing this is quite low, and you may be exposed before you even get close to the enemy. Of course, this is only part of the plan. In the original plan, everyone was divided into two groups. One group was responsible for rescuing people, and the other group was responsible for causing chaos in the front of the manor. As for the step of creating chaos, Su Xia had a better idea. Mr. Chong, pay attention to this small room in the lower left corner of the manor. This room? Sanyu thought for a moment. Is this their temporary headquarters? Yes. 
and Chi Lang is inside. What? Everyone looked at each other. This was big news. They understood what Su Xia meant. As long as Chi Lang is beaten until he is running away, the rest of the soldiers will easily follow, and the whole manor will be in chaos. Chi Lang's position is very safe. He can't find any breakthrough angle from the outside. He can still only break through from the inside. And the person who attacks him must be very strong. In that temporary command post, there was an officer with level 3.1 psychic power. And Chi Lang himself also had level 3.0 psychic power. There are two third level creatures hired by Chi Long Gaoxin outside the door of that room. There are a total of four third level creatures. And it is not that difficult to break through. Okay. Mask. You go deal with Chi Lang. San Yu made an immediate decision. I'll take them to rescue people. Good. The two hit it off immediately. But the others were slightly surprised. They still thought San Yu was the strongest. So they were surprised by the division of labor between the two. After all, the strongest one should be allowed to deal with Chi Lang. By the way, if you can, kill all the guards while rescuing people. When saying this, Su Xia's tone was very solemn. Then, the action begins. Countless nano-robots slowly covered Sanyu's body, leaving not even a breathing gap, leaving only a small breathing space for him inside, because even the heat of breathing would be detected by thermal imaging. After being covered all over, Sanyu gradually disappeared from everyone's eyes. Low light, thermal imaging, and even the special life-sensing technology of the mechanical race could not detect him, making him completely invisible. Under Su Xia's control, Sanyu slowly floated towards the manor, the journey went very smoothly, and Sanyu was sent to the designated corner of the stairs without triggering any alarms. The nanobots covering his body quickly left. Sanyu, on the other hand, was hiding quietly in the darkness, motionless, as if he had merged with the darkness. Outside the manor, Su Xia recovered most of the nanobots. Okay, next one. When they heard this, the others all breathed a sigh of relief. As long as Sanyu can get in smoothly, the plan is already half successful. Perhaps it was because of this success that Su Xia triggered a mission. Get the mission, Life and Death Rescue. Task Description, Rescue the remaining members of the Scimitar Organization from the Manor. Task Reward, Primary Psychic Potion X7. Intermediate Psychic Potion X3. Awakening the Second Psychic Talent. Su Xia's eyes narrowed, and she saw the Mission Reward line. Awakening the Second Psychic Talent. This is exactly what his clone needs. He recovered his mind. Control the nanorobots and sent everyone into the manor one by one. The time slowly came to half past one in the morning. Everyone went in. Su Xia herself entered the manor under the disguise of a nano-robot, and slowly came outside the temporary headquarters. Two level three creatures stood at the door of this room, with cold faces and sunglasses. Looking around, at this moment, in the room, Chi Lang was really bored with waiting. He sighed, I probably prepared for nothing tonight. I didn't expect those resistance organizations to be so timid. And so is the masked weirdo. Sir, have a sip of tea first. Zhao Si's face was full of smiles. Last time, the masked stranger was driven out of Coral City like a dog by City Lord Yutul. How can he dare to come back now? Well, you're right. Chi Lang nodded slightly and took the teacup from Zhao Si. He smiled easily, shook his head and said, It's just a pity that I had a perfect arrangement tonight. Speaking of which, the masked weirdo was saved by Bei Feng. And you are a traitor to the Bay Fong organization. Be careful of him attacking you in the future. Jalousy showed no fear. Don't worry. Sir, if he really dares to come, I will let him know how powerful I am. On the other side of the manor, in the shadows at the corner of the stairs, everyone remained motionless, waiting quietly for Su Xia's signal. Not long after, a wisp of liquid-like nanorobots appeared in front of everyone. These nanorobots slowly changed on the ground. Forming two simple words do it. On the headquarters side, Su Xia also took action. The two level three creatures at the door were as fragile as chickens in front of him. Su Xia had already floated in front of him. But these two guys still didn't notice. Crack! Su Xia stretched out her hands and twisted them hard. One of them's head instantly turned around on his neck. His life was over. And there were no serious problems except that he had no vital signs. Chapter 119 Crisp as a Peach Who? The other guard was shocked and activated his psychic shield instantly. He didn't even see his opponent, and his companion fell to the ground dead. He didn't even have time to activate the shield, and he died inexplicably. What the H, L. The current level of psychic talent has not evolved to the point 
where it can ignore various detection instruments and become completely invisible. Right? But the next moment, a voice that frightened him came. Kacha Kacha. His psychic shield cracked. Before he could react, the shield was completely shattered, and an invisible dagger pierced his heart. Su Xia appeared with an expressionless face. With a strong twist, the dagger directly crushed the man's chest. Two level 3 creatures died suddenly within 10 seconds one after another. Only then did the people in the room react. Masked stranger, despicable and shameless, unexpectedly attacked. Several officers in the room stepped forward to protect Chi Lang behind them. Coral City has also estimated Su Xia's true psychic level, which is the same as the conclusion reached by the North Wind Story Society, which is about 3.3. The officer at the beginning had level 3.1 psychic power and had some confidence in himself. He thought that as long as he was not attacked, he could entangle Su Xia for a while. Chi Lang thought so too. So he was not in a hurry and sneered. Masked stranger, you are asking for death. He is also a third level creature. And together with the officer, the two of them only need to fight with Su Xia for a while and wait for the Lord Yutua to come. Masked stranger, how did you find this place? Chi Lang wanted to get the answer before taking action. The manor is surrounded by various detection instruments and even Yutua cannot sneak in without being discovered. He suspected that someone inside deliberately told the masked stranger his location information and provided the masked stranger with a safe route. A friend can help me. Su Xia knew what he was thinking. So she just went along with what he said. Really? You want to sow discord? Chi Lang got the answer he wanted. But he didn't say it. After this time is over. He will clean up the management. He snorted coldly, walked forward slowly, and asked, are you ready to die? Um, do it. Chi Lang roared angrily and activated the psychic shield. The level 3.1 officer next to him immediately pounced on Su Xia with murderous intent and shouted, Mask weirdo, today is the day you die. The others around him were weaker, but they were also ready to take action. As long as the lord of Yutua city comes, it will be okay. But Su Xia's face didn't change. She just waved her hand. Boom. Countless steel bars in the floor of the room burst out instantly, like terrifying poisonous snakes, twisting off the man's legs. He threw himself forward, and his whole body was pierced by steel bars one after another. He was like a blood-stained humanoid hedgehog, hanging at the door of the room. The dripping blood dyed the broken floor red. The gap between the two sides was too great. In an instant, his head was crushed by the steel bars, and he didn't even have time to leave a last word. Snapped! A mixture of shattered brains and broken bones fell to the ground. Chi Lang was about to rush forward. But when he saw the scene, his legs weakened, and he almost fell to his knees on the spot. Everything happened so fast. A second ago, he wanted to fight. But now, he only felt that his scalp was numb, and his whole body was cold. Gulu. He swallowed, and thick cold sweat broke out on his forehead. The two guards at the door were killed instantly, which can also be explained by a sneak attack. But now in a head-on battle, Another level 3 creature was killed. Chi Lang's face turned pale. And he couldn't even muster the courage to fight. Protect the city lord. The remaining officers in the room gritted their teeth and stood in front of Chi Lang. One of them winked at Zhao Si. Didn't Zhao Si say before that he would let the masked stranger know how powerful he was? But Zhao Si was sweating profusely and his heart was beating wildly. After pressing the alarm button in front of him, he began to desperately think of ways to escape. What to do? This masked stranger is much scarier than previously thought. Even if it was just a second slower, he might be buried here today. The door has been blocked by masked strangers. There are layers of reinforced concrete surrounding this room. And there are no windows. Just to ensure safety, only Chi Lang Seed has an escape tunnel. With such a narrow escape channel, with the strength of the masked stranger, he can catch up in an instant. Zhao's face was earth-colored and his legs were trembling. This was a certain death situation. Things shouldn't develop like this. According to the original calculation, the masked stranger would be discovered outside. And then, he would exchange fire with the soldiers. Several third-level creatures would rush up to entangle him. And finally, he would be killed by the rushing Lord Yutua. That was why they were talking and laughing before. But now this situation. The third-level creature was as crisp as a peach in the masked stranger's hands. Breaking into pieces as soon as he squeezed it. Did he advance to level 4? How is this possible? Zhao Si shook his head vigorously, trying to get rid of this terrifying thought that made his heart tremble. Just over 10 seconds before he tried to escape, he and the officers in front of Chi Lang all died suddenly. The smell of blood filled the room. 
and only the two of them and the murderous Su Xiao were left. After Zhao Xi pressed the alarm button, a harsh sound sounded throughout the manor. Buzz buzz dash. All lights instantly turned dark red. The soldiers who were ambushing outside the manor looked at each other. They didn't even see the enemy. How could the alarm sound? At this moment, a soldier from the rear right shouted, Those rebels are coming! They are in the manor and have rescued the people from the Scimitar organization. What? In there? Upon hearing the news, many soldiers were stunned. They had been lying in wait outside for so long, motionless and enduring all kinds of discomfort, just to catch each other by surprise. But the other party actually appeared directly in the manor. Could it be that? Is there a traitor within? Hurry! Those damn rebels are about to escape! The temporary commander shouted. No! Go protect the city lord first! Someone on the other side suddenly shouted anxiously. The alarm was pressed by the city lord. The city lord is in danger. Huh? Lord city lord? Sir? Can you hear me? In the combat channel, countless people began to shout for Chi Lang. But Chi Lang was destined not to hear these sounds. Because Su Xia raised her hand and squeezed it. All the equipment in the room was instantly scrapped and turned into scattered fragments. Su Xia needs to create enough noise here to attract all eyes and create opportunities for San Yu and others to save people. Follow me! He had an expressionless face and waved his hand. And countless steel bars instantly trapped Chi Lang and Zhao Si into rice dumplings. The two of them didn't even have the courage to resist. So they followed Su Xia out of the room. It didn't take long for them to appear in everyone's eyes. Su Xia was suspended in midair, controlling the two of them to float above the manor, and then said coldly, Let everyone stop! This, Chi Lang trembled all over and looked troubled. He turned out to be a hostage. At this moment of hesitation, Su Xia waved his hand. Click! Zhao Si screamed, and the violently bent steel bar broke his right arm. The harsh bone stubble pricks the skin and flesh of the head. Clearly visible. He was in agony. His whole face was twisted in pain. And he was wailing. And the sound he made was even more tragic than that of a dying person. I can't bear the pain. No wonder I rebelled so easily. Su Xia thought of Jia Dao who was imprisoned in prison. Even after being beaten like that, Jia Dao never gave up on his ideals. He turned to look at Chi Lang and said in a cold voice, You still have three seconds. After three seconds, your hands will be like his. Etc. Chi Lang's face turned pale, and after seeing Zhao Si's miserable condition, he felt a phantom pain in his arm. He couldn't care about anything and immediately shouted to the many soldiers below, Stop! Stop now! Hearing this sound, the soldiers below raised their heads. It's the masked weirdo! He's still alive! Someone was shocked. Get away quickly and cover your neck and face! After the last chaos, the bodies of all the fallen soldiers were examined. Many of the soldiers' wounds were in vulnerable parts, such as necks and eyes. Which is why the man shouted like that. But they also saw Chi Lang and Zhao Si beside Su Xia. The city lord is at his place. What should I do? Gather a wave of fire? Just say you didn't see it? The soldiers were so numb that they didn't dare to fight or run away. At this moment, Su Xia thought. And then, there was a click. And Zhao Si's left arm was broken. Ah. Uh. His shrill wail resounded through the night sky for a long time. Seeing this scene, Chi Lang was so frightened that he cried out desperately. I tell you to cease fire. Stop. No one is allowed to shoot. Let those people leave. As he shouted, the steel bars wrapped around his arms began to tighten slightly. So he shouted so hard that his voice was almost hoarse. The soldiers below had no choice but to temporarily stop their movements. And San Yu and others are also very awesome. Even if Su Xia didn't move, they had already broken through the manor with many wounded people. A group of killers with psychic powers can act very efficiently at the same time. After fighting out of the manor, they looked up and saw Su Xia in midair. Yuan Hua praised loudly. Awesome. He actually tied up Chi Lang directly. And that Zhao Si. Shen Yu mused. That disgusting guy. It's too cheap to kill him directly. It's good to torture him before killing him. The mask's behavior is really comfortable. Stop talking and leave. Sanyu waved, carrying Jia Dao, who was seriously injured, and ran with everyone towards the meeting point. Coral City is so big, dozens of them are like ants inside, as long as they can escape from the sight of all the soldiers. The rest will be easy. At this moment, the man that no one wanted to face came. There was an astonishing explosion in the distant night. Boom! That was Yutuo's extreme speed. Almost in the blink of an eye, 
He came from the mechanical tribe's base to the outside of the manor. Watching Su Xiao quietly. Chapter 120 Just a Slave? Under the night. The atmosphere was solemn. Su Xia confronted Yutua. But neither of them moved for the time being. Chi Lang was covered in cold sweat, and his face was pale. He only hoped that Yutua would take action soon. All the soldiers remained silent, waiting quietly for their commander's next instructions. San Yu and others are on the run. Only Zhao Si was wailing. Yutua glanced indifferently at the bottom of the manor and said coldly, Now I will take over the command and continue the pursuit. Yes! The soldiers below responded in unison and immediately began to take action. In this city, the mechanical race is the real master. On this point, the soldiers are very clear about it. As for Qi Lang, if you die, just die. No matter who becomes the city lord, ordinary soldiers will feel the same. Unless that city lord will give them better treatment. Boom! 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 In the distant mechanical clan base, several heavy flying vehicles slowly rose. The cold-looking mechanical soldiers sat in the cabin, well-equipped, with blue light flashing in their eyes. This time Coral City got serious, with a city-wide manhunt. As long as you two can get rid of Su Xia, the other mechanical tribe soldiers don't have to worry about anything. Yutuo stood on the top of the manor and said coldly, Masked stranger, you can kill those two losers. Hearing this, Chi Lang trembled, and a feeling of despair enveloped his whole body. Zhao Si was even more desperate. He betrayed the Beifong organization just to leave a good impression on the machine tribe. But Yutuo's word, trash, directly characterized him. Su Xia smiled and asked, Isn't a traitor like Zhao Si what you need most? He is your most trustworthy and loyal servant. Just change someone else. Yutuo's tone was still so cold. A person who can even betray his own compatriots cannot be described by the word trust. Sure enough, traitors are treated the same in every world. Today he can betray his own race and join a foreign race. Tomorrow he may betray this foreign race and join another foreign race. As long as he carries the word traitor on his back, he will never be trusted again in this life. The machine tribe does need a sincere servant, but not like Xiao Si. Zhao Si wailed in pain. Master Yutua, I have made meritorious service for the Machinery Clan, and I have shed blood for Coral City. In fact, he's bleeding right now. Su Xiao was too lazy to listen to his howl, and with a wave of her hand, she threw Qi Lang and Zhao Si into the distant woods. Seeing this, Yutua asked coldly, Aren't you going to kill them? Su Xiao replied, Of course someone will kill them. Qi Lang is indeed a waste, whether it is normal government affairs or tonight's command. He is a mess. Let him continue to be the city leader. It is actually a good choice. As for Zhao Si, he had to find a way to handle the commander's account personally. Buzz! Yu Tuo suddenly increased his speed and took action without saying a word. Just like last time, this guy didn't give any notice before taking action. In fact, Su Xia is similar. If you can fight, talk less. If you can make a sneak attack, never confront someone head on. Let's talk about it after the fight. The start this time was completely different from last time. Yutua did not launch the missile, but bullied him directly. He was still so domineering. His whole body roared, and his domineering punch was like a meteor, with energy surging straight towards Su Xia's face. Su Xia's eyes narrowed. This time, he would not be beaten around like a sandbag. He also punched out fiercely, and layers of nanorobots covered his arms, followed by pieces of metal. From his arms to his whole body, almost his entire body was covered. The wind of the fist roared, and the momentum was overwhelming. Boom! The fists of both sides collided hard. The energy surged. The violence was abnormal. And the sound was like thunder. The soldiers below who had not left all covered their ears with painful expressions. Some were even knocked to the ground, with streams of blood flowing from both ears. Su Xiao was shot backwards. Her whole body was shaken violently. The metal on her arm was shattered layer by layer. And her whole hand was so painful that it seemed like it was about to split. And Yutua also took two steps back slightly. Huh? The battle had just begun. And Su Xia's performance surprised him. The power to control metal is much stronger than last time. The metal parts inside and outside Yutua's body were rattling. Like an old robot that had not been maintained for a long time. As if it would fall apart if the wind blew. In the distance, because of the violent roar, Sanyu and others who were running for their lives couldn't help but look back. When he saw Su Xia's flying figure, Shinyu became anxious. Why doesn't Mask escape? He can't beat you to all. Don't worry. Trust him. Sanyu's speed did not slow down. He turned around and continued running for his life. 
everyone is not safe now. And those soldiers are following behind. Patrol soldiers from other directions were also coming, trying to surround them from all directions. Not long after the roar ended, a group of patrols launched an attack from the left side of the crowd. Rebels like you can't escape! They shouted and opened fire. And deadly bullets rained down on everyone. Zhu Lu looked stern and shouted. Don't stop! I'll take care of them! He directly used his psychic talent to summon the shadow clone. The clone was like a ghost, floating in front of the patrol in an instant, and then turned into a black mist, covering all the patrols. Soon, several screams came from the black fog. Ah! When the black fog dissipated, only a few broken corpses covered in blood were left at the scene. The faces of those soldiers were distorted, and their eyes were wide open, as if they had seen a very horrific scene before they died. His, Li Difu and Li Sihua, who were hiding here by the trash can not far away, happened to see the scene. Li Difu originally wanted to see the masked stranger and try his luck to see if he could become a disciple in advance. I didn't expect to encounter such a horrific scene. The fearful gaze of one of the death soldiers was directed at Li Difu in the corner, which frightened him so much that his face changed slightly. And he immediately took two sips of Phasia happy water to calm down his shock. Gula Gula. He was so happy that he burped suddenly and felt better. But the twisted death expressions of those soldiers still remained in Li Difu's mind. So he stepped forward and said seriously, Although you are just game data, I still give you some salvation. If you become a ghost in the future, don't come to me. As he spoke, he clicked on a certain music player and found some Buddhist music. But he soon discovered, How do I need to be a member to play? Why does this all cost money? Have you discussed it with the Buddha? Li Difu was speechless and could only say to the corpses of the soldiers, Sorry, only members can save you. I am not a member. You can rest in peace. Dead soldiers. Over the manor. Su Xia collided with you two again. Boom! Su Xia flew out, looking very embarrassed, but not seriously injured. During the fight, he looked at Yutuo's character panel. However, except for the name, race and psychic level, the other data are still all, question mark, and cannot be seen clearly at all. The psychic level shows level 4.2. However, Su Xia is convinced. This thing is definitely more than level 4.2, and it must have been deliberately hidden in some way, specifically to deceive opponents with detection skills. Psychic levels increase as needed. Right. A robot actually has such a stupid mind. Moreover, behind the race, column on the panel, although it says, machine race, it is also followed by a, question mark. Su Xia had only seen the same situation with the old guy Su Yun Song. But that's because Su Yun Song was parasitized by insects. He has both human and insect characteristics. So his race is unclear. But what happened to Yutuo? Machinery cannot be parasitized by insects. Thinking of what Yutuo said in the pharmacy last time, Su Xia suddenly thought of a possibility. At this moment, a fatal cold light flashed suddenly. Call out! It's this thing again! Yutuo's active skill left more than 10 terrifying scars on Su Xia's body last time. Su Xia still couldn't avoid it this time. But she already had time to react and barely blocked it. In the end, it only left a shallow scratch in front of her sternum. Su Xia glanced into the distance and found that San Yu and others had fled far away. So they stopped fighting. He couldn't kill Yu Tuo in a short time. He exploded with all his strength, drawing a faint shadow under the night, like an eagle, escaping at full speed in the other direction. Ah, Yu Tuo didn't chase him, but went straight to San Yu and others. Seeing this, Su Xia had to go back and fight with Yu Tuo again. The two sides were fighting in the sky above the manor. Fists and kicks were exchanged. There was constant roar. Metal was shooting out. The surrounding air was vibrating. And the energy was surging and violent. Like two tigers and leopards fighting for their lives. A moment later, Su Xia shouted loudly. Her hands as powerful as steel pliers. And with the cooperation of her skills, she tore into pieces a piece of alloy in front of Yu Tuo. And Yu Tuo's explosive punch was also imprinted on Su Xia's chest. Kacha Kacha. Countless metal fragments protecting Su Xia were smashed and scattered. And Su Xia heard the sound of her ribs breaking. The two sides separated again and faced each other far above the manor. Below, all the soldiers had fled. And no one dared to stay where they were. The main part of the manor was even more damaged. All the glass was shattered and the surface was riddled with holes from splattered metal debris. Yu Tuo looked at the damage in front of him and finally spoke. Yes, your progress is obvious. There is no point in continuing to fight now. Because Sanyu and others have fled without a trace. 
Tonight was another complete failure for Coral City. Yutua said to Su Xia. I know what you are thinking. But the trend is unstoppable. It is inevitable for the mechanical race to dominate this planet. It's too early to say that. No. It's not early. Yutua slowly landed on the top of the manor. Only by integrating all the power of this planet can we hope to deal with something extraterrestrial. Is the machine race confident in sweeping the human race and Zerg race? Insects? Yutua said indifferently. Those insects are just slaves. Don't take them seriously. Oh. No wonder. Through Yutuo's attitude, Su Xia probably understood how the machine tribe viewed the Zerg tribe. In their eyes, the mechanical race is the perfect psychic creature, followed by the human race. The Zerg, at its worst, are a manifestation of chaos and imperfection. But, as long as you dare to resist, being a slave for a moment does not mean you will be a slave for life. Chapter 121 The Secret of Coral City There are many secrets beneath this city. Su Xia crossed her arms and spoke in a relaxed tone. He pointed downward and said, Perhaps you can find time to look down there. Bugs are not as fragile as you think. It seems you know a lot. The blue halo on Yutuo's face flickered slightly. And he did not deny what Su Xia said. There are indeed many secrets hidden under the Coral City. None of the dozen or so small cities around it are as important as Coral City. Su Xia reminded, I think you should go down and take a look tonight. Otherwise things may develop in an uncontrollable direction. You and I are enemies. Why do you need to remind me? Because there are thousands of humans in this city. Su Xiao looked calm, turned around and flew away after speaking. He exploded with all his strength and quickly disappeared under the vast night sky. But Yutu did not chase, but slowly rose up, overlooking the lights of the entire city. Thoughtfully, after a while, he flew back to the base of the mechanical tribe. This base is located directly north of Coral City. The ground part looks like a sharp blade thrust into the sky. The interior is mainly white, supplemented by cold blue tones. Huge transparent screens hang above the hull, and data flows on the screen. Like a twinkling crystal lamp, various types of machines are walking around the base. Some are humanoid, and some have very strange appearances. As soon as you two return to the base, he told his assistant, Take me down there to have a look, and give me the latest information. Yes, please come with me. Communication between machines is very convenient. For many things, just transferring data directly is okay. This assistant was not humanoid, but in the shape of an oval egg, only the size of a basketball, all silver white, floating next to you two all. He opened the way for you two in front, and together they came to an elevator deep in the base. They took off the silver white metal SH, L on the front, and flew to the elevator for identification. A light blue light swept across his and you two's bodies, and then the elevator door opened. Please come in! The two of them entered one after another and followed the elevator down quickly. There are many similar elevators in the machine tribe base. In addition to these vertical elevators, there are many horizontal and even diagonal passages underground. These horizontal and vertical passages are like complex nests built by ants, connecting the entire underground together. Ordinary people may not even be able to tell the direction when entering. Ding! The elevator door slowly opened, and a chill hit my face. Before you two all stepped out of the elevator, he heard the wails and low sounds of countless insects. The underground space is very huge, still in the interweaving style of white and blue, with no end as far as the eye can see. This is only one level close to the ground, and there are experimental areas one after another below, like 18 levels of H, L, and the sounds of those bugs are like the howling of endless evil spirits in H, L. Many researchers, both human and mechanical, wore tight white protective suits and shuttled through the passages that separated the experimental areas. Among them, most of the human researchers wore special earplugs to block out the whales that could drive them crazy. After seeing you two, the human supervisor of this area immediately ran forward with a humble smile on his face and said, Master Yutua, why are you here? Yutua said in an indifferent tone. If I don't come, those insects will probably crawl out. No, don't worry. Sir, the supervisor said with a smile. I patrol this area every day. No bug can escape my eyes. They are all locked tightly, and no one can escape. Come out! Yeah. You two all thought of Su Xia's words. He has a lie detection system that can determine whether a person is lying based on his heart rate, breathing, micro-expressions, movements, tone of voice, and other characteristics. Although Su Xia wore a metal mask, you two could tell that he most likely did not lie. The supervisor asked cautiously, Sir! 
the underground has been operating safely for many years. Why are you suddenly worried about this? The masked man asked me to take a look. Yu Tuo disdains deceiving his subordinates and tells the truth. Ah? The supervisor was stunned and thought he heard wrongly. He hesitated and asked tentatively. Sir, is that the wanted masked weirdo? Yu Tuo nodded. Yes, it's him. The supervisor immediately felt aggrieved. Unexpectedly, Yu Tuo doubted him because of an enemy's words. So he said, Sir, that masked stranger must be lying to you. Your time is so precious. So you can't be fooled. He didn't need to lie to me. If something really goes wrong, you can just throw me to feed the worms. The supervisor vowed to vouch for Yu Tuo. Okay, take me to see it. When Yu Tuo checked the underground world, the entire coral city had been awakened. The rumbling sounds of helicopters, the sounds of firefights, and the sounds of patrol reports alternated throughout the city, as if we were back to the night when the refugees resisted. But Sanyu and others are already safe. The escape network they built using sewers, ruined passages, secret strongholds, etc. played a key role. In the city, commanders from various regions began to communicate with each other. What to do? Those rebels are gone. Report to the lord of the city, and then just look around and make a show. Which city lord are you reporting to? This, because Chi Lang lost contact. Yu Tuo went straight back to the base. Coral City is now in a very embarrassing situation. Chian, who was supposed to act as the city lord, was also missing. There was no one in the office, so that all the news could only be piled on the desk in a mess. Chi Lang is naturally not dead yet. The vitality of level 3 creatures is very tenacious. With a casual wave of Su Xia's hand, he flew directly over the manor into the jungle nearby, broke countless tree branches, and hit a piece of relatively soft land heavily. His. Chi Lang felt like his whole body was about to fall apart, and the heartbreaking pain made him almost faint. But Zhao Xi next to him kept howling miserably, and the sound was so penetrating that Yu Tuo couldn't help but faint. Chi Lang endured the pain and yelled, Okay! Stop screaming if you're still alive! Zhao Xi wailed. It hurts! It hurts too much! Chi Lang listened impatiently. If you scream again, don't even think about going back to the management! Zhao Xi, finally clean. But now, a big problem lies in front of them. After what happened tonight, can they all return to management? Chi Lang doesn't want to lose his current status. Zhao Xi doesn't want to even think about it. After he came to power as a traitor, he did things that can be said to be disgusting. He placed undercover agents in various families and forces. Once, he was abandoned by the mechanical clan. The powerful people in the city would not let him go. Even though the severe pain of broken arms was still there, Zhao Xi had to try his best to calm down. After a while, he was sweating profusely in pain, and said tremblingly, Sir, I have another way. Let's contact the lord of Yutua city quickly and tell him this way. We can't move now. Why don't we contact you? Chi Lang struggled hard but still couldn't break free. The thick steel bars wrapped around the two people were layered one after another, like making rice dumplings. I don't know how many layers they were wrapped around. At this moment, a ray of light suddenly appeared in the distance, passing through the obstacles of trees and leaves, like the light of hope sent by an angel to the two of Chi Lang. Who is there? Can you hear me? I am the city lord. Chi Lang hurriedly shouted, promised the other party a lot of money, and asked the other party to rescue him. Soon, the light source gradually came closer. The sound of footsteps also came from far away. Chi Lang squinted his eyes, and finally saw the person clearly. Xiao Chai, how did you find this place? He was overjoyed. Come and save me, and untie these damn steel bars from my body. Sir, don't worry. Chian arrived, stepping on the dead leaves on the ground. With a calm tone, he wore gold rimmed glasses and was well dressed. But he was holding an old portable circular saw in his hand which seemed incompatible with his temperament. Then, in a burst of sparks, the steel bars on Chi Lang's body were sawed open one by one. When it was Zhao Si's turn, Chian asked calmly, Mr. Zhao, I think your two hands are almost broken. How about I saw them together for you? No, do not want. Zhao Si screamed, looking panicked. Even if the bones are broken, the tendons are still attached. How much pain would it be if they were sawed alive? Oh well. Chian raised his glasses, picked up the circular saw, and began to untie Zhao Si. But whether intentionally or unintentionally, he would always accidentally cut a bit of Zhao Si's flesh and blood when cutting the steel bars, causing Zhao Si to scream repeatedly. Of course Zhao Si knew that this secretary couldn't stand him, 
but he had no choice but to endure it now. After a while, Chi Lang couldn't stand it anymore and said, Xiao Chai, stop playing. Time is running out. We have to go back and find a way. Yes. Chai and smiled slightly and sped up. When Zhao Si was finally rescued, his whole body was stained red with blood, as if he had just been fished out of bloody water. But he couldn't care about the pain, or even the dizziness caused by excessive blood loss, and said tremblingly, Hurry up and let me contact City Lord Yutua. I still have a way. That was his way to save his life. And it was also his last hope. He would not use it until the critical moment. But at this moment, a voice suddenly sounded from under a tree not far away, which made Chi Lang and Zhao see extremely frightened. What is the solution? I want to hear it. Su Xiao leaned against the tree. Her hands were protecting the environment, and her face was calm. Zhao Si trembled, and his last hope was shattered. The most painful thing in this world is having hope and then falling into despair. Are you here to kill me? Yes. But no. Su Xiao looked coldly. Someone will kill you. He waved his hand casually, and the scattered steel bars wrapped around Zhao Si's body again, binding him tightly. Then, Su Xiao rose into the sky and disappeared into the distance with Zhao Si. At this moment, San Yu and others had already joined the other members. There were many people in Lingyan Tavern. So they met at the pub. A hidden place. This place is in the southwest corner of Coral City. Under ruins. It was once the three-story underground garage of a building. None of the members of the North Wind Story Club were killed. And only a few were slightly injured. This was all due to Su Xia's commotion. Okay. Everyone is here. No. The mask hasn't come back yet. Chapter 122 Different Monsters Can the mask escape? Everyone looked at each other and saw the worry on each other's faces. In Coral City, Yutua is an undefeated legend, and it is already a miracle to escape from him once. Only Sanyu was calm, believing that Su Xia could come back and said, Don't worry. The mask can be used. Shin Yu asked, Brother Chong, do you know something? You will know later. Treat the injured first. Sanyu didn't explain and acted as the Riddler. With a calm look on his face, he took out three small medicine boxes from the safe in this secret gathering place. There are twelve precious healing potions in each box, all of which were refined by Dad himself. The potency is amazing. More than thirty members of the Scimitar organization were all injured. And it was exactly when these medicines were needed. At this moment, Su Xia's voice suddenly came from the darkness. Eh? Fifth level potion? Mask? Everyone was overjoyed and looked towards the place where the sound came from. Su Xia still looked like a handsome young man in his twenties. With the same expression as before. He had changed into brand new clothes. And it was impossible to tell that he had fought with Yu Tuo before. Seeing that he was intact. Yuan Hua laughed heartily. Good brother. You are awesome. You escaped from Yu Tuo's hands twice. Basic operations. Don't be surprised. Su Xia smiled slightly. Looking relaxed. Everyone stepped forward. Surrounded Su Xia. And asked about the previous situation. Su Xia casually prevaricated a few words, saying that she had something to do and was delayed on the way, and then said seriously, Don't even look at me. It's important to save people. Yes, yes, the mask is right. Saving people is important. Let's not forget the business. Everyone turned their attention back to the members of the Scimitar organization. Jia Dao was so seriously injured that he couldn't even speak. He could only weakly open his eyes and look grateful to Su Xia and others. The rest of the people were not much better. The little girl was in critical condition, and even her breathing was very weak. Fortunately, Dad's potion is very powerful. It's really a fifth level potion. Su Xia squatted beside the potion box, picked up one, and observed it carefully, feeling secretly surprised. Although he had already speculated, now that he saw the real thing, he could be sure. Dad is indeed a fifth level pharmacist. Maybe more. With Dad's talent. No one can be sure how far he has gone on the path of becoming a pharmacist. For ordinary people, this fifth level healing potion is no different from the legendary magic potion. As long as there is still breath left, they can be saved immediately. Su Xia glanced over and found that there were only six fifth level potions in total. And the other thirty were all fourth level. Quick! Take one each and inject them into it. Sanyu picked up a fifth level potion and ordered everyone to take action immediately. Not long after, under the gaze of everyone, the injuries on Jia Dao and others were visibly healed. It's a miracle medicine. It's really amazing. That master has been dormant in Coral City for many years, seeking neither fame nor fortune. 
I really don't know what he is doing. It would be great if we could bring him to our side. Everyone was shocked and started talking about their father. Dad's life experience is actually very mysterious. He had no children and no other family members. People know nothing about his early life. Even the two disciples Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu only knew a few things about their father after he became famous. With that master's ability, he will be treated as a guest wherever he goes. Zhu Lu lamented. I don't know why he would stay in a small place like Coral City. Well, I feel like the master is waiting for something. San Yu pinched his chin. Thoughtfully, he thought for a while and said, A few of the master's apprentices can fight for it. Yes, I think his fat apprentice hates the mechanical race very much. Zhu Lu also agreed. If there is a chance in the future, I will have private contact with him. How about the new apprentice? I don't know. He's an orphan. I can't find the exact whereabouts. Zhu Lu looked solemn and shook his head slightly. Hearing this, Su Xia's mind moved slightly. She didn't expect that she would be investigated by this guy. As a player himself, it would be strange to be found out. Yemo walked to Su Xia and asked in a low voice, Are you really okay? Do I look like something's wrong? If something happens to you, there will be no one to take care of the two children at home. On the way here, Su Xia poured herself a lot of second level healing potions. This time the injury was very minor, and he is already recovering almost completely. It's just that this time it still failed to cause substantial harm to Yutuo. Looking at Yutuo's relaxed look, I don't know how much strength he has hidden. Not long after, Jia Dao, with the support of his companions, stood up reluctantly and bowed to everyone to thank him. Sanyu hurriedly stepped forward and said, It doesn't have to be like this. We are all friends. As we should. No. Even friends have no obligation to risk their lives to rescue us. Jia Dao is a very emotional person and speaks sincerely. He looked at Su Xia with a complicated look on his face. And sighed. We said goodbye that day. But it turned out to be like this when we saw each other again. Don't think too much. Just take good care of yourself. The human race still needs you. Good. The destruction of the Scimitar organization dealt a heavy blow to Jia Dao and the remaining 30-odd members. But the ideals in their hearts have not yet been wiped out. So Su Xia deliberately said the word, human race. In front of these two words, any difficulties and obstacles can be overcome. Among them, one person looked gloomy and kept his head lowered. He is Chu Song, the mechanical repairman of the Scimitar organization, and the teacher of CG Dao. Although Chu Song is only in his early 30s, his hair is already gray and he looks old. He has no energy. He must have been blaming himself for the destruction of the Scimitar organization. Su Xia asked in a deep voice. If you see your apprentice again one day, what will you say to him? Will we see you again? Of course. Su Xia spoke with certainty and solemnly said, Sooner or later, the rule of the mechanical tribe will collapse. The future of our counterattack is not far away. When that day comes, he will no longer have any foothold. In this world, players cannot be killed. But there are many ways to deal with that for season rice. For example, catch him, imprison him, and kill him repeatedly. Just like he killed those novice players back then. Until he despairs. Su Xia didn't want to see Chu Song depressed all the time. After all, mechanical repairmen were very precious. So she gave him a brilliant future and gave him one more thing to think about. Sanyu walked to Su Xia and said, It should be stable for a while. What are your plans? But Su Xia shook her head. No, it won't be stable from now on. With players around, the days to come will become increasingly chaotic. And, I don't know what's going on with you Tua. There are countless bugs trapped underground in Coral City. Once they break out, the entire city may be destroyed in an instant. Yutua also knew this. In the underground world, he observed extremely carefully. He followed the supervisor through areas one after another where the psychic energy of insects was imprisoned and extracted, while constantly receiving and analyzing data from the underground world. When 80% of the area on the first underground floor had been covered, the supervisor leading the way had a smile on his face. Sir, let me tell you, nothing will happen. That masked weirdo must be lying to you. Continue. Yutuo's tone was still as cold as ever. With no change. Yes. Although the supervisor was unhappy. He did not dare to express it and had to continue to lead the way. After seeing so many areas, even Yutuo's assistant felt that he might have thought too much and should not believe the enemy's words. The bugs in every area are tightly locked. With no chance of breaking out. There is no problem with all the data. According to records, not a single bug escaped. But, 
just when passing by another area. Yu Tua suddenly stopped. He stood outside the experimental area, with dim blue light on his face, looking through the glass at a giant god insect in the deepest corner. The supervisor's heart skipped a beat, and he quickly asked, Sir, what's the matter? What bug do you want to be fed? Aw? Uh? The supervisor trembled all over, and his whole heart fell to the bottom. Is there really a problem? But he quickly looked through the entire experimental area through the glass and found no problems. You two ignored him and walked straight into the experimental area. All the researchers inside stopped their work and greeted you two. Lord City Lord. Um. You two nodded slightly, walked directly to the deepest point, and stood in front of the giant god insect. This giant god insect is very huge, like a hill, and has level 3.1 psychic energy. It is definitely a terrifying existence outside. But here, he is just a living supplier of psychic energy. He seemed to have given up struggling. His eyes closed and motionless. If this giant god insect breaks free, what will be the consequences? Yutu asked coldly, with his hands behind his back. Don't worry. Sir, this bug won't break free. The supervisor forced a smile with difficulty, and dense cold sweat appeared on his forehead. He resisted the pressure and walked to Yutuo's side. Other researchers did not dare to speak. The pressure brought by Yutuo was too great. Yutuo said indifferently, Walking around this insect, maybe you will make new discoveries. Yes, yes. The supervisor wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, forced a smile, and started walking around the insect. He watched as he walked, nervous to the extreme, praying that nothing would go wrong. But he had just walked halfway when his whole face turned pale. This, this. There was a slight crack on one of the alloy shackles that imprisoned the body of the giant god insect. The supervisor's legs softened, and he fell to the ground as if he had been hit hard. He had also vowed before that there would be no problems. If something goes wrong, take him. Feed the bugs. He crawled towards you two in panic and begged. Sir, I was wrong. Please give me another chance. I shouldn't have said that. At this moment, the giant god insect suddenly opened its eyes. With a fierce look in its eyes, knowing that it could no longer hide it. Roar! He roared, stood up suddenly, struggled violently, and broke a shackle in an instant. The pair of deadly giant claws shook wildly, and even tore apart the fixed bases on both sides. The entire area was shaking, and all the surrounding bugs began to howl at the top of their lungs. Alarm sounded, and the flashing dark red lights reflected the fear on the faces of every human researcher. Once the bug escapes, these researchers will definitely be the first and the worst to die. But at this moment, you two had jumped up and punched the giant god insect on the head. Boom! The giant god insect fell to the ground heavily and died suddenly on the spot. You two landed smoothly, without even turning his head to look at it, and said coldly, Let's go and check out other areas. Yes, yes. The supervisor got up in a hurry. He looked pale, knowing that his life was temporarily saved, but he still had to perform well. Next, he and Yutua went down and observed many areas of the underground world. Until 6 a.m., Yutua came to the bottom of the underground world. He has almost never been here before. After all, this place is similar to the one above. Because of this escape incident, he looked very carefully and walked through area after area at the bottom. Suddenly, Yutua stopped and saw a very inconspicuous small alloy door. Where does this door lead to? He has a construction plan of the entire underground world in his mind and this door does not exist in it. The supervisor's expression changed, and he hesitated. This door is just a storage room behind it. You should know that I have a lie detector system. You two spoke indifferently, stretched out his hand, pinched the supervisor's head, and picked him up like a chicken. The supervisor struggled desperately. His head seemed to be crushed, and he said tremblingly, Sir, please forgive me. This iron gate requires special authorization or the highest authority to pass through. Oh. Yu Tuo left his supervisor behind, walked to the door, and showed his identity. But after a blue light swept across, the door made a beep sound. His identity was actually rejected. The blue circle on Yu Tuo's face suddenly lit up. In this coral city, he has the highest authority. Who else can be higher than him? At this moment, he suddenly heard a soft sound. Click. The door lock actually opened automatically. The heavy alloy door slowly opened and a wisp of cold air floated out from the dark crack in the door. Yu Tuo smelled a hint of blood and a rotting stench, like a corpse that had been exposed to the sun for several days in the summer. At this time, a whistling sound suddenly sounded from inside the door, as if something was approaching quickly. 
Yu Tuo was alert and his fire system was fully activated. Boom! The whole door was slammed open. The other researchers around him didn't react. They just felt something flashing in front of their eyes. What happened? When they saw the situation clearly, they all exclaimed, Lord City Lord! The powerful Yu Tuo was actually penetrated by a tentacle like thing sticking out from the door. The tentacles were still squirming. The surface was covered with disgusting and sticky pus, and the whole body was dark brown. What's even more shocking is, the reason why it can penetrate Yutuo's steel body is because its tip is covered with pieces of terrifying dark red metal. These scaly metals move regularly, as if growing out of flesh and blood, taking on a unique life. Chapter 123 You Can't Steal It Lord City Lord! Everyone exclaimed, but no one dared to step forward, and they all shrank back. The metal door has been fully opened. There seemed to be a long corridor inside, which was very dark and filled with unbearable coldness and putrid stench. The pale light invaded part of the space inside the door, allowing everyone to barely see that the walls on both sides of the corridor behind the door were dark red, uneven, and covered with some kind of disgusting pus. The deadly tentacle stretched out from the shadow deep in the corridor, squirming continuously and penetrated Yutuo's body. Insect! Yutuo's tone was indifferent and an alloy blade stretched out from his right arm. He slashed hard, and the cold blade instantly cut off the tentacles in front of him. Click! The broken surface of the tentacle spattered a dark brown bloody liquid, which did not look like human blood or zerg blood. The tentacle left on Yutuo's abdomen struggled hard and twisted, like a skin snake body. Yutuo pulled hard and pulled the tentacle out of his steel body. This thing seems to be conscious, even though it has separated from the main body and is firmly held in Yutuo's hand. The dark red metal scales on its tip are still squirming regularly, stabbing at Yutuo from time to time, trying to cause Yutuo harm. Snort! Yutuo snorted coldly and squeezed hard. A huge burst of energy erupted from his hard steel palm, instantly crushing the middle part of the tentacle into a fuzzy mass of meat. The tentacle that broke into two small pieces fell to the ground, but it was still twisted and its vitality was terrifyingly strong. At this moment, footsteps suddenly came from the corridor inside the door. Da da da! The sound comes from far to near, neither urgent nor slow. Yu Tuo stared at the door coldly. The alloy protection on his back slowly opened, revealing the honeycomb-shaped launch nest, and the firepower of the rest of his body was also ready. He is the master of this city. There shouldn't be anything here that he doesn't know about. But suddenly, the footsteps stopped. Immediately afterwards, everyone heard a click. The corridor inside the door slowly retreated to both sides, and the ceiling began to move upward as if it was making way for something huge. Within a moment, the narrow corridor became extremely wide. Kakaka. It seems like there are countless meshing gears turning. The wall in front, including the small alloy door, began to rise as a whole, like a huge gate. When the gate was raised, all the researchers present took a breath of cold air. Hiss. They saw a terrifying creature they had never seen before. It is like the monster in the movie, Alien. But it is countless times stronger than the alien. The dark brown body was extremely huge, with its rough and hard surface covered with dark blue lines, for thick and deadly tentacles floated behind it, and its limbs were extremely strong. Flat and terrifying horns sprouted from both sides of its head. Its eyes were small, but emitted a breathtaking blue light. Sharp bone spurs sprouted from its split lower jaw, and each sharp tooth was exposed. What kind of monster is that? Bugs? No. Bugs don't have this unit at all. They look much scarier than bugs. Most researchers here are familiar with bug species and habits. Although the terrifying creature in front of me is not an insect, it still has some of the characteristics of an insect. What's even more horrifying is that its bone spurs, claws, tentacle ends, and other key parts have a large amount of dark red metal. Those metals seem to grow directly from blood and bones. This is a terrifying creation that combines flesh and blood, exceeding the imagination limits of most researchers. The terrifying spiritual energy fluctuations on its body have also reached level 4, and are no weaker than you two was standing outside the door. Call out! It actually took action directly, and a tentacle on its back instantly attacked you two. The pieces of metal scales at the tips of the tentacle shone with bloody light. It was this thing that penetrated you two's body just now, but you two had just snorted coldly this time, flicked out sharp blades with his left and right hands, and cut off the tentacle attacking him in the blink of an eye. Good! From the depths of the opposite passage, a voice of praise suddenly came out. I don't know whether he is praising you too or this terrifying creature. The footsteps sounded again. Duh duh. As everyone watched, 
a humanoid machine slowly walked out of the shadows. His facial features were very standard. He was wearing a black suit and holding a brown cane. He moved slowly, like a gentleman from the old times, and walked slowly to the monster. The monster was like a pet he kept. It had no hostility toward him and lay gently beside him. Not bad. I'm very satisfied with your performance. The robot wore white gloves and moved gracefully, slowly stroking the monster's low head. As expected, he was praising the monster and didn't pay attention to you two outside. You two asked indifferently, Who are you? I. The robot smiled slightly and walked forward slowly with its cane. He walked out of the passage and came to the experimental area, as if announcing to everyone, I am the master of this city. You can call me Mercer. Did Lord Ever ask you to come here? Well, you're half human. Half machine brain is quite useful. Just as Su Xia guessed, Yu Tuo was once a human, and later in pursuit of power. He transformed himself into a machine bit by bit, and finally completely surrendered to the machine race, becoming what he is now. There are very few parts of him that can be called human. He is not alone. There are other humans who have also been transformed. During the war between the machine tribe and the Zerd tribe, there was a heated debate over who was the perfectly evolved race. Later, the machine tribe began to demonstrate the feasibility of each evolutionary route. Even if it was some very evil evolutionary route, they were willing to try it. u is one of the results of one of these routes. The creature in front of everyone, which is both a Zerd race, a mechanical race, and even a little bit humanoid, is the result of another evolutionary path. How long has this experiment been started? u asked indifferently. I was here before you took over this city. Mercer smiled lightly. Your authority is not enough to know these things. The Zerg chaos is uncontrollable. Yu Tuo looked at the creature in the passage coldly, with killing intent. His perceptions are sharp. From that thing, he felt chaos, violence, madness and other emotions, which were more violent than many bugs imprisoned in the experimental area. But this thing is smarter than a bug, knows how to endure, and looks like a scheming human being. At this moment, it is surrendering behind Mercer like a good dog. Yu Tuo didn't believe that Mercer couldn't sense it. So he asked, Do you really think you can control it? Watch the tone of your voice when you speak to me. Mercer suddenly put away the smile on his face and punched the ground with his cane. But Yu Tuo's tone is still tough. The Zerg genes cannot be controlled. And you will eventually fail. Yeah. Mercer slowly raised his cane. Blue light blooming in his eyes. At six o'clock in the morning, the whole city was still half asleep and half awake. The previous citywide manhunt disturbed the dreams of countless people. But now city residents are catching up on their sleep. But suddenly, a shocking loud noise came from the machine clan base. Boom! It was as if countless explosives exploded suddenly. And the whole city trembled. In an instant, lights were on in every house. And countless people woke up from their sleep. What's going on? There's an earthquake? No. Something exploded. People have already had experience and have let their children hide in safe areas. The closer we get to the machine tribe base, the stronger the trembling feeling becomes, as if a monster is about to crawl out of the ground. Not long after, there was another loud noise. Boom! The glass on the front of the building at the machine clan's base was shattered. A mutilated body smashed into the glass of the building, was knocked upside down, and hit the square outside the base building hard, knocking a deep pit into the square. The robots and humans working in the building were shocked because the creature that was knocked away turned out to be their city lord Yutuo. He is the master of this city. Who can beat him like this? Moreover, both parties came up from the ground, which means that the enemy is most likely an internal member. At this moment, a black figure soared into the sky, high up, like a god looking at Yutuo below, and said indifferently, The permissions in the experimental area are yours. What I give you is yours. If I don't give it to you, you can't take it away. The battle just now was completely crushing. Yu Tuo stood up from the pit with difficulty. His whole body was in tatters. And one of his arms was broken. Revealing a blackened pipe. From time to time, blue psychic solution flowed out of the break. Mercer descended slowly. The cane in his hand still intact. This city has not changed under your governance. He walked to the edge of the pit. If you can't even deal with a small fish that can control metal. What's the use of you? The little miscellaneous fish. In his mouth naturally refers to Su Xia. To be able to address a level 4 creature in such a contemptuous tone. One can imagine his strength. Do you understand the importance of Coral City? Mercer lightly pestled his cane. If this continues, anyone can step on my mechanical tribe's head. 
and there will be more and more miscellaneous fish in this city. What you up to? Although you two was seriously injured, his tone remained indifferent. Mercer replied, Follow me and learn hard these days, and I will personally get rid of that trash fish. Then I'll wait and see. At this moment, in the southwest area of the city, in the pharmacy, Dad stood by the window, silently looking in the direction of the machine tribe base. His old eyes were full of calmness, and he didn't know what he was thinking. And Su Xia has already returned to the pharmacy. The Oasis camp is too far away, and we can't go there tonight. He locked Zhao Si in a secluded location and planned to take him to the Oasis camp tomorrow night. Su Xia wants to use Zhao Si's blood to comfort all the dead members of the old Beifong organization. The rewards for the mission, life and death rescue, have been distributed. Su Xia lay quietly on the bed and clicked on the most precious reward. Awakening the Second Psychic Talent Chapter 124 Calm Down Every talent can make a qualitative leap in one's own strength. After Su Xia came to this world, she saw a lot of talents. At the beginning, Commander Beifeng's account would definitely not have been able to escape from the laboratory if he had not awakened the two talents of life and death. Emos, walking in the dark. Talent can make her a leader among killers. And Wang Xiaochui's mechanical affinity. Talent can make him smooth on the road to a mechanical repairman. In addition, there are talents such as speed reading, healing, precision sniping, etc. This avatar's talent of gentleness of death makes Su Xia's path as a poison master smoother and smoother. Call. Su Xia took a few deep breaths and adjusted her mentality, as if she wanted to inhale all the European energy for miles around. This is the last talent for this account. Each account can awaken up to two talents, and there is no possibility of three talents. I would trade all of Zhao Si's lifespan for a heaven-defying psychic talent. Su Xia prayed silently. After a moment, he calmed down, closed his eyes, and used the reward. Should we awaken our second talent now? Yes. When Su Xia clicked, yes. A strange feeling instantly enveloped his whole body. His whole person suddenly became light and airy. This is not an illusion, but a real feeling. What happened? Su Xia looked at the mirror opposite the bed. The bed in the mirror was empty. He disappeared. Did he become a Piao? Wrong. Su Xia's thoughts moved, and her whole body was like an invisible wisp of smoke circling around the room. He could feel his presence. At this moment, a name slowly appeared in the psychic talent column of the personal panel Will of the Wind. Will of the Wind. Description, can be turned into a wisp of breeze, does not suffer any physical damage. Time is 30 seconds. Can be used three times a day. Note, 30 seconds is very short. Please do not try to use this skill to peek at the ant taking a shower next door. This talent is unique. As soon as she read the description, Su Xia's true form appeared and she fell on the bed. He looked at himself in the mirror and was delighted. This was definitely a life-saving skill that greatly enhanced his ability to survive. And Su Xia originally just thought of escaping. But she didn't think wrongly. But after seeing the supplementary description, I suddenly thought of other uses for this skill. Fortunately, this skill fell into the hands of a gentleman like him. Su Xia lay on the bed and read the skill description again. Three times a day was too little and he was reluctant to use it. He could only read the description and think about whether he could develop some special uses for this skill. At this moment, Dad's voice suddenly came from the first floor of the store. A few slackers are here to eat. Come on! Next door, Hong Bafu stood up suddenly and rolled out of bed like a carp. Su Xia sat up from the bed, feeling confused. Why is it so early today? I used to have breakfast around 7.30. It's only half past 6 today. At this time yesterday, Dad had just gotten up and washed up. Is there too much commotion in the city and Dad woke up early? Su Xia thought of the explosion sound from the machine tribe base. He thought it might be the sound of Yutua dealing with bugs in the base. So he didn't think much about it. He opened the door and followed the two brothers downstairs. Because it was so early, it was only getting dark outside and the morning news hadn't started yet. Lan Bafu yawned, rubbed his eyes, sat at the dinner table in confusion, and asked, Teacher, is it too early today? What's so early? Dad slapped Lan Bafu on the head, knocking him awake. Lan Bafu immediately sat upright, completely sleepless. The father hummed, sat across from the three apprentices and said, From today on, your training will be doubled. Ah? Hong Bafu's whole body trembled, and all the fat on his body trembled, thinking of the scene when he was trained by the devil father. Those days were very painful to think about now. 
and he really didn't want to go through it again. The same is true for the Blue Beatitudes. But he didn't dare to say anything. He could only look at his father longingly, hoping that his father was just joking. But the father was extremely serious. He raised his small round glasses, pointed at the experimental table in the corner and said, Hong Bafu and Blue Bafu, you two have to refine the fourth level potion within a week. If you can't break through, next week's training will be doubled until you break through. Ah. Hong Bafu clutched his chest. His eyes widened, as if he was about to die. Lan Bafu was not much better. He secretly lamented and already began to miss the beauty of yesterday. There was nothing going on in the pharmacy these days. So the two brothers were really relaxed. Look at what you are doing during this time. Dad's voice became more stern. Other pharmacy apprentices don't have the materials to practice. I have more materials here. If it were those apprentices, it would be too late to be happy. Yes, the teacher is right. Hong Bafu nodded repeatedly, not daring to refute. The father looked at Su Xia and softened his tone. Su Xia can maintain the current training intensity for the time being and refine the third level potion within five days. If it fails, the intensity will be doubled. Yes. Although Su Xia didn't say anything else, she still felt a little pressure. There are still many mistakes in his current second level potions. And five days is really too short. Dad was very satisfied with Su Xia's attitude and continued to say to several apprentices, If you are lazy all day long, if Dad is no longer here, who else can guide you? How could it be? Teacher, you will definitely live a long life. Hong Bafu spoke hurriedly. Lan Bafu also quickly added, Yes, yes, maybe a few of us are dead. But you, teacher, are still alive. Bah! Don't say those unlucky things. And eat. Yes. The three apprentices immediately started digging for food with their heads down. But regarding what Dad said just now, the three of them all had varying degrees of doubts in their hearts. Dad is really weird today. After eating, the three began devil training. Boxes of materials were brought up from the basement. So there was no need to worry about consumption. Dad actually stopped reading the newspaper and went up to the second floor, presumably to refine the potion. In his room on the second floor, there is an even more elaborate workbench. Downstairs, several apprentices looked at each other. Strange. Why did the teacher suddenly become anxious? Did he have a premonition of something? Hong Bafu held the medicine bottle and was puzzled. Su Xiao was also thinking. He is very clear about the current situation. Judging from the current situation of the human race and the mechanical race, the two races will be in a stalemate for some time in the future. Until the player army grows up as a change of situation. Or something happens to the Zerg race. Therefore, Coral City should be stable for the time being. Of course, no matter what, your own strength is the key. As long as the strength is sufficient. Even if Coral City is destroyed, it can survive elsewhere. Su Xia thought of the psychic potions rewarded by the mission. He entrusted the body to the bracelet, allowing it to automatically refine the medicine and return to the Oasis camp. Three potions? I don't know how effective they will be. After being promoted to level four, more psychic potions are required for each promotion. Su Xia wanted to inject the medicine now, but as soon as he landed in this body, he heard a loud noise outside the warehouse. What can happen in the camp so early? Su Xia got up from the sofa and opened the door of the warehouse. What he didn't expect was that the entire camp was brightly lit, and countless people stood in front of the camp, as if to welcome something. Xion Wei, Zhang Fang, Lan He and others were all there, as were the managers of other departments in the camp. Except for Su Xia, all the cards in the camp were mobilized. Who are you welcoming? Su Xia walked to the front and asked Xion Wei with doubts. Xion Wei immediately replied, Commander, he is Mr. Zhang's teacher, an old wise man from Dragon City. He is coming to the Oasis camp soon. Such a big shot is here? Su Xiao was surprised. Why didn't you call me? This. Xion Wei's tone paused, and he glanced at Zhang Fang. Zhang Fang looked embarrassed and immediately pulled Su Xiao aside and whispered, Commander, I'm really sorry. I wanted to see the teacher's specific attitude before introducing him to you. Oh why? My teacher. He's a bit stubborn. Zhang Fang forced a smile and spoke very implicitly. He continued, Commander, if you think about how I looked when I first came to the Oasis camp, and then magnify the various shortcomings in me countless times, you can get the look of my teacher. Oh, I got it. Su Xiao understood that this guy was afraid that he would conflict with his teacher. But he is not the kind of person to punch Nanshan nursing home. Su Xiao asked herself, 
He was always very patient with the elderly. Maybe he could have a calm exchange with Zhang Fong's teacher. Zhang Fong coughed awkwardly and said, In addition to me, there are more than ten other disciples of the teacher who left Dragon City before. Each disciple will be responsible for the relocation of a resistance organization gathering place. Now only the Oasis camp is left. It hasn't been moved yet. So your teacher is here to scold you? No. No. He just came to see my specific achievements. Zhang Fong shook his head hurriedly. I received news from him last night that he would bring the other ten disciples and the leaders of the resistance organization gathering place. Come to visit Oasis camp together. Just a visit? Yes. That's good. Just access is easy. Although Su Xia is patient. She doesn't like to listen to the old people talking about nonsense. Such as eating more salt than eating rice. He reassured Zhang Fang. And then they walked to the front of the welcoming team and waited quietly. Not long after, a group of people appeared in the jungle in the distance. Zhang Fang looked excited and whispered, The person walking in the front is my teacher. Sure, Sishi. History. Su Xiao wanted to think of the name, but her tongue suddenly seemed to have lost its breath. As a person who grew up in Shu, he has never smoothed his tongue since he was a child. He was about to try again, but suddenly he frowned and asked Zhang Fang in a low voice, Mr. Zhang, are there any undead people in your teacher's team? No. Zhang Fang shook his head in the affirmative and showed Su Xia the news his teacher sent through special channels last night. The message said that the rest of the resistance groups had been successfully transferred. The people behind the teacher, except for his disciples, are the leaders or managers of the resistance organization. There are definitely no undead people. That's impossible to say. Su Xia was alert. Among those people, he suddenly saw a few players with nicknames above their heads. Something is fishy. Chapter 125 Is this also a player? In the Oasis camp? Except for Su Xia. No other NPC can see the nickname above the player's head. Therefore, how to distinguish the undead from the human race is still a big problem. In order to prevent herself from making mistakes, Su Xia also pulled Lin Shan over. It's just past 7 in the morning. And this guy has already entered the game. I wonder how many livers he has. Lin Shan! Can you see those people in front of you? Su Xia pointed to Shir Sishi and his group who were walking towards them. And asked Lin Shan. Can! Lin Shan nodded vigorously. Su Xia asked again. Are there a few undead among them? Let me see. Lin Shan narrowed his eyes slightly and began to identify carefully. He thought Su Xia couldn't tell the difference. So he called him over. This was when he could show off. After a moment, he confirmed. Sir, there are three undead in total. And one of them is a bit strange. He actually looks like a dog. It seems right. Sir, is something going to happen again? Lin Shan was very keen and noticed something. Well, here's the thing. Su Xia briefly talked about Dragon City, the evacuation incident, and teacher Zhang Fang. After he finished speaking, he asked, What do you think? Lin Shan thought for a moment and replied, Sir, there must be something fishy about this matter. Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's useless to think about it now. All I can do is wait. Not long after, the two parties met in the open space in front of the Oasis camp. The atmosphere was very harmonious. They were talking and laughing and it seemed that there was no big problem. The leaders of more than a dozen resistance organizations stationed in the Oasis camp, and the leaders of more than a dozen resistance organizations brought by Shirsishi already knew each other, and did not need too much introduction. The only real strangers present were Shirsishi, and some of his disciples. After simple greetings, Shirsishi began to introduce himself. Although this old man is in his early seventies, with white hair and beard, he is energetic and strong. His muscles are more obvious than many strong men in the camp. He does not look like an old wise man at all. The feeling of Kojiro Narima. Su Xia could even imagine the old man beating someone with a heavy book. I heard that the Oasis camp just experienced an insect infestation. Which is amazing. Sure Sishi stroked his long beard. Now that the machine race and the Zerb race are ready to attack. It is not easy for the human race to survive. Thank you for your hard work. Master. Please come inside. Let's sit and chat. Xiong Wei and others also had smiles on their faces and respectfully invited Shirsishi and others into the reception hall of the Oasis camp. Shirsishi was not polite and entered the camp with more than ten disciples. Throughout the whole process, Zhang Fang always seemed embarrassed. He was also Shirsishi's disciple. But Shirsishi didn't pay much attention to him from beginning to end, and was obviously not satisfied with his performance. It's normal to think about it. 
the other ten disciples have made some achievements more or less and become one of the managers of various resistance organizations. Some of them even directly took control. But he himself was very unsatisfied. Well, Zhang Fang didn't know what to say. So he could only walk beside Su Xia lonely and enter the reception hall with Su Xia. The lights in the hall are bright and the aroma of tea lingers. Xiong Wei didn't know what he was thinking. But he actually gave up his position. And Shir Sishi naturally sat on the main seat. And the other ten disciples took their seats on the right side. The leaders of the other resistance organizations and the people in the camp are not particular about it. Just have a position. After a few more pleasantries, Shir Sishi suddenly smiled and asked, My disciple Zhang Fang said that he learned a lot from Commander Beifong. Where is that commander? I was just trying to talk to him. He communicated one or two. As soon as these words came out, the hall instantly became quiet. Xiong Wei and others' hearts trembled. And they all looked at Su Xia, their eyes flashing, fearing that Su Xia and Shir Sishi would not deal with them. But Su Xia also had a smile on her face. She sat on the left side of the long table and said to Shir Sishi, Master, you're welcome. I am Bei Feng. So young? Shir Sishi stroked his beard. It's good to be young. It's when the human race needs young people. Old guys like me don't have many years to live. Now I can help you guys hold on for a while. But it is destined to be the world of you young people from now on. That's right. Could it be that without his support, the human race would fall? This old man is worthy of being Zhang Fang's teacher. He is simply carved out of the same mold. As soon as he opens his mouth, he secures his position as a senior. Su Xia glanced at his character panel and found that he couldn't see through it at all. There was a large question mark on the panel. This guy's psychic level is at least level 4.5, which is worthy of his terrifying muscles. In this cruel era, if you want to preach and gain vocation, you must not only crush students in knowledge, but also crush students in strength. If the students don't listen, just beat them until they listen. Young man, the world has changed and the human race is in danger. The past forms of resistance are no longer suitable for today. What do you think? This old man always referred to him as young man, and refused to even call him Beifong. But Su Xia didn't change her expression and reply. Master, you might as well say it directly. Okay, young people just like to go straight. Sure Sishi smiled heartily. I think outside Dragon City, all the resistance organizations are like a piece of loose sand, scattered in the wilderness. They cannot gather considerable strength and are easily defeated individually. I heard that your Beifong organization was once surrounded and suppressed by the mechanical tribe and suffered heavy losses. Am I right? Yes. Indeed. Su Xia's mind moved slightly. This old guy was obviously well prepared. Sure, Sishi added. So I want to take advantage of this rare opportunity to unite all the resistance organizations in the wilderness into one force. That's a good thing. Su Xia did not refute and waited quietly for the next step. Sure, Sishi nodded slightly when he saw that Su Xia was very cooperative. This was why he brought over a dozen other key managers of the resistance organizations. As long as he can accomplish this, his reputation inside and outside Dragon City will be greatly enhanced. The power of the Oasis camp, plus the other resistance groups in the wilderness, is enough to assemble a Xiong Zhuang team of several thousand people. You know, although there are hundreds of thousands of civilians living in Coral City, the number of soldiers available daily is only a combined brigade, with a total of less than 5,000 people. After all, each soldier costs money to train, and will only be recruited in emergencies the rest of the young adults in the city. We have already discussed that the new location of the joint organization is at a hidden location a day's walk from here. Sure, Sishi took out a simple projector and projected the map of this area on the long table. The location he was talking about was indeed very secluded. It was within a rolling hill, with dense jungle and abundant water and grass. It was an ideal place to camp. After settling in, you can dig holes between the hills to store supplies and escape. I have to say that this old man is quite thoughtful. Xiong Wei, Lan Guang and others all nodded without objection. Sure, Sishi continued. Young man, what do you think of this place? Can the oasis camp be moved there? It's a nice place, but... Su Xiao realized that this old guy was digging a hole for him. He changed the topic. But I am not the manager of the oasis camp. Master should ask Mr. Xiong and them. Yes, I didn't think about it well. Sure, Sishi smiled slightly and looked at Xiong Wei and others. The questioning meaning was self-evident. Xiong Wei and others immediately said they had no objections. After joining forces and developing for a few more years, maybe they can develop the strength to compete head-on with Coral City. Then it's settled. 
How about starting the relocation today? Sure, Sishi asked again. We need to leave all the undead people behind. And only a few members are left in the camp to collect news about the undead. The rest of the members will all move there. Xiong Wei immediately agreed. No problem. We can take action at any time. Etc. Su Xia suddenly spoke up, interrupting the rest of the exchange. The atmosphere in the reception hall suddenly stagnated, and everyone looked at Su Xia. Sure, Sishi smiled and asked, Young man, what's the matter? Don't tell me there are bugs around here. Of course they are not insects. Su Xia shook her head. I just want to ask, did the master really leave all the undead behind? Certainly. Then why are there three in this reception hall? What did you say? Sure, Sishi put away his smile and looked around, his old eyes lingering on everyone for a moment. The others also began to look at each other, but could not see anything unusual, except for Shursishi and his disciples. Everyone here is acquaintances. Finally, Shursishi's eyes rested on his newest disciple on the right side of the long table. Chong Rui, are you an undead? Teacher, I'm not. The young man named Chong Rui shook his head repeatedly, looking innocent. But Su Xia saw clearly that this guy had the nickname, Director of the Mental Hospital, on his head. Shursishi had doubts in his heart but was not sure. So he looked at Su Xia. Young man, you said there are three undead in this hall. Please point them out. Good. Su Xia nodded in agreement and stood up from her seat. He first pointed at Chang Rui and said, Master guessed right. Your disciple is an undead. I really am not. Chang Rui defended himself loudly. His face was still innocent, but he was worried in his heart. He knew that NPCs at this stage should not have the ability to distinguish between players and natives. But what happened to the Beifong NPC in front of him? Then, Su Xiao looked at a middle-aged man sitting on the long table and said bluntly, This one is also an undead. What? Everyone present was stunned. This middle-aged man's name is Li Yun. He is the leader of a resistance organization called Clouded Leopard. And he has been friends with many people here for many years. He established his own organization as early as five or six years ago. The undead have only just arrived. How could he be a member of the undead? That... Li Yun obviously knew his identity very well, so he was very confident. He smiled and said, Commander, don't be ridiculous. We have met before.